second. I should, oh, good morning, jury makers. How are we all? Do you know what I absolutely love? I love it. I love it so much because genuinely, I leave the studio looking like I have been crying. Oh, but tears of laughter. <coughs> Claire McDonald, everybody. Oh, oh, it's the weekend. It's the weekend <laughs> and it's you. It's just you. You're oh. the funniest person. You might not know this, not only is she uber talented, she's still it's so funny. <laughs> so funny. Thanks very oh. much. I'm not sure how intentional it is, but thank you very much. <laughs> how exciting that it's a Saturday. Oh, Saturday is the weekend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we've got the best Saturday planned for you. We really have. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, just before I dive into Claire's kits, um, let's talk about some world exclusive. I literally look like I've been crying. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We've got a world exclusive for you to do it today. Yes. I, I oh, sort yourself out, Elle, honestly. <laughs> um, world exclusive. Not available anywhere else and will not be available anywhere else until April. Oh. So you are literally getting the global exclusive. That's How exciting, How exciting is that? <gasps> You know, you know what, you know what, you know, like the, you got those celebrities that go to the, the like their premieres and things like that. That's basically what you're getting in a book. I'm super excited, and I had a little flick through this earlier on. Um, there are 500 copies available today to our jewelry maker audience, um, and this is a wonderful reference. You know, you know, many of us you know, want to learn about your gemstones, find out more about your gemstones, and your brain can only retain so much information, or certainly yeah. mine can. Um, this is something that you can literally flick through the pages, go to the gemstone that you're, uh, that you're trying to uh, educate yourself upon. It's, as you can see, a concise reference guide from the Natural History Museum, and it includes, written by Robin Hansen, um, it's just a one, I'll flick through actually. This is coming up, launching today at 12 o'clock. May put it on pre-order a little bit earlier. So here we go, let me just flick to one of the, uh, let's find something that, uh, Amazon don't have it, nobody has this other than we do here at Jewelry Maker. So global exclusive opportunity covers every gemstone that you can imagine it covers history of the gems obviously the chemical formation um, amazing photographs included within here um, and it's one of those gem books because listen i've got loads i've got loads of gem books at home um, and some of them never see the light of day because they're just too clever does that make sense? Yeah, like a bit dry. Yeah, they're not you, a good read as well. Well, they don't, they yeah. don't, they don't inspire me to read them yes, at all because yeah. it's just a bit drab. Whereas yeah. this, you know, it is almost you could put it in your handbag, couldn't you? If you do your craft events and things like that, if somebody wants to learn about the gemstone, then you can actually reference this. So global launch happening at twelve o'clock today. We may put it available sooner. Get your text into the studio. Um, Kat's producing us this morning. Yay. Welcome to Jewelry Maker, Kat. Oh, bless oh, your heart. This lovely. is only her second ever, ever, ever show on Jewelry Maker. But don't you worry, she's a very, very experienced producer. Um, does that what? Make you old? Goodness sake, <laughs> absolutely no way does it make you old. How old are you, Kat? 26, for oh. goodness sake. Oh my goodness, we're almost, almost 20 years older than you. Almost 20 years. I could be your... Seven. I could, yeah. We could, could be Cat's mum, yeah. You. Oh, goodness me. And Dan's. And Dan's yes. could be. Yeah. Uh, enough of that, enough of that. Because we've just been talking about our aches and pains, haven't we? Yes, we um, have. Your deal of the day. Woo! You're gonna, it's going to go nuts. It's going to go absolutely nuts because you know how much I love a stretchy bracelet. I think we all do, don't we? Because a stretchy bracelet, even if you're the most accomplished and talented of jewellery makers, you will still make stretchy bracelets from time to time. Well, well, look at this. It, it's the entirety. You're getting this entire bundle. I was working with it last night. Make it whipping up a few stretchies for your show. You've got the different gauges, so we've got your 0.8s and your 0.5s, and as you can see in the different colours, 
Can I just show you one example? Ah, oh, look, and when I was setting it up this morning, this is why we need the different colours of your elastic. So I, I knew I had this run and I hadn't done anything with it. This is topaz, um, faceted topaz that I bought some time ago. Had I have only had certain colours oh. of elastic, you would not see that. Excuse the knot. Um, you would not see the fire and dispersion and brilliance ultimately if, had I not have had the elastic that's included in the centre. So this is part of your deal of the day. The elastics are coming up today, you know, at 10 o'clock. Um, extra, extra special bundles to go alongside that, which have been put together by your sales manager um, and Gemstone by Wayne. Um, and that deal of the day, by the way, it's not just the elastic. You might have noticed you've also got those amazing needles that we launched not so long ago. Um, they are genius. You literally feed your gemstones onto the needle and then you pull the elastic through. It's, it's genius. Genius. It, it cuts the time down um, it, it, to, to, well, a fraction. I I wouldn't have been able to make all of these last night if I didn't have those needles. But there we go. They're all coming up. Not the bracelets, obviously, the elastic. The elastics are coming up today at 10 o'clock. What else do we have, Claire McDonald? Oh, <coughs> pearls today. Pearl kits, sterling silver kits. Natural pearls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Uber high. I end. mean, incredible, incredible kits today. Yeah, I mean, they are not bleached not dyed They're stunning completely natural yeah some of the finest quality color of pearls mm. that i think we've ever seen on our show Beautiful, um, aren't they? yeah amazing um, mm. they are limited of course because they're natural because they're natural so we should expect that they're coming up at nine o'clock and then at 11 o'clock yes beautiful silver yeah the, the in kits your the colors. really clever clever kits there um yeah i've really enjoyed working with them there yeah. Look at those. So you can do, what, what's that called? Bezel setting? Yes, so they're really, it's very clever. So you can do your own. We'll go through it all properly with the kits. But yes, you can make your own bezels. But there are bezel cups in there as well. So, yeah. Amazing. Do, so that's at 11 o'clock. Um, your early bird this morning as well is tanzanite. So those of you that we were discussing, we had, ser we had serenite yesterday that went absolutely bonkers, didn't it? Um, those of you that want to set maybe your gemstones into the bezels that Claire's going to be demonstrating um, or into pearls with your Dremel, this will be perfect. These are utterly exquisite, round, wow. brilliant cut <gasps> tanzanite. Look at the quality of colour and brilliance. Honestly, oh my gosh. you won't believe the price that Kat's taking this to. You will not believe. Kat is here to make her mark this morning. Aren't you, Kat? Welcome to the JM family, my lovely. Um, we'll have a lot of fun. You'll find we're not scary. We're not, well, not, not, not that we've got the reputation of being scary, by the way. That sounded like we did, didn't it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, we haven't got that reputation at all. Right then, without further ado, I think we need to get cracking. Is it viewer's choice this hour? Is, is it viewer's choice? Is everything on a curfew? As in we've got till nine o'clock to make our confirmations? No, Kat says, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that, no, 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 no. But stock permitting, of course, so make sure your checkouts are, are nice and early. Um, let's get cracking, and I'm gonna get cracking with some gorgeous amethyst nuggets. Think about the deal of the day. You don't have to just use your rounds, of course. Um, it can be big statement tumble stones, a bit like that multicolored barrel that I worked with yesterday. These will breeze onto that elastic using that needle. Um, amethyst with lovely chevron markings within, of course, that rich, deep, ultraviolet color um it's saturday morning it's one of the biggest saturday why did i say it like that saturday morning <laughs> saturday saturday who do i think i am <laughs> it's saturday morning saturday morning and we are going to start as we mean to go on my little willow said yesterday she was like mommy i'm just going to go and put this in the trash pardon you're going to do what in the rubbish uh, in the rubbish yeah in the trash <laughs> <laughs> Watching too much YouTube. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence only. How many do we have, Kat? Oh, there's quantity of these. But give actually think about it. How often do we see amethyst in this shape? It's a great shape, isn't it? Don't see that it's often, sizable. do we? Mark was talking yesterday about actually having tumbles as your malas. You know, oh, right, your gurus yeah. and your mala necklaces and things like that. That'd be quite nice, nice it? yeah. That strand to be great for that, then, wouldn't okay. it? Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Four pounds and 99 pence. Not your prices, Kat. Let's go again. Yes, Kat. It's only the first auction and already we're loving your deals. 
Um, hello to you, Miss Janet. Oh, I do love a book. Going to be a great show and giggle tastic, Claire. Ellen team. Yes. Aww, morning, yes. Miss Janet. Honestly, Janet, look at the state on me already. It's Claire's fault. It's been totally <laughs> Claire's fault. Look at the state on me. I've been crying, literally crying with laughter so much. Hello, Deb. Good morning, lovelies. I can't watch today as I'm off for a much needed day out for my birthday. Well, happy birthday to you and have a lovely day. Oh, which happy is birthday. tomorrow. Um, oh, well, you can always take us with it with you. Take us with you. Oh, you know. have a lovely birthday weekend. Pop us in your pocket and take us with you. Yeah, but have a lovely birthday weekend. Yeah. Um, enjoy. Two pounds and four pence. We love oh it. Oh, my gosh. I yes, I didn't even notice that. Yes, cats. <gasps> That's what we want to see. Deals, 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 deals. She's like, yeah, and they're going to be coming your way thick and fast today. Dave, Josephine, Catherine, Gary, Teresa, new customers. Amanda, Charmaine, Julie, Margaret, Virginia, Patricia, Lanarkshire, Tyne and Ware. Whoop, whoop. This is how we like to start the Saturday morning. I'm very excitable today, Claire. I know, because it's Saturday, isn't it? It's a weekend. And it's you. <laughs> and yeah. it's you, which means it's going to be very naughty. She's already started, honestly. She's already started, so I feel like the rest of the morning, it could go downhill from here. <laughs> Not in terms of the, you know, the deals that you're getting, because uh, Kat is very professional. However, the people that you've got in front of the camera, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. Um, we'll, we'll be professional, won't we? Yes. It's very serious. Very, very serious. <laughs> <laughs> um, so don't start me on it again, honestly. Ooh. Ah, Claire, she's on form. Hello, Gaynor, Anthony, Kay, Julie, Margaret, Virginia. Hello to you, Caroline, Aisha, Sue, Zara. Make sure you check out your baskets. We had 93, which might sound like loads, but it's not. It's really not because Andrea's just bought five, Anthony's just bought two, Josephine's bought two. There's multi buyers galore, and it is Saturday morning, so we do have um, quite a big audience over the weekend, of course. Um, first time this has been on your screens, says Kat. And she says, that also makes me think I should have done that price. Meh, don't worry about it, Kat. Don't worry about it. A minor detail. Done now. It's done now. And uh, the, uh, one thing you will learn here at Jewelry Maker is if you do something a bit naughty on the price, we got your back. Yeah, we're all in it together, aren't totally, we? Totally, yeah. totally, totally, absolutely. Well, ah, well, well, it's a PR deal. That's, what, that's usually our pitch. <laughs> Uh, Denny, Michael, hello to you, Josephine. Text in, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you this morning. We're a very interactive bunch, aren't we, Claire? Oh, yes. What shall yes, our text lovely. in topic be? <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't know. Um, have you... No, no. <laughs> What's... <laughs> it's making me cough. <clears throat> text in topic, you text in. When have you been the most naughty? Oh... No, that could, that, could, that could open itself up to the world of, <laughs> world of, I don't know. Anyway, what do you want me to do next, Cap? <coughs> Let's do some... S I want to know what you're going to do with this, Cap. Oh, she hasn't decided yet. She's winging it. Look at the quality of this sapphire. Ready? Oh, there's only two. Oh, my word. This with your pearls. Mm. Oh, my goodness. They are huge, genuine, cashmere-rich coloured sapphire. Yes, genuine sapphire. Wow. We're not talking about a sapphire-coloured crystal. We're over-allocated already, already, but delivering the deals today. Oh, my goodness me. Look at the amount. It's natural as well. There's no enhancement for this whatsoever. Oh. It's not been fisher filled or dyed. £29.99. That's incredible, isn't it? That's a massive parcel. Tw 62 carats that you're getting for 30 quid today. Oh, they're lovely. Look at them. Look oh. at the quality of those. There are only two. So it could be Mary, new customers, Mandy or Marie. I love it. All the M's. Uh, joining us on the baskets and the phone lines. There are only two available. 
I mean, that's ridiculous. So if it, if it was dyed or it was Fisher filled sapphire at that price tag, yeah, I totally get it. Totally would understand. But at twenty nine ninety nine for natural Madagascar, famed and celebrated for its glow, that location which created like a, um, a, 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 a almost like the gold rush in the eighteen hundreds, flocking, gone, sold out. We all flocked to that location because of this, because of the quality of the stones that come from that source. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, again, your pearls. This would be amazing. I can't wait to see pearls. this up close. I, I can see it from there. It's a great shape. I love coloured moonstone, firstly. I prefer coloured moonstone to actually your white moonstone. <gasps> but then when you actually lovingly coat it with this beautiful iridescence. Oh, my gosh. It's lovely. magical, isn't it? Limited, limited, limited. Oh, my goodness. In fact, Kat says, this will be the very strand that you get. We have one available. Aren't they beautiful? It's like a silk has been wrapped around these beautiful gemstones. Yeah. I love that. I really, really love that. I mean, that, that's ready-made pendants, again, with yeah. the pearls, isn't it? That yeah. would work beautifully with that. It, 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 the, wow. the actual iridescent coating almost enhances the shiller that you're getting within the yeah. moonstone itself. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. They're not small, not teeny weeny stones. They are, as Claire said, standalone pendants, aren't they? Oh, there's a lot of you wanting this. There's a lot of you wanting it, and Mary's done it. Well done, Mary. Oh, oh, she's dropping it again. Twelve ninety-nine. Didn't need to do that, did we? But we did it anyway. Saturday morning, Saturday vibes. Saturday vibes. Well done. Yeah, these are lovely. Think about, think about. You know, uh, Mark was. I said Mark like said the idea about having mala necklaces with the nuggets, maybe as your gurus. Um, this could be maybe the foundation to that mm. Marlowe. And it's not just a classic round. You've got diamond cut, which I love. So, so much luster on top of that rich, decadent Ooh. ultraviolet. Amethyst, of course, one of the most globally recognized gemstones that exists. It's a birthstone. Uh, again, these are not small. Big 10 millimeter rounds on a full 38 centimeter strand. Loving this. You know, cutting, it is the most important of the four C's, isn't it, Claire? Because yeah, you can have makes, makes superior gemstones. Yeah. Yeah. Cut poorly and they won't look as amazing as this. Yes. But ah. then look at the colour on that strand as well. Yeah, exactly. It's all of the seas. It's got the yeah. carat weight. It's got the quality of cut. It's got the quality of colour. And it has that clarity. Graphics Alive, natural Zambian amethyst. Bringing it to you at an early bird saving, of course. Oh, it's a big carat weight for what Kat's just brought onto your screen. 220 carats for 11 pounds and 99 pence or is it hmm what do you think claire hmm. tom stewart's spot yeah that is yeah that shouldn't have been seven pounds wow shouldn't have been Shouldn't have been seven pound. Goodness me! Look at that. Look, you t you spoke about colour, Claire. Yeah, it's Ooh, incredible, yeah. isn't it? That is incredible. beautiful. Yeah. One left, ten in baskets. Oh, Eileen, you've done it. London, you've done it. I've got Lydia, Christine, Rachel, Heather. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Sell out this morning. Oh, beautiful, Jasper. I've got to be honest. When I first looked at this, I didn't know what the gemstone was. I was like, oh, that could be Thulite, possibly. Um, you'll see why, the confusion, where the confusion lay. Um, you've got lovely patterns, almost like an artist has actually uh, created this gemstone. It's, of course, Mother Nature. Ooh. Love, Jasper. It is one of those gemstones that we always harp on about. It deserves a higher price per carat, doesn't it? Yeah, for all the interest that goes on on those yeah. individual rounds, definitely. Because, I mean, they look lovely like that, don't they? But you, they could be the focal gemstone. of Maybe if you wanted to work with a plain, yeah. a plain round, if you are going to do your stretches. They look like little planets. Yes, they do, yeah. Like little Mars planets. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? You have Very this sort of chaotic patterns. Um, I love it. Kat's like, why are they? Why? Why on earth are they three ninety nine? It, uh, it's because it's jewellery maker and that's what we do. Can't, honestly, it's crazy, isn't it? Madness, madness. Ten minutes um, and then we are bringing you a star buy 
on your toggles. Now, they are a necessity, you know, and this has got so many different designs. You've actually got two of each of the designs, 15 in total. Um, I launched this as a deal of the day only last week, and it absolutely flew. We've got the last remaining quantity of them, and we're going to honour that deal of the day price tag for you this morning. So if you weren't able to watch during the week, um, here is your second chance. Cat very kindly is actually putting them on pre-order for you, so um, you can actually shop ahead. Um, they absolutely flew. I'm not surprised. Yeah. It looks like a lovely uh, collection of earrings as well. Yeah, they're it? gorgeous. Well, I said this uh, at the time, Claire. I mean, look at that. Look at this for a toggle. That could be a connector, couldn't it? Yes, yeah. Could literally be a connector. Yeah, it could, yeah. With the pearls, with, um, oh, with yesterday's show, with the C. It covers all your mediums, all your mediums. Um, they're coming up. You can pre-order yours right now. But first, love it. Is it the drops? Look how beautiful this strand is. Yeah, I hate this description. If I could do one thing, I'd, I'd, I'd look, draw a line through onion. What's that all about? These aren't onions. They look how beautiful they are. And you can't describe an onion as pretty. No. Um, that <clears throat> that colour's grey, isn't it? Oh, they glow, don't they? It's almost mm. like the base of an iceberg. You've got that... You've got that translucency and that almost mm. a Such super a clever, natural colour. a clever shape as well. You know, you're thinking about your wire work or, um, you know, anything that you want to, and you want that, say, like the centre of a flower or, um, you know, um, <clears throat> just that real focal point that you don't want to see any connection, you don't want to see any wire work, anything like that. That's the perfect shape. <coughs> exactly. Shape for it. <coughs> exactly. Adore Calcedony. Mm. It's sold out already. Let's bring that price tag onto your screen. It's the translucency that you mm. get with chalcedony, yeah. blue chalcedony in particular. Probably Imagine those in the summer. You know, look, look, beautiful pop of colour. Well done, well done. Um, okay, moving on to some lovely aquamarine plain rounds. Think about your deal of the day. It's this month's birthstone. Oh, does Kat know this? Yeah, but do you know that we also offer a 10% discount? on top of your deals. <laughs> That's all you've got to do, Aquamarine 10, and you get a further 10% off your price tag. So why is this going under £10, says Kat? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I am but the puppet. I am but the <laughs> puppet that literally just shows everybody the goodies. You, Yeah. I mean, so that means this is a £9 strand. No. Nine pounds. The shades and the colours of beautiful aquamarine that you're getting, again, completely and utterly natural. We have, as part of your deal of the day, there's like a silver colour. So that is what I would use in the elastic to go mm. through this. Because it's not going to actually, um, it's not going to prevent the transfer of light through the heart of the no, gemstone. it would work really well, wouldn't it? It'd be beautiful. You know, black elastic would stick out like a saucer. Yes, yeah. It's a very, very clear. cleverly put together um, strand, isn't it? When you look at the... It's lovely, subtle. Nine uh, pounds. Shading. Using your Aquamarine 10 code, it's nine pounds for natural Brazilian Aquamarine. That's amazing. And, 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 and again, you know, this is the, a strand like this. Go, rewind when we were part of a media, it would have been 40 pounds. Yeah. It yeah. would have been, wouldn't it, Claire? Yes, not just yeah. Not just me. Yeah, for Aquamarine rounds like that, yes, yes. It would have been. Nine pounds only if you use your Aquamarine 10. There's only one left. Good luck, good luck, good luck. So I'll leave it with you because I must have over allocated. Oh, be prepared because these are absolute whoppers. Whoppers. <gasps> wow. Straight up to the neckline. Look at those. Full oh of chatoyancy. Tiger's Eye. You know all the biggest designers are working with Tiger's Eye, and rightfully so. Your Van Cleef and Arpels, uh, your Chopard, your Gucci, your Piaget. They're all working with it at the moment, aren't they? Because it's a mesmeric gemstone that seems to play with light. It mm. migrates across the surface. And you can bet your bottom dollar. Oh, Thomas Sabo, there's another one. Um, you can bet your bottom dollar you wouldn't be finding this carrot weight in those pieces of jewellery, or unlikely anyway. Um, especially, especially at under 15 pounds. 669 carats of natural tiger's eye in this beautiful graduated. We've described them as nuggets, but 
you can see they're, they're like elongated rect rectangles. They've sold out, well done. <laughs> Morning. It's very easy when you're talking fast. Uh, <laughs> slip of the tongue. <laughs> huh. Anyway, <laughs> should we talk about some rubies? I was like, I didn't even know I said it. It was just a crew that picked it up. <laughs> Did I actually say that? <laughs> Did I say it? Did I say it? <laughs> Did you hear that, Dan? I didn't have a break. Oh. I, I mean, it's, not, there, it, it's not the worst. I've, s I've said worse. <laughs> but that's up there. Oh, anyway, 25 back to... 25 past eight. 25 past eight. <laughs> um, beautiful ruby zoocyte. Look at this. Two, effectively two minerals that Mother Nature has brought together in one single location. Uh, yes, it, uh, it, it, it... Hang on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this beautiful, uh, beautiful gemstone that is a combination of uh, your green zoocyte, normally associated, of course, with tanzanite, um, and the red of your ruby. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I didn't even know I said it, Sandy. Because <laughs> the crew were like, uh, did you just say elongated what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got an apology deal for you all. I do apologise. Slip of the tongue. It wasn't a swear word, so don't worry. Don't worry if there are any kids watching. Um, <laughs> £5.99 pence only. Beautiful natural ruby zoocyte. This gemstone will literally fluoresce under UV light. You'll see the ruby glow. And really, in terms of the quality, you're looking for that balance between the wonderful, uh, vibrant greens, the lush, nurturing greens that you see of the zoocyte, and, of course, the pops of ruby red. And look at the sparkle 99. as well on that strand. That's it. You've got, again, haven't you, got all that great colour and that, that's, you know, it's wonderfully sparkly. There's nothing dull about it, is there? Not at all. And sorry to use my own jewellery as a reference here. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do this kind of thing with it, couldn't you? Especially with the deal of the day that's coming up. Has it sold out? But they'd be perfect. They'd be absolutely perfect on your stretchy bracelets, wouldn't they? Just showing my jewellery that I made last night. Lovely. Just made that. Um, <laughs> moving on to... Let's do our, oh, you'll love this again. Deal of the day, deal of the day, deal of the day. This is screaming out to be a stretchy bracelet. Well, in my head it is. Um, beautiful. Look at the colour of purple. Um, yeah, I've said it countless times before. Adam must be like, oh, not again. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say, Adam? It's, it's, for me, I was, I was always sceptical about dying tiger's eye. I was. I was like, why do you want to dye tiger's eye? It looks lovely in its natural form. But actually, the, the actual treatment process enhances the chatoyancy, doesn't it? Um, and then, of course, you've got your lovely star cut on top. Saturday morning, early bird deals coming to you thick and fast. And if you have a little look at the website, um, if you have a little look at the website, uh, you'll find a lot of sellouts on our, uh, on our screens. So you need to be quite quick. There's a lot of eyes on jewellery maker this morning. Wonderful. It's lovely to have your company. How many do we have of these? then cat 10 only oh we had more but they've already been stacked up you're loving cat's deals this morning i'm loving your deals cat eight pounds and 99 pence now when we launched the star cut it was around about the same time that we launched the satellite cut they were about 14 pounds and 99 pence early bird deal for you at under 10 pounds beverly claire arthur michael emma elizabeth and margaret well done to you all it's lovely being with you um yeah we've got a fantastic saturday morning show a global exclusive book launch we've got a massive deal of the day in your elastics and the needles 
We've got tanzanite in round brilliant cuts. We've got the most amazing pearls and we're about to do that massive stash of toggles. Honestly, where do we start? It's going to be huge, huge, huge. I'm um, on the verge of selling out though because we have only single figure quantities. So good luck to you, Patricia. Good luck to you, Ruby. Good luck to you, Elizabeth. Good luck to you, Margaret. Good luck to you, London. Good luck to you, new customers. Um, hello, Rosita in Birmingham. Nice to be with you this morning. I hope you're all well. Do you, do your, I, do you know, one of the things, I actually think I've got a spring in my step today because it feels like spring yes it does isn't it? it's lovely and light and yeah and yeah all I the came sunshine to yesterday without a coat did you oh i know i know no coat this morning <laughs> i don't that... know if i'd recognize you actually in that because i'm used to that you wear that that lovely cozy coat don't you i mean it's not i work for the dog walking as well it's but... nice coat's like a it's like a, a mac, coat, isn't it? It's a mac. It's not. It's, I would call it lovely. It's just a it's mac. It's a kutchy coat, like it yeah, gives you a cuddle. Yeah, but thank you. That's really yeah. kind. It's really kind of you. Yeah, no coat this morning. Mm. I know, pushing the boat out. Spring has sprung. Um, Eight ninety nine only. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I've said it now. I've probably scuppered it for everybody, haven't I? Um, are you ready for your toggle star by? So last week, I feel like it was last week. This was a deal of the day. They went completely nuts on the dealer day. Now, if, our, if, you, if you're watching right now and you weren't able to tune in during that occasion, maybe you're at work or you had other commitments, here is your second chance. 30 toggle class in various different designs as a start by. Kat, remind me how many we bought at an original launch. Am I asked? Am I asked? Yeah. We had a huge quantity, literally hundreds. 300 of these were initially launched only last week, and we're down to the last remaining quantity. What I love about this, I mean, we've bought toggles to you before, you know, maybe one individually or packs of three, possibly. You're getting 30 in this opportunity. The more that you purchase, obviously, the better deal that we can provide for you. 15 different designs. And they are all, let me just, I'm just searching for my tweezers for a second that seem to have gone, uh, sprouted legs again. Here, I'll just tilt it forward. You have got different textures of your heart. You've got Tiffany-esque hearts. You've got ones that you could even, you know, secure things like your Miller put within. Um, you've got some of circular details, even down to the toggle, you have those lovely wave details um, within each and every single one of the, these. As I said, 15 separate different designs that you can incorporate into your jewellery. Um, I think I was on with Alison at the time and she actually said, well, use them as pendants, use them as charms and then keep the actual toggle part maybe for cufflinks. You know, for cufflinks, we mm, don't often yeah, get the opportunity yeah. to say that. You know, look, you've got wreath-like designs maybe that you want to put away, squirrel away for. I'm not saying they are solely Christmas, but they could be incorporated. There's, that, there's a really Christmas. good depth, isn't there, in yeah. the, of them? Yeah, so yeah, like you like say, bezels, milliput and your resin and things as well in there. That's a really good, it's a good look area in that, in that centre bit. How beautiful they are. You're right, the depth of these, which is the one which I gravitated towards, this very Tiffany-esque heart that you're seeing here yeah. they're just beautiful 15 designs and hundreds hundreds of these flew out the door well you imagine this i'm going to pick up this charm for a second just pop those down um imagine this talking about stretchy bracelets which we're going to a lot today um because it's the deal of the day really it's all about the elastic but um imagine one of those on a jump ring incorporated into your um incorporated into a stretchy bracelet is it a toggle does it look like a toggle or does it look like a charm yeah, that was something like. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? Or oh, some filigree work as well. That's I know. Something like. Hang on. Don't show the knot out. Something like that. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? It it's it's a, it could be a toggle, but it can also be a pendant or or a, a charm itself. These absolutely 
flew out the door. All your summer fairs, your, your fates, your artisanal markets, of course, have opened back up, thank goodness. Um, we are starting, starting or trying, let's say, uh, to resume to, to normality, if that's at all possible. Now, um, there are already tons of you there. We had, we bought 300 of these and they absolutely flew out the door. I squeezed Wayne on this one. Um, during the, during the, uh, the week, I actually spoke about this star buy opportunity. I was like, Wayne, come on. The best deal. You can go look. Because initially, it was meant to be higher than what you're about to see. We're going to honour. We're actually going to honour that star buy price. Listen, honestly, what I, I'm trying to be all professional here. And these guys are just like giggling away. And, uh, <laughs> I squeezed him on a price, for goodness sake. <laughs> Hello, Lorna. Hello, lovely. These would be great for a centerpiece in a macrame. Yes. Oh, nice. Lovely yeah. idea, Lorna. Yeah. Love that. Sheila, hello to you. Good morning, girls. Toggles are absolutely perfect for earrings. Mm. Yes. It's perfect. Yeah. Sheila in beautiful Devon. Should we get the, should we honour that price for you? There is a reason why people multi-bought on the launch of these. 15 different designs, a total of 30 different toggles. You're right, their earrings, their charms, Ooh. their pendants, their macrame. It was meant to be higher than this. Yeah, Wayne wanted this to be, by the way, sales manager, he wanted this to be £20. That was good. Don't get me wrong, that's pretty amazing. That's a good price point. But I was like, nah, go on, do better. Do better, Wayne. That's £15, brilliant, pounds. isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically 50p each. And all the different things that you can do with them, how you can incorporate them into your jewellery, that's really, really good. Yeah, to have the variety as well, Claire. Yeah. You know, yeah. all those different designs. Look at that one. You, Claire, I'm thinking that, that could actually be turned into a ring. Yeah, to snip off, yeah, you could snip off the, um, snip off the yeah. connector if you didn't want it, definitely. Yeah, I'm gravitating to this. Yeah, look at those. Aren't they beautiful? The detail that you're getting in these are absolutely amazing. Oh, come on. Sorry, the, I'm not used to... There we are. Look at that texture that you've got within here. And look at this one. Talk at that for a fancy toggle. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Lovely. Sorry I'm holding it upside down, but you get the general idea. They are beautiful. I don't re recall ever actually having toggles um, toggles with this variety of, uh, of designs. There were only a handful of these uh, remaining after the initial launch, and they're absolutely flying out. London, West Midlands, Margaret, Maureen, Patricia, Debs, Catherine, uh, Lorna, Beverly, Dahlia, hello to you. Sorry, Dahlia. New customer, Ruby, Helen, another Helen, Helen in Cumbria, Helen in Essex, Teresa, uh, Cars over in France, London, Janet, you've got yours. We're down to the final few opportunities, so definitely check out. And I can see there's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Bear with our call centre. They are fabulous. They're absolutely fabulous. They will get to you as soon as they can. It's free phone if you're calling off your landline. Just upstairs now, we can pop our heads into the yeah. call centre, which is quite nice. We did the other day, actually. Did you? Yeah, it's nice oh. because, you know, they, they, they have to look at this all the time, don't they? But to actually... Uh, Go and see. Yes, I went. So, yeah, I went there again. They had to look some more. They oh God. Oh, she's back. No, just nice to go and say hello and thank them for yeah. everything yeah, that they, they actually do. They work very, very hard because um, you imagine they're covering all the different channels and there really ever is a queue, a massive queue on our phone lines. Yeah. Um, Kathleen, Patricia, Manny, hello to you, Jill, Angela, Eleanor, Janet, Teresa, London Dawn, hello to you, Margaret, Claire, Wendy, Jenny, hello to you, Rosita. Uh, keep on dialing through, everybody. Louise, we can see you there. Anne, Maureen, Catherine, Karen, hello to you, Leslie, uh, Lancashire, I can't keep up with you. If you want, Lanarkshire, if you want those three, how many do we have left, Kat? Oh, the quantity now, we are getting quite limited. We're, we're massively over allocated, massively, massively over allocated. Um, we've got less than 50 remaining within the business. If you leave it in your basket, if you leave it in your basket, it's first come, first serve, firstly, um, but it's not guaranteed into, uh, to you until you make that confirmation. You still only pay the one postage and packaging, irrespective of the amount of times that you actually check out. We're not like some of those shopping channels which do it per item, which soon mounts up, doesn't it? Mm. It does mount up. Yeah. Do you know what? Our pop, you know Poppy off Primal? 
-hmm. lovely poppy. Isn't she beautiful as well? She, she is, yeah. Really beautiful. She is very um, But um, she saved me an absolute fortune, she has. Because I used to buy all my moisturiser off one of the big shopping channels. And of course, it's expensive enough, but then you pay for the postage. I, I bought some of the face cream for the other day with the show with her. It's lovely. Brilliant. Lovely. The apricot one, it's so nice. So nice. She has literally saved me about, probably about £30 a month because I lather cream on my face. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do, though. I've got very thirsty skin. <laughs> So Poppy saved me an absolute fortune. Check out your baskets, everybody. Uh, keep on dialing through. Is it just me then? Do you not put loads of moisturiser on? Yes. Yes. Are you humouring me? I feel like you hesitated then to humour. No, me. no. I'm not. I, yeah. <coughs> I think I have more. Um, uh, I haven't got thirsty skin, no. 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 I have. I'm like a sponge. <laughs> and so I'm like, what are we doing now, Cat? Sorry. Oh, it's five minutes until we bring you these amazing tanzanites. Kat's never going to come back, is she? You're never going to come back. Um, oh, my goodness. And some of these are flipped over. All ex Look how beautifully colour matched these are. They are wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You can see the ones which are upside down because we're actually looking at the coolie just there. Um, but, yeah, round, brilliant cut. This, this. Oh, my goodness, this. I mean, think about eternity rings. Think about setting these into um, into baroque pearls. Oh yes, tanzanite yeah. earrings, yeah. The snap sets, the tube setting, Claire. Yeah, there's loads you can do, isn't there? We're, Stunning stones. We're going to do something so special with this. I buy tanzanite now, probably more now than I ever did, ever did, because you know, not even knowing what I'm going to do with it, I buy this because I've got two little girls, I've got children, uh, mm. I, you know, I feel responsible to purchase for, because they're not going to be unlikely that they're going to be able to afford it, because um, imminently, you know, next 15, 20 years, it is going to be deplete. Um, Kat very bravely is putting those on pre-order. Oh, that's a brave move, Kat. No, there's not a lot. Okay, good luck. Check. I jump on that one quickly. Um, oh! <gasps> Specitite, natural. This is why I love garnet. Oh my goodness me! Is there actually anything more beautiful than what you're about to see? Oh, I love garnet. Don't you? It's juicy. It's refractive. It's dazzling. It's incredibly rare. Specitite is sometimes actually referred to as the African secret because the mine locations themselves are closely guarded um, in terms of the location not revealed to other, um, other suppliers and traders out there, quite literally because it would be deplete within a, uh, within a heartbeat. That's natural, completely and utterly natural. And we're bringing it to you today I don't know. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous, this price. There are four available. Imagine, Claire, imagine like a... Oh, the apricot pearls that are coming up. The natural oh gosh, apricot yes. pearls. Yeah. Imagine one pearl and then a beautiful waterfall or a cascade of mm. specitite garnet. Yeah. I'm so loving how they've been put on that strand, though. You'd almost want to do take maybe take those spaces out and you could replace them with your precious metal. Or yeah, definitely. Or maybe a different, a different gemstone. Or like you say, a pearl in between. Oh, beautiful. If you don't buy this, I will. Um, if, you, if, th if there's any of these left, I'm going to be buying this. Um, I love orange as a colour. It's vibrant, mm. it's cheerful, it's uplifting, and, and you get so much brilliance within a specitype because of its refract refractive index. There are just two left. Um, oh, might even be just one now. Caroline, another Caroline. Tracy, you've done it. Hello, June. Good morning, Ellen Claire. Great show and keep lathering that cream on, girls. I'm 74 and I've done all my life and not many wrinkles. <gasps> Fabulous, June. Yeah, good yeah. advice, June. I, 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 see, I'm going to take, a, take, a, take a, a, a leaf out of your book there and keep on lathering it. I'm not, <laughs> honestly, I'm not... If I wash my face, which I always do, well, you obviously wash your face. Wash your face, I'm literally straight away put the cream on, and then I put another layer on, and then probably another layer on. I like, yeah, I've got thirsty skin. Thirsty skin. Why, why is that funny? I have. So now Poppy has 
Save me a fortune. Um, I love a creamy face. <laughs> me too. Hi, I have those tantalites that have set each for my three daughters and one for me. They're beautiful. Thank you, Julie. They bringing are, it bra Julie. right back down to professionalism. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, absolutely, though. They are, I mean, they're gem quality. Yeah. There's no denying Lucky that. Lucky daughters, Julie's daughters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They are gem quality tantalites available on pre order, coming your way to your screens in one auction's time. Um, one auction's time. Let's now do. I expect this to be an on-screen sellout so fast. Actually, I'm going to hold up to the neckline. Look at this. Oh, gosh, look. Natural oh. opal. Coloured opal in your Heshi beads. Um, the, uh, Heshi, the shape is so popular, of course, it has been around quite literally for, um, for centuries. But then natural opals. You've actually got Tiffany opal just here. Tiffany opal, which is a one locational source. You've then got your fire opal colours. You've got creamy whites. You've got all of these are not dye. They're not impregnated with the dye. They are mother nature. Imagine, oh, 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 Claire, imagine oh. a bubble style with these. Yes. Because we're looking yeah. at the narrowest point, aren't we, with the uh, with yeah. the See, and you're still getting that a real impact of colour, aren't you? Like that on, like you say, on the narrowest point, but. Yeah, when you're do, working with that bubble style and then you've got the big surface area facing out, yeah. it's going to be, it's, for a start, it'll take up more room, so it'll be a longer line necklace or, you know, at least full bracelet and maybe some earrings as well, but you're going to get big pops of colour, aren't you? Love that, and texture yes, as well. Yeah. There's yeah. only a few of these available. Again, if these don't sell out, I'm going to buy some of these because I can do a little wrap loop, so therefore I can do a, I can do a bubble style because Claire taught me. <laughs> Um, should we take it under fifteen pounds? Shall we? You taught me how to do my wrap loops. I did. You did. It took me a while, but I got there eventually. Under fifteen pounds for natural That's great, opal. Isn't Most it? people for all think, those colours. Yeah, because we think of opal and we go, oh yeah, you know, opal's that you know white with a with a play of colour. It's actually one of the most beautifully varied gems. So I mean, look at this visions of colour that are all completely and utterly natural. There's two left, and we are actually massively over. Oh, gone, gone. Sorry, gone. Well done, well done, well done. Um, is it tanzanite time? Here's a gemstone. Let's just let this sink in for one second because I'm going to assume most people that are watching right now know Tanzanite. You, you know the rarity, you know the value, you know Launch by Tiffany's & Co, etc. One generational. I'm going to assume you know that. So we found this gemstone, what, 70, uh, just over 75 years ago. And so 75 years, sorry, I'll get my words out in a second. 75 years, this gemstone lay, lay as a hidden secret at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. It was created by movements of Mother Nature 585 million years ago. It's coming your way. You have exceptional gem quality, round brilliant cut, a parcel available to you at an unmissable saving. These are remarkable quality, and truly, um, this is how how the jewellers buy their their tanzanites. You know, they buy them in what we call parcels, um, where they're normally actually sort of wrapped up within wrapped up within a little piece of white paper, and that's it. And they sort of open them up. Um, some years ago, when I went over to India uh, with jewellery maker. Um, I sat alongside Sarah Bennett and Steve Bennett and they were literally source, sorting through. They taught me how to actually sort through your parcels to assess the grades. So literally looking at each and every single one of the stones. And it is exactly this process. What you have here is the end result. All hand selected for their quality, all exceptionally, exceptionally colour matched, all remarkable gem quality. 
Now, we don't grade our tanzanites here at Jewelry Maker, but that's not to say that it's not graded. You know, the only reason we don't, we don't really do it is it incurs costs, of course. And really, um, it's not, a lot of jewellers don't actually go by, uh, by the grading system anymore because you know it's, it's, it's the intensity of blues that commands the highest of prices. Look at how flawless wow. each and every single one of these are. They're beautiful quality. This gemstone that lay undiscovered for 585 million years. Of, uh, years. This is a gemstone now that we know the, uh, there's, there were once upon a time lo lots of different shafts um, uh, within that very small proximity and in terms of the actual area itself and i'm just going to read this to you this is from my trusty book um here we go where is it 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 um, um i'll read it out to you so highly trichroque which means that there are three different colors seen in different look uh, from different angles believed to have been formed by an act of god when a lightning struck the settings surrounding the hills um, after the hills fires had burnt out and the earth had cooled rocks deep within turned a beautiful blue zoocyte color uh, the chance of a gemological and geological event happening like this again is said to be less than one in a million so uh, never mind it being a thousand times rarer than a diamond. The likelihood of it actually mm. happening again is one in a million. Launched by Tiffany's and Co., of course, where we were completely awestruck by the beauty of the gemstone. Desperately looking. Here we go. Um, it has a tiny mining area being 1.2 miles wide and 4.3 miles long. But actually, the reality is, just to get some scale of that, by the way, it, that's, uh, that's only twice as wide and twice as long as Central Park in New York but the reality actually is that it's significantly less than that now because there is what well, only um, one mine shaft currently actually extracting this beautiful gemstone to be able to get a parcel of this quality as I said is unmissable and this is the kind of purchases that I make even not knowing what I'm going to do with it, Claire. Mm, just to have it, yeah. Just yeah. to have it. Because yeah. there will come a time, and I can't, I can't predict in the future, I don't know when that's going to be. They estimate about 15, 20 years. But what do you think the price of Tanzanite is going to do? Every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, that passes. The more and more and more difficult it becomes uh, to actually obtain this gemstone. So you know what tanzanite should look like, as in the highest of qualities. It's that zoocyte blue, the more uh, that, that beautiful vanadium blue, and the more vanadium that is actually uh, within the tanzanite content, the finer the quality that you're actually seeing. There are, remind me, Kat, how many available? I don't think there's going to be a single one of these left. Yeah, you can see... Good point there, Kat. Kat's just said, look, look at the pinks. That mm. is that, really striking. That's yeah. triacroism. Yeah. And it's not often that I can actually point it out so obviously through your TV screens. Look at how remarkably I clean each and every single one of these. They're three and a half mil. They're big. We're not talking about micro gems here. Three and a half millimeters in their size. Well, the average diamond engagement ring here in the UK is three mil, so it's bigger than that. If this were in a finished piece of jewellery on our sister channel, you would be talking about three figures, if not more. I don't know, if not more. But you're not sourcing from our sister channel. You are sourcing to make and incorporate into your own jewellery or for your collection as what I'm thinking. Six exceptional grade exceptional quality genuine tanzanites look 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 can you see the violets and the pinks that's what we refer to as triacroism how we look at this gemstone the different angles that we look at this gemstone it actually offers not just a beautiful mesmeric blue but flashes of violets and pinks that is your first price crash and i'll say this quickly and i i hope i hope you respond quickly to avoid disappointment. We are nowhere near. That's nowhere near. Nowhere near our closing price, the tanzanite of this grade. Not 29.99. One should be 29.99. Mm. You could go into most, most high-end jewelers and find tanzanite these days. 
Do you see it at double figures? Do you see a parcel at 30 pounds? We had a naughty Chinese takeaway last night, it cost more than that. We did, it cost more than that. These are legacy gemstones that will run out in the foreseeable future. And we're going significantly lower. Are you ready? Carrie, Annette, well done, Arthur, Candy, Margaret, Caroline, Elizabeth, Leslie, new customers getting involved. What a first wow. purchase this is. 16 pounds and 99 pence for the quality of tanzanite that you are seeing on your screens right now. You're guaranteed the parcel. I'm just gonna pop this into, um, into tweezers. You are guaranteed to get all six of these. Imagine, here we go. So you can visualize it if you like uh, as a finished piece of jewellery imagine this six in in say an eternity ring imagine them set in those magnificent brock pearls that we uh, that we offer you from time to time you yeah, are position it right now oh, look at wow. that you get the general gist that's fine jewellery that's fine jewellery wow. a pair of stud earrings yeah. we bring you the snap sets don't we we do on the tube setting but i'm thinking about you know how you were saying about in the doing the insert um insert into pearls that's that's how i'm dremel saying, into right? a pearl yes yeah because all you need then, isn't it? Your Dremel, your, 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 your burr, and then glue. You don't need anything else nope. then. You know, and you think about having that against, you know, a beautiful uh, white or a metallic pearl. Oh, be really amazing. really bring out those pinks And as well. actually covering the, the, the coulee or the, uh, the pavilion of the gemstone will actually enhance the colour too. will mm. actually deepen the colour. Mm. Um, we had hypo cement yesterday. It sold out, I think. Um, we had 500. That would be yeah. the kind of glue that I would use yeah. to just to secure it into a genuine, uh, a genuine brock pearl. So many of you actually getting involved on this. The full parcel that you're getting at 16 pounds and 99 pence. Joyce, Joyce has bought two. Gloucestershire has bought two. Dorothy's bought two. Fiona's bought three. Savvy shopping. That's the reality, you know. And and. Can you remember, we can use ourselves as an example here at Gemporia. We used to do Tanzanite days, didn't we, Paul? Yeah. Entire days. We used to do Tanzanite weekends. And so did, did other shopping channels. Do they do them now? We can't. We literally can't do it. We don't have the supply of it. We could still bring you Tanzanite, of course, uh, but it's much, much, much more difficult to source, especially when you're looking at premium quality like this. Kent just bought two. Gloucester has just bought two. Elizabeth just bought two. So why, 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 Kat, are you moving on that price? Because she wants to, she says. Ah, oh, don't say that, because that's sad. She said, I'm only here once. No, because oh, we want you to come Kat. back, Kat. She says, I don't think they're going to let me at that price tag. I mean, multi-buy if you can. So imagine, you might not have a Dremel as of yet. You might not have ever set a gemstone into claws or mounts or studs or anything like that. But what do you think? Do you think we'll struggle to bring you the sterling silver mounts? Do you think we'll struggle to bring you the pearls? Well, actually, yes, at the moment, we are struggling with the pearls. Um, but the reality is it's the tanzanite that actually causes the, 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 the greatest challenge for us all. Look at these. Yes, cats. Look at those stud earrings. That's on sale, by the way. Nine carat, they're smaller tanzanites. I'd say about similar quality in terms of the actual stones. Um, granted, they're in white gold, but on sale at 121 pounds and 50. You've got three pairs. I, would you, yeah, I mean, yeah, 120 pounds, it's not a bad price, to be fair, for some stud earrings of tanzanite. You can effectively make three pairs if you actually get the mount. Yes, you have to pay for the gold, but it's not going to cost you, well, it's, uh, well, you know, it, it's not going to cost you anywhere near, um, anywhere near this. Goodness me, Kent, Dorothy, well done, people up in their order, Lynette, Fiona, Sabine, congratulations to you, Devon, Lee, Somerset. Um, we had 150 of these. We are down to... Oh, half the stock's gone. Half the stock is out of there, and there's so many of you with it still in your baskets. And they're not just buying one or two. You know, uh, if you look at the call screen, yeah, threes, fours, twos, ones. Claire, I mean, you, you've got children as well. Do you buy Tanzanite? For, uh, and it is really Tanzanite. Tanzanite and Jade are the two gems. Yes, yeah, the yeah. And, I, and I'm actually thinking, you know, when you were saying about, do you remember when you had the donuts, the, and we, we did, like, the inset um, gemstones in the centre? Again, that. Because never mind, but that gorgeous blue to put 
Oh yes, perfect. So it, the colours together, I just think work really well. You know, both very, very precious. And aesthetically, they just, they look lovely together. What a high-end piece of jewellery yeah. this is. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Claire. Yeah. Oh my goodness, can you see that? There you go. Yeah, I mean, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow. And that what, just gluing it into place? You could, you could absolutely glue it. We've These got, are coming we've got up, a by nice the way. fine bezel strip wire as well coming, coming up. You could, if you work with tube setting, you know, you could do that too. But I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Unbelievable. And then use your bezel strip to actually, to oh my goodness, go you're talking about a different level now. Yeah. That's amazing. And it's like they were literally born for one another, aren't they? Yeah. Because that perfectly houses your three and a half millimetre Tanzanite. This strand, by the way, is coming up a little bit later on in the show. Um, so make sure you stay with me for that. We're going to bring it to you at a crazy deal. And we just said, didn't we? Jadeite and Tanzanite, they're the two gems. Of course, I was just looking at that thinking, yes, you'd have to bezel around the outside, but it's drilled, isn't it? Because yeah. it's a strand. So yeah, you could just put it on a head pin. Yeah. So you could, you could just glue and on a head pin. So again, you're talking about working with really, really high end components and sp simple techniques, doing your simple loop, your wrap, wrap loop. Yeah, you don't have to be a That's silver That's incredible. Because it's, uh, yeah, the, the, the jadeite is actually drilled through the center. Genius idea, what an amazing parcel um, that you're getting here. Make sure you are checking out those baskets because we only had 150. Um, I say only, very blase. This is Tanzanite. That's a really exciting, exciting parcel. Liz has bought two, Bristol's bought two, Cambridge has bought two, Kent's bought two, Northumberland's bought two, Conway's bought two, another Bristol's bought four, Gloucester's has bought three, Kent's bought two, uh, Caroline, Tanya, Pamela, Iris, Joan, Catherine. Heather, Gary, Sharon, Staffordshire, Susan, Joyce, Margaret. Um, I've still got Valerie, London, Derbyshire, new customer wanting two, Carmarthenshire, Morag, Lynn wanting two, Susan wanting two in Wiltshire, Shan, hello to you, Gloucestershire, if you want the five, I would, oh my goodness me, I would definitely be checking out. Elizabeth, hello to you, Joan on the phone lines, Elaine in Essex. There's been another flux, an influx, if you like, of people on the web on the phone lines as they realise that this opportunity quite literally could be taken away from us very shortly um, in terms of the actual uh, quantities that will be available USA and UK what does that tell you mm. when you've got globally people shopping with us here at jewelry maker globally I know I've been to the States they have a lot of beautiful be in fact I think it's the it, you're the, the the greatest customer of Tanzanite over in the States um, you've got loads of amazing, uh, amazing Tanzanite there. But you're sourcing from us, um, possibly because of the saving, I would say. Unbelievable. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Now, I can squeeze one more auction in. One more auction. Calcite? Uh, I don't see it. Blue calcite? I don't see it. It's not here. Ah, oh, never mind. If we can if we can find it, we'll put it in the show a little bit a little bit later on. Good luck. Check out those baskets, everybody. Don't forget you've got the most amazing natural, not dyed, not bleached, natural coloured pearls coming up with Claire in the next hour. Oh here, that's calcite. No way. Calcite is normally opaque. It's not just me, is brand new premiere. I could genuinely count on one hand the amount of times I see calcite mm. and when I do it's opaque. And it's lovely. It's lovely, don't get me wrong. You've got the really lovely azure blue. It, I thought this was aquamarine, so I do apologise, Kat. I thought this was aquamarine, hence why I was like... Hence why I was like, no, that's not calcite. Do you agree, Claire? It's normally that's, quite... Yeah, I, I don't think I've, very, I've really seen it very much, but that's, that is a lovely strand, isn't it? Like isn't gorgeous it bubbles. With the deal of the day, with the elastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got like a silvery coloured elastic. Yeah. Totally and utterly natural. Calcite ordinarily, 
yeah, it, it, it's got opacity. It's, it's not something that you can normally really appreciate translucency of. But yet, here we are bringing it to you at £29.99. I've never seen calcite look like this. Hence why I didn't even know it was on the T-bar. Um, completely and utterly natural and a gentle graduation of oh, this alongside your, your beautiful peach pearls that are coming up in the next hour. Yeah, I think I think that that blue and and certainly the the size and shape it would go with everything, wouldn't it? Yeah. Again, with the jade, I think would look lovely. Very um, sort of like a calming calming mix. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is because there's almost a there's an aura if you like about calcite and mm. it is a visual yeah. aura about it. it kind of glows uniquely. Um, and I'm talking about sort of the, the usual strands that I'm used to. This is not it. I'm not used to seeing this level of translucency, so this is so exciting. <coughs> Excuse me. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Again, lots of you there. Um, okay. Now, big, big, big kit hour coming your way with lovely Claire because we have natural, natural peach pearls um, with the most beautiful kits, beautiful jewellery that Claire's created. That's coming up. Don't go anywhere. Don't forget your deal of the day, all about the elastic and the needles and a big bundle. And we have the exclusive book launch coming up as well. It's an exciting Saturday. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay. 
where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Welcome back. It's Claire McDonald. <laughs> Just giving a little rub on the back of us. Thanks. She's got a bad back today. A little bad back. I'll get Tom to bring in one of those sticky oh, maps. Oh, that's really kind. Sticky Thank maps. You. <laughs> you know the heat pad things? They're really good. Are they? Yeah, really good. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Wall of Fame, everybody, starting us off this morning, celebrating her birthday this weekend is Deb. Your number 129, Deb. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Hi, all at JM. Please find attached my entry this, this week's Wall of Fame. It's turquoise and bare copper wire bookmark. Hope you like it. We love it. Well, that's that very clever. Be like a hairpin. Yes, it? I was thinking that's what it, like a lovely um, pin brooch, but that's really clever. Loving lovely. that. Number one hundred and thirty is Kim. Good morning, Kim. Oh, oh Kim. my goodness me! <gasps> wow, that's a collection, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't it just? Ooh. It looks like it should be in a glossy magazine. Mm. Um, please find my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a suite of jewellery made with nucleated mixed natural coloured pearls with multicolored pearl drop sapphires. Oh. All components were from Jewelry Maker, uh, but mounted on nine karat gold for my stash. This was inspired by Susie. Good luck to everybody entering, and, and thanks for the great deals this week. That's from Kim. Oh, Number 131 is Alan. Good morning to you, Alan. You were lucky, oh. weren't you, Alan, in the last Wall of Fame? Um, and I also said, oh, see if I can pull your wife. <laughs> Um, anyway, please find uh, my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a 925 gold-plated sterling silver necklace featuring a Minas Geras Kunzite. Wow, all from JM. Beautiful. Uh, good luck, everybody, entering, and thanks for the great shows this week. Number 132 is from Lorraine. Oh, I lovely love Lorraine. I love it. Look at that, that's stunning. Hi, jewelry makers. My make make this week is to get everybody into the festival vibe with yeah. these colourful coated lava rocks um, with gold findings. All from JM. Good luck, everybody. We're stepping into spring at last. Hooray! Yes, Lorraine. Yes. yes. We are. Number 133 is from Kathy. Morning, Kathy. Oh, I love this bracelet. Oh, that's wow. amazing. Um, here is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. A lovely prong set bracelet. Very quick to make and the gems fit perfectly. Extremely secure class. The bracelet is photoed on my next project, the Nephrite Wheels. Good oh. luck. And that's Kathy. Love both of those, Kathy. Oh, Amazing. Good definitely. luck, everybody, in the draw. Now. Now. Serious kits. Mm. So, oh. Serious, serious kits. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to move those over for a second oh, yes, just so I can yeah. reach, reach these because we're starting with, uh, listen, you can buy many different, let's talk generically of gemstones. You can talk, you can, you can buy a diamond for a million pounds, you can buy a diamond for a pound. Obviously, they are hugely different degrees of quality. So you can get pearls for, well, priceless pearls, basically, and you can get pearls relatively affordably. They all, really, generally speaking, will go through the same uh, culturing process. However, there is a massive difference in the pearls that you're about to see in Claire's kits. You've been so spoiled with this. I know, pearls. I know. Because more often than not, when we see coloured pearls, they will have gone through a treatment process, maybe been bleached or dyed, and that's fine. And that will be reflective of the price. These have gone through no enhancement whatsoever. These are literally natural. The mollusk that housed these pearls, if you were to look inside at the beautiful mother of pearl um, on the inside of the mollusk shell, it would be this beautiful apricot or peach color. Mm. Then consider this for a second. They had to be color matched. Mm. You know, 
your average mollusk during culturing may house one, two, three, sometimes more depending on, but they're not going to offer you lots of the same coloured pearl because it will show you the colour if you can imagine looking inside an oyster shell. They have that lip, don't they? Or maybe the black lip pearl that produces the Tahitian. Um, they have that black exterior and then they have a paler colour inside. The same with these. You'll have had a, a mollusk shell that actually has a vibrant peach exterior and then paler inside so these pearls will have been formed along the edge of the mollusk so they are not going to produce a huge quantity of them hence the rarity not bleached not dyed I, I truly it's a different level of pearl kit and then today so uniform yeah that is this is the thing yeah we talk about pearls uh, on a regular basis and you know at the moment here at Jewelry Maker we do not have massive quantities of pearls within our vault sadly because quite literally the, the globe, the pearl market lost uh, their harvest during the pandemic. They couldn't get out to nurture and look after them so they, they lost the pearls. Um, so of course the price has gone up. Anyway, slightly digressing but we talk about the five virtues we talk about those five virtues are like your four c's in a diamond aren't they so you have the the size you have the shape you have the color natural in this case you have the luster seriously look mm. at the luster of those they are on another level um and of course you have the iridescent sort of secondary colors that you can sometimes see if you were to look and find, and I would absolutely be looking for the word natural if, to make price comparisons, yeah, um, I find I, I, I'd, this would be probably a four-figured piece of jewellery elsewhere. You know, we've looked at, yeah, we'll show that, Cat. We can show that. Um, Cat's just found one website. Here we go. Pink freshwater pearls in gold, a luxury single-strand pearl necklace of very beautiful pink freshwater pearls, hand-selected for their high luster and available with a choice of an 18-carat white, white or yellow gold bale clasp. £600. It doesn't say they're natural there, which mm. makes me think they possibly aren't. Probably actually aren't. Because it's so rare. You would, that's what, you know, that's like me say, offering you a D flawless diamond and not telling you it's D flawless. Does that make sense? It's the feature, the defining feature um, of that pearl necklace. Look, under magnification, apart, that's remarkable. Yeah. Adam, did you record this? Yeah. That right there, you can tell. I can tell it's Adam. That right there is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is just beautiful. Now this surface of them, it's everything, isn't it? Well, Every, it's everything. Flawless. Yeah. Normally, yeah. as an organic gemstone, normally pearls will have characteristics, little flaws, little mm. blemishes, if you like, little pits, nicks sometimes on the surface. Um, and that's okay, that's fine, because it shows really that they are genuine pearls. However, the more flawless that nacre surface is, which is a bit like our skin, the more flawless that nacre is, the more expensive they are. I'm going to ask you something quite unconventional. Try and find an imperfection. We'll let it go round again. See if you can find an imperfection in those pearls. Because I genuinely can't see one and we're under magnification. They are so beautiful. Two kits, both very, very, very limited natural not bleached and mm. dyed natural now is that this one i'm starting with the clear um i love you but i might have to let i tell you what let's share it then rather than fight over it let's share it this how about is, that oh okay this is beautiful. It is, isn't it? And it, I feel that that, that clasp it is it's a very clever clasp, and I think it's, it's really, you know, it's worthy of, the, of those pearls. It's lovely, really nice clasp. Because you have oh, that, just little details like this as well, just that one drop. So the clasp, you actually almost get two, don't you? You almost get, if I hold it out on, on tweezers. Yeah, it's a very clever, um, because you've got the, um, 
it, it, it looks beautiful from the front, and you've got the really lovely, um, uh, you know, the, the bits that the bits that open. But it's that detail in the middle that, and then you've got behind it, sits sort of four loops. So you can, um, you know, the, like so. I've put the, I've taken one of the pearls out and, and had that that drop at the back. Um, but it's a very, so very. There's a gallery. Yes. Yeah. Which allows you that, you know, so you can you can connect, you know, it, it's just giving you different ways that um, and different angles that you can you can connect connect either other gemstones or take out your single pearls or connect the clasp itself to. But it's such a you've got that hidden feature within the um, the little hooks that again open up so great yep. engineering as well yep but then so your silk goes in there and is hidden away so you have that bar that's yes. what you attach onto as well yes this yes. is so van cleef it's it's incredible isn't it so it, it is very much and that's why you know i want to take one of those that one of us you know more of the drop of the drop shape um and have that so that you can either it would look beautiful as a uh, pendant you know like a, a drop at the front or you have it just at the back beautiful. or at the side anything because you've got how cleverly those those four loops at the back of the of the class bar it's absolutely beautiful it's stunning isn't it stunning then you have your silk which with quality with pearls like this mm -hmm. you're gonna want yeah silk yeah aren't yeah. you yeah um unfortunately there is only one negative there's 68 of this kit. That's it. That's all I have. Mm. But the 68 of you or less, if you choose to multi-buy, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not gonna be a more considered purchase. It is. These are natural pearls. Yes, of course. Yeah. They are natural yeah. pearls, which you have to pay a premium for. And I know I will have messages from people saying afterwards, I can go to such and such on the high street and get a pearl necklace for for this. No, no, no. Listen natural and if 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 you are a jewelry house that doesn't advertise the fact that they are natural you are doing it very wrong mm. very wrong because like i said earlier on this is the easiest way that i can explain it that's like me being a diamond trader and offering somebody a decolorless flawless diamond and not telling them that it's decolorless and flawless. That's the defining feature. The fact that these are completely and utterly naturally colored. Hello, Dahlia. How are you, darling? Morning all. How stunningly beautiful Claire's jewelry is. Love, Dahlia. Aww, Isn't it? Thanks, Dahlia. Hope you're well. It's absolutely beautiful. I, just, I think it's that, you know, and, and we'll go through that and we'll go through um, knotting. And, and again, it's just once you're... It, you get into the rhythm of knotting and, it, and it's just it's it's simple once you get you know started with it just take your time but it's all about it's the quality of those pearls yeah i don't think i've worked with pearls like like this before very very rarely get pearl knotting kits no, and the quality of them is you know is 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 incredible okay yeah absolutely totally agree with you here are charlie's pearls and, and these aren't charlie baron's pearls by the way but Charlie brings you a Koya, Tahitian, and South Sea, which are all natural, right? They're a different price point, aren't they? You pay a, you expect, mm -hmm. we all expect to pay more for Charlie's pearls because they're completely and utterly natural. Yeah, something, yeah. That's what these are. Yeah. Completely and utterly natural. And they are going to be more considered. Are we going to be able to do this on split pay? We'll see if we can sort that out. The first of your price crashes. This is heirloom jewellery. Yes, completely. This is get yeah. your certificate of authenticity. Yes, yeah. Because they are natural pearls. Yeah, and Not also, but don't, also don't you think, like I, when I look at a piece of jewellery like that, and I think it, it's a classic piece of jewellery, and I think my mum would wear that, I would wear that, you know, my daughter Ellen would wear that yeah. in the 20s, you know, and it would be an incredible piece for for Lowe's 14 to have, you know, it's, I just think it's timeless and ageless. It's just, I think 100%. it would appeal to all tastes. This is that piece of jewellery that you can imagine, you know, sort of wearing, uh, obviously, on your special occasions and then maybe lending it to your daughter for a wedding day. Because mm. it, it, it's, listen, pearls, we can all buy pearls relatively inexpensively, relatively. 
But this is not in that league. This is in the premium pearl league mm. because they're not bleached, they're not dyed, and they're so uniformed, which is just absolutely yeah. remarkable. Now, uh, bear with us for a second. With that Van Cleef beautiful, beautiful clover clasp, um, you, you can use that elsewhere if you wanted to, but I simply adore, Claire, what you've done. That is perfection right now. Absolute perfection. 20 of you I can see currently on the web. Again, I can tell you it's, it is going to be considered. These are probably some of the most elite, if not the elite, most elite pearls that we, we jewellery maker, actually have within their vault at the moment. At the moment. The, the kind of pearls that I would say stand shoulder to shoulder, toe to toe, with your Akoyas, with your Tahitians, with your South Sea pearls. Our sister channel um, had, a, a, had a necklace, a, a pearl necklace. It was a rope, basically, that sold. Am I right in saying was it £100,000? £100,000. Sold. Sold at that price tag. That's the thing. Pearls can be astonishingly expensive. And this is in that kind of level and scale because they are not submerged in a dye. Mm. Complete uniformity, beautiful colour matching, flawless nacre surface. We are going to crash to that final price tag for you all. Good luck, everybody. Congratulations from the very bottom of my heart. Look at that image. That's the pearls that you are now the custodian of. 199 pounds mm. and 99 pence. We will work out the split pay for you. Um, I, I appreciate the graphics aren't showing them as of yet, but I can imagine that is something that our call center can actually sort out. Um, so do speak to them. That's unbelievable, Claire. Mm. It's a, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a it's a fabulous price, and I do I do think I mean they are like nothing else. I've not worked with with any pearls like that before. I mean, th those on some earrings would be that price. Yes, two. Yes, they would. Two on a pair yeah. of earrings. Yeah, they would. Would be that price. Yeah, for sure. Um, one hundred ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence is absolutely. I wouldn't have been surprised if it was double, triple that price tag. Charmaine, well done. I've got uh, London there. I've got multi buyers. Amazing. Congratulations to you, Kathy, Paula, Nancy, Jane, London, Debbie, Patricia, uh, Paula, Lincolnshire. You're there as well. If you're concerned about split pay, Kat, can we sort that? Do you reckon we're on we're on the process of doing it for you right now? So I get that that's possibly what some people are actually waiting for we will sort it speak to our call center because yeah it's a considered price point but not reflective of what you're actually getting it's an amazing saving for those beautiful beautiful colors absolute uniformity all the way around this amazing amazing piece i love it claire and when are you going to wear it oh i can't wait to wear it i mean that's the thing is it you think I, I think my views on things like that i used to keep things for best yeah but then i think now what you know should wear things shouldn't you so something like that and I do think that that size of pearl and that color um and I know they're called orange I, I don't know I not orange they're more peach yeah they? it's, it's a softer a softer color I think <coughs> than orange. Yeah. um it, you know it's really flattering and I think it will go with uh, you know anything you know if you were wearing jeans that you know jeans, jeans and a top shirt, something, yeah. something like that or as whether you're going um you know uh, something say for best or I just think it would go beautifully. So I think things like that, you know, some bit like, you know, treat yourself. You kind of want yeah, to wear I agree. It. Jewelry should wear be worn. It. Absolutely. Mm. Hello, Miss Janet saying that is stunning. Uh, a piece of jewelry, Claire. Absolutely beautiful and timeless and commercial. Absolutely. Thanks, Janet. You yeah. know, this is what I'm saying. You know, yes, I'm not going to say sit here and tell you say 199 pounds isn't isn't a lot of money. It is. It is a lot of money. However, um, that's significantly less than we would be paying elsewhere. Mm. And it, you're right, Miss Janet, it's so commercial. Mm. You know, I used to, as part of my old job, used to go back and forth, back and forth to Hatton Garden um, between the jewellers that I worked at and, 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 and lots of jewellers, you know, um, on Hatton Garden. This is the kind of piece that I would see mm. in those in those jewellery shops. And it wouldn't have a price anywhere near what, what you're looking at right now. I get you've got to make it, but that's something with a little 
little bit of know-how that Claire is going to teach you, by the way, um, with pearl knotting, that you can absolutely own and wear. Barbara, you've done it as well. London, congratulations. I've got Susan on the phone lines, uh, Yorkshire on the phone lines, uh, Kathy, Paula, Bristol, West Midlands, Merseyside, Susan in Cambridgeshire joining us. What an amazing purchase you have achieved mm. on this Saturday morning. That's unbelievable quality. I, get, I, I, I simply love your recording, Adam, because we're under magnification. You can really appreciate the quality and yeah. the calibre of these They're pearls. exquisite, aren't they? That yeah. They, they really are. Really are. Yeah. And um, done, it's, it's like it's classic, you know, classic pieces of jewellery. Go on, do it. Do it, Kat. <gasps> Did you just hear that? Yeah. Do it, Kat. This, there's a lot of people, uh, uh, there's a lot of people there. Loads of you with Union Baskets. This is as low as we can go, and we shouldn't have gone here, to be honest. £149.99. pence. It will be on split pay. I know our graphics aren't showing it. Liam, you know lovely Liam, he's sorting it out in the background yeah. right now. Um, there he is, Liam. Hiya, Liam. Aww. Can I just say, you are looking more and more and more like, like a, cat a catalogue model every time I see you, Liam. Is, he is. He's, he is. He looks lovely. His new bouncy haircut. Um, someone like, I said who? Tom Holland, yeah, get that, totally get that. Liam's putting it on split pay for you right now. Come on, Liam, come on, Liam. Because I get it, 149.99 is a considered purchase, however, not reflective of what you're actually getting here. Liam, look at those pearls. They're unbelievable, aren't they? What you, for, yeah, put it on four-way split pay, yeah, definitely. That's making it, what, 30-odd pounds? 30-odd pounds a month. Gosh. You can get this wow. home. Liam's on the case. He is on the case right now. Um, I've got to swap hands because I'm literally my hand's about to fall off holding that clasp. Um, oh, Claire, what a joy to make. And it's, it's a privilege to work with. It was lovely. Uh, like I say, I don't often get pearl knotting kits. And, you know, to, to have, a, have work with uh, pearls like this is, yeah, it is it's a privilege. It's an honour. And they feel, you know, you know when you make um, a piece of jewellery and, the, you, and you, you wear it and you, you, know, you put it on, it feels lovely. I think the knotting of them. <laughs> the kind of piece the that you, you will never part with. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've tried. Yeah. The kind of I piece. I share. Yeah, but let's be honest, you're not going to share it, are you? <laughs> I, I know you claim you've said that to me before. I'll wear it every day and then you can borrow for special occasions. Oh. There we are. I know, Okay. <laughs> Or I could join the people on the on the phone lines and on the web and make it myself. Yes, um, yes you because could. you're yeah. going to demo how yes. to knot it. Eileen, these are stunning. Well done, Eileen. Cardiff, these are absolutely beautiful. Mm. Sue's are oh, again. So many of you there. We are putting it on split pay for you. What I would highly recommend is that you get your certificate of authenticity. There you go. Yes. Yeah, I get it. Listen, it's so much easier. It's not percent interest and it's breaking it down into bite-sized chunks. Why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. Why wouldn't you do it? You can get it on your split pay. £50 less than what we were meant to be bringing it to you um, on your screens. The most premium pearls, mm. or certainly some of the most premium pearls that I think I've ever had, had the privilege of actually bringing to air. Pamela, you want to see how the threads attach to the clasp? We can show I can, that. I'll, and I'll show you that in the in the demo as well because okay. I've not worked with them um, with a clasp like that. And it's I don't know. It's it's genius how it's all. You know, oh, it all it's all it's, tucked away. It's so neat, isn't it? It's so so neat. You're not having this back, Claire. <laughs> I genuinely, I don't want. to I give think this you know to it's, you. it's a bit. You know, just uh, it's I, just simple perfection. It's um, but yeah, very very clever. Very if I clever buy this kit, will you make me one? Yes, of course I will. Because, uh, like, normally the clasp is my. Uh, that's where It'll I. Be your nemesis. That's it's not. Nemesis. It's not with this. It's not with this. It's very, very clever. And you know, when you when you make jewelry, it's always lovely, isn't it, that you've got you can have different options with it as well. So when you've got something like that, I would look at that clasp and think it looks beautiful. It works. It's really, really secure. But then it gives you. Um, it does give you different options. So you could, if you wanted to, you know, have um, several. Mm. Uh, you could, you could add a other, you could add maybe chain if you wanted to make it very, very contemporary. You could add other, you know, if you've got a particular favourite pearl drop that you wanted to add into it. I mean, 
you know, that, that pearl drop there is, is one of the pearls off the, off the, off the strand. So I think, you know, ha they look incredible How like that. Beautiful, that, that But pearl if you're is. making, if you're making single drop pendants, you know, look at them like that, you know, they're insanely beautiful. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, this strand is quite literally remarkable. Yes, it quite is. literally yeah. remarkable because yeah. the quality of them. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I, I am completely and utterly envious of those of you that managed to get hold of this. If, I, if, I, if there's any left, I'm joining you for sure. Mm. It's, it is. That's you're beautiful. right, Miss Janet. You said the same. It's so commercial, mm. so high end. Yeah. You know, we've had what well, Oscars ceremonies? Is it Oscars? I don't know. One of the red carpet yeah. events recently. We saw Lady Gaga, of course, um, rocking those beautiful gowns. This is the kind of jewelry that I can imagine on those kind mm. of celebrities because of the premium quality that you're looking at. Look at the luster it bounces is off the surface yes it really does and the, and you know the the, the the like we say it's that peach the peach tone but when you when you look at it and when you study it and when you get strands of anything and you want you know they are such great quality you want to study them all the colors that are coming out of those it's beautifully it that, really you know, is yeah you know you, you know claire when are we going to move on to the second kit which is essentially the same but with a different color um the, I used to look after the pills in, in, in the jewellers that I worked at 20 years ago. And, do you know, a pills like this, necklaces like these, if I'd have been seen by the shop owner handling pills without white gloves, oh my it's goodness, told off. I would have been told off, yeah. This is more limited, less of the rose. Um, but Kat says, I've, oh, yeah. It's 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 amazing how quickly um, how quickly people are like oh no what have I done mm -hmm. our producers like I back myself into a corner and it means I have to match well you don't have to but she will she says but she will it is essentially the same strand but with a different clasp a different clasp you get the silk this time it's a magnetic clasp. Um, gorgeously complimentary. I'll show you, uh, you know, Claire's finished piece in a second. So if you want to replicate and, and keep that continuity of blush pinks, mm, yeah. um, then the rose gold is your opportunity. We've matched the price for you. Shouldn't have done. Well, neither of them should have been at £149. That's incredible, incredible quality and an amazing, amazing saving. But can I just, can I just throw something out there? There, you can see the difference with the class that you saw earlier on and and the class with this one. Both are absolutely beautiful. This has actually got your wire, gu wire guardians. You don't yes. need wire guardians with the other kit. No, no, you don't. You no, won't you need, need them. It. No, you don't, because you just. You the clever little class so it's a different different look isn't it so it's personal preference whether you yeah. have a magnetic yeah. clasp is revolutionary because yeah. it means literally uh claire i can put this pearl necklace on yeah very fast yes yeah and run out the studios very fast ah see just look i think just you've got two pearl necklaces now i think you should share <laughs> don't you think though having something like that a beautiful piece of jewelry like that i don't know you just it, it just makes you sit up taller, doesn't it? So well, as Adam always you. says, whenever I put on jewellery like this, he's like, where's Elle gone? Because all of a sudden he thinks I look a little bit more sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong. I don't even argue it. Oh, my goodness me, Claire. It's, so, it's really flattering, isn't it? A beautiful, beautiful colour. Oh, my goodness. Look how it sits against the skin. So this is down to personal preference. If you like a magnetic class, but obviously if you wear a pacemaker, then avoid, because it has got a strong magnet in there as well. Um, but... Um, it's personal preference. I'm going to take this off once again and show you the difference in the clasp. Uh, if you want to, the magnetic clasp, obviously you're going to have to use your wire guardians. If you want all of that to be hidden, then go for the first kit. It's essentially the same strand, isn't mm. it, basically? They are both completely and utterly natural. It's just personal choice which one you actually gravitate towards. They're both easy to open and close because the clasp with the silver has actually got you know almost like a claw is yes it? yeah yeah it has the yeah they're both they're both i mean they're both they're, they're just they're different aren't they they're both lovely i think mm. but really really great design i've just had yeah. a thought claire you've got a demo haven't you yes so you know the one that you're making yes <laughs> it's got your name on it yeah right okay over to you if you've never knotted pearls 
a wonderful ancient tradition, isn't it? Knotting pearls. Yeah, that and it's actually yeah. Actually protects the pearls which you and, would want to. Yeah, indeed. and don't forget, you know, you um, maybe if you. So I don't. I, I used to do a lot more knotting of pearls. I tend not, I, I, because I don't get um, very many pearl kits anymore. So. Um, but it's a really lovely technique, and don't forget, it's not just you know you can you can do this technique with um, any gemstones that you want really. And, and I know and I know when you've got components like that, it's sometimes easy to forget. But the, so the silk that you, that you get in there is is really really lovely silk, pre-threaded, and it says pre-threaded on that needle. But this is so this is what I've got left from. Uh, I think you get your two meters on 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 both. So I've knotted both of those necklaces from the one. Um, the one needle and the one silk, and I've still got that left over. So you know, you're actually, you, you know, you, there's a there's a lot of um, it's the, the silk is a really important component, I think, uh, uh, you know, as well in that in that kit. So um, knotting actually protects the pearls as well, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Some rubbing against one another. That's yeah. why really it was kind of introduced. And also, heaven forbid, if you did break it, you, you'd worst lose. Worst case yeah. scenario, you're going to lose one. Yeah. Um, as opposed to yeah. uh, the whole strand. So if if we have a look, so when, so when you get it, you'd get your um, you'd get your silk on on the card like this, and and you might think, where's the where's the needle? And it, so the needle because it's. The whole thing is you it's going to be very very fine so that's that's your needle there and it's tucked in so you'd be taking um everything off the um taking everything all of the silk off off the off the card and um uh, put that to the side so you're going to have your two your long two meters of thread here and you are gonna you can you can put um uh, beeswax if you wanted to on it um but you're just gonna like pull it out and get get rid of some of these these kinks as well so you're just going to work that a little bit so you do need to make sure that you've you've straightened your um uh your needle and it's very very it's very very fine but very very strong so what we what we're going to do when we have a look at look at the strand the beautiful thing with this is so i did actually I, if you're thinking about um where you want to have your your class so on the one of them, the class is very much, I felt, the feature of, uh, of the piece. So what I also wanted to have is maybe some of the, um, you might find that some are slightly larger or um, uh, a slightly different shape. So it's really, really worth spending the time with a piece like this of actually looking carefully at the, 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 the shapes you're working with. So that when you're looking at them at a hole, you know, in a hole like this and they're, they're next to each other, they might look um, completely identical. But when you're actually starting to look at them uh, and look at them individually, what you'll start to find is, you know, and this, this is the beauty of the pearls, is, you know, they're all a little bit different and that's, that's the uniqueness with them. So have a look at, there might be some that are more suited to, um, being nearer the clasp, you might want, um, say, some of the larger ones if this is going to be where your eyes are going to be drawn to here at the front. Or if you were going to have, so like I did, I wanted to have a, a, a drop on mine. So if we have a look um, a little way down, and I wanted to have very much more of that um, a drop shape rather than the round, I might start looking and, and pinpointing. So this one here immediately jumps out to me, yeah. as does this one here. So again, if I was thinking about pendants or earrings, I might decide that I might take those two out because they naturally look like, like a pair and they're going to sit really nicely as that. So it's really just spending the time, have a little look at um, what it is you're, um, you're, working, you know, you're working with. So I'm going to start to... Just going to cut the the temporary strand that it's that it's on here. Okay. So when we look at the the clasp, so you've got and you've got what's really nice. So you've got two openings of the of the clasp as well. So we've got this side, and then we've got this side, and you can see how beautifully engineered that is. So you've got that that hinge there, and I don't know if you can actually see. So if I sort of push this up, you've got the really really clever and concealed this bar here. So if I just turn that there, so you can see, there's the bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our silk to sort of go either side, so up and through the clasp and over over the bar. So hook it under. Yes. So and that's going to it conceals everything. So it uh, you know it's a very very clever. So it's a beautiful looking clasp and it's very very clever. So I'm going to start to I'll start with the first. 
the first one. So the first thing I do, imagine if, if, we, if I got my, um, the, the entire length of, of the silk here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through. You could do a matching bracelet. You could, yeah, yeah. That could be and a bracelet too, couldn't it? You know, it? and have a, ha yeah, have a think. Um, as well, you know, you, you could, if, especially if you're knotting, you know, you, there's nothing to stop you. You know, you could work with other gemstones um, if you wanted to add gemstones um, to it or, or spaces. If, if, you know, that's the great thing with the knotting technique is, you know, you can add, they're not necessarily, things aren't actually going right next to the, next to the pearl. So what we've got, I've got a, a very, very small um, tail here, enough, enough to tie a knot with. I, th I think the whole thing with pearl knotting is maybe don't leave yourself short and, and think, ah, oh, okay, well, if I just leave a tiny weeny amount, you know, then I've got, I've got more this end. Always leave yourself enough thread. So if you're looking at it thinking, ah, oh, I'm, mm, I'm only just about sure that I've got enough silk, um, start a new one. Don't, you know, don't, because you don't want to have, have knotted, you know, three quarters of the way around the necklace and then find, um, you know, that you don't have enough. So I've put, I've put one, um, one pearl on and I'm going to, um, I've got my a macrame pin, you could use, um, you know, any, any sort of pin that, that you wanted. And I'm going to take the, the needle, I'm going to go up through the base of the uh, one side of the clasp. You can see that, so hopefully you can see where that's coming through and I'll turn it all ways around so that you can see. And that's going to come up through here. Okay, so then, and this is probably one of the fiddliest bits, I'm just going to go back through, but what I'm going to try and do is come through the other side. So I might just need to encourage the, put a little bit of a kink into the needle so that hopefully you can see oh, okay. that. So you can see it's come out on the other side yes. of the... Sorry, I must admit, I didn't see that in that. Can I borrow the other end a second? Yes, of course. So it, can, yeah. it goes... All the way through. Yes, yeah, so can you see? Oh, I've there's come a through. hole at the end. Yes. Can you see that? I thought you had to almost like hook it round. So I've come all the way up through the top. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Claire. That's all right. That. I, that's, I, I, do you know? I so thought, when I saw it, I was thinking, oh, this, well, this is really clever, but and it's, it's really neat and tidy, but I don't understand how it works. Um, so I had a, had a little look at, uh, online and then I could see and I thought, gosh, that is, I mean, because what you want is you want it to be super neat, don't you? Mm. And strong. So it's silk, lovely and strong. So you can see I'm bringing that through. So you just need to. Yes. Yeah, so if I turn it like that, you can see. So if I just, I'm just going very slowly to get that and that can go in here. Okay. So now I'm going to just take my time. Let's bring this down. Okay. So we've now got our silk is attached to the one end. And then I'm going to take the lovely fine needle and I'm going to go through here. Okay, so let's bring this through. And again, just really, really take your time. If you, if you feel like it's, it's uh, starting to, you know, because what you've got with the silk is you've got a lovely um, twist in that silk. So just take your time. Yeah, you don't want it to unravel do you no i think that's the i don't know it's a, it's a lovely it's a slower pace i find of 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 jewelry making it's lovely it's a really really lovely uh technique and it's actually you know i've heard of people um you know it char you know charging um like uh, you know your five pounds and not there it's a skill that is is re really recognized um, and, oh, and really, is. really in demand that, you know, because it's, um, it just makes such a difference. So again, try it, try it with other, um, other stones, you know, you might decide you want to work with, uh, maybe not on your, um, uh, not on your pearls at first, you might decide that you want to work with, say, maybe larger rounds or something like that to, to really perfect the, uh, your tension and things. So all I'm doing, sorry now, so I've, I've, I've fed that, that's gone up, up here. I'm going to just do a, um, a straightforward knot there. Okay, I'm going to pull that and keep that out of the way. So that's why that that thread there. That's why I said don't have it so that it's really really short, um, and it means that you can't uh, tie a, you know a, a good knot there. So I've tied that knot and that's going to come out of the way. And what we can do is we can put a little bit of um, a little bit of the glue. So what I'd probably do is pop a bit of the glue and then I would just let that. Um, let that dry but I'm going to just speed ahead there so I'm going to
pop a little bit onto that knot. Not, I don't want to overload it too much because remember we're, and that's our first knot that we need to look quite neat because if this is going to be uh, a focal piece, and, and even when, you know, if, even if it's not, if this is going to be at the back of the neck, um, neck, you know, you want it to be as neat as possible. So, you know, have a little look at that because that knot is always going to be, it's always going to be seen, isn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to start, so again, I'm going to leave that, we'd let that dry. I'm going to take the next one. And again, I'm thinking about the direction of some of these. So that again, this one is a little bit more of a drop. So I'm going to go in at the, at the narrower point. And you can see, so there's sort of, if they are, if they are that narrow point, they're all pointing in, the, in that same direction. When I get to the middle part of the necklace, I can then turn around if I wanted to and, and face them the, the other way. So I'm going to hold this now. I do want to make sure that's sort of, uh, butting up to that knot that I done, but you can already see it's a very different. Uh, once you start knotting with silk, it's a very the, the the feel of the necklace, the fluidity. It it it's really is worth the time spending doing it because it's a, just a well, very very the different of the feel. Pearls. Yes, yeah, you you, you don't want to um, when it's when it's pearls like this. Yeah, it's spending the time, but you know hone your skills and enjoy the process so you can see so I've got a knot a knot there just straightforward overhand knot and I am already making sure that I've got my macrame pin is is into that that large the middle part of the knot and I'm also going to make sure that this sorry is there we are I'm going to start and bring that knot so it's, it's pushed into the board I'm tightening that that knot up here so it's going right up to the edge of the, the pearl. I'm gonna push there. So I've slid out the pin and just pushed up to the, so I'll do one more and you can see how that's done. So I'm going again through. So we're looking at this one, not as much of a point. Let's take that all the way down. So we do our overhand knot, pull it through, lay it back down on our surface and pretty much straight away I'm going to get that pin in so that if anything happens now for any reason I'm, I know I can undo that knot if I needed to because I've got that pin in there. Tighten the knot and it's sort of the knot almost like flips over. Tighten it up making sure that that the pearl is up, butting up against the previous knot and let's just take that out. All, always tightening it and then push with my thumb and my finger and you can see there how already how fluid that is and then you'd work your way remember when you're going in you're coming to the end we don't want to we don't want to have a knot here so on our last two we don't we don't knot here because we're going to do the reverse so we put two at the end of the um, bracelet or necklace we put on two pearls we go back through the clasp in the same way we did we tighten up and then that becomes our final knot there. So always remember when you get to your last two pearls, you don't knot in between them because that's going to be the, the last knot. Amazing. And this is so beautiful, Claire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, You're so very much. welcome. It's a privilege to work with. It's lovely. Um, well done to those. Yeah, of you that enjoy have them because they are. Incredible. Um, please make sure you send your photographs into the Wall mm. of Fame. You can get it on split pay for thirty-seven pounds and forty-nine pence. There's still loads of you with it in your basket. Um, we didn't have a load in terms of quantity. There were literally sixty-eight of this kit. Dorothy, Annette, Fiona, Anne, Gabrielle, Susan, Pamela, Wendy, Eileen, Cardiff, Barbara, um, your, uh, London, sorry, and, and there's a few people off the bottom of the screens that I can't quite see at the moment, but still got people there. Um, I'm, get, I'm getting one of these kits, and Claire, yeah, like stunning, you said, it's, it, it's one of those pieces that you yeah. could just literally spend spend a bit of time on and enjoy making process, legacy jewellery. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that is beautiful. And I'm going to even go as far as saying that's the most genius clasp I think we've ever actually launched, it's because you so don't neat. see any of yeah. the heat, uh, and, and any of the, yeah, and basically it is free in this kit. You're paying for the pearls, and you're getting the class for free. Yeah, um, and the so for neat. free. It's so, beautiful. So. Get those home. Utterly exquisite. Well done to everybody. We've still got a few more goodies to bring you. In fact, we're going to end this hour leading into your deal of the day, which is truly epic. A mega bundle on your elastic gauges and colours and also those wonderful needles that always sell out. We're going to end the hour with two back-to-back -back star buys. Oh, 
Where do we go from there, Claire? And where can you go? No, I genuinely don't think I can't top it. So, right, have a nice day. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I tell you what. Let's bring you something completely different, and not just one beautiful gemstone. Let's bring you twelve. These are all your birthstones. It's such a wonderful collection, isn't it? This is just a crazy deal. Cra yes, it'll work with your elastics. You can use this because we've got your 0.5 elastic mm, in your deal yeah. of the day. I'm just reminding myself now. Yeah, what is that? Cat, that, what is that? What is that mm. price? Did you decide that? Or was that one, uh, Bashasaurus Wayne? That was Ross. What is that? Mm. I don't think we've ever done Rondell strands as low as we ha we're about to. Because do just do the maths a second. Divide that number that you've got on here without letting the cat out of the bag. Divide it by 12. I'm rubbish at maths, cat, sorry. Yeah, what is it? St I mean, stop it. Stop it. I'm just going to tell everybody. Shall I? Shall I? We've got 300 of these available. Um, call centre, I hope you're ready for this. This will work with your deal of the day. You could absolutely turn these all into little simple rondelle stretchy bracelets. Did you just hear that price? Yeah, I did. Can we just go through the gemstones that you've got here? Garnet, red garnet, amethyst, aquamarine, clear quartz, mm. instead of your diamonds, obviously. You've got your emerald, moonstone, ruby, peridot, sapphire, tourmaline, citrine and tanzanite. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Say that price to me again. I'm just going to put this out there. I hope you're ready. I hope you've got your phone. I hope you're poised with that finger over the button to add it to your basket and check out. £2.99 per strand for tanzanite. I know. For tourmaline. I know. For ruby. We've got 300 of these available. That's working out at 2.99 per strand. When when I see that collection, I just think if you if you've got any any intentions ever of doing um, you know craft fairs stalls like that selling any jewelry because birthstones, isn't it? So you can make it. Mm. You can take. You're making it personal to people again using simple techniques. So either just threading, wrap loops, and you've got all those birthstones there. Yeah. Look, it's, you know it's. To me, it's a you know it's a no-brainer, isn't it? That you just you know take little inches of and put them in between slider bracelets, charms on bracelets. I don't know why it's on split pay, cat. It shouldn't be on split pay. It doesn't make any sense. These are your deal of the days. You could literally just feed these onto the 0.5 elastic. Yeah. And make stretchy bracelets with some spacer beads. Yes. It's yeah, costing you two ninety nine. Yeah. When have we ever done tans night at two pound ninety nine? When have we ever done ruby strands at two pound? Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! Not we're, no we're near enough people on the phone line to get excited about this. That's two ninety nine for sapphire, ruby, emerald, peridot, citrine, tourmaline, and also but all of your birthstones in one. Go. It's not that you're having to, you know, uh, it should be that price for one. wait uh, through lots of shows or what, you know, depending on what True. orders we get in. And the fact that they all, um, you know, that they're all the same sort of size as well. So if you are going to make jewellery wear, you might want to take, I'm going to have, you know, an amethyst or I'm going to have a, an emerald. It's, this, it's, you're thinking about the scale of them as well. They all work really, really well together. Yeah. Look at that. How is that 2 99 yeah. How is that two ninety nine? Yeah, it's wrong, isn't it? For ruby, mm. for genuine ruby. How is tanzanite two ninety nine? It doesn't make any sense to mm. me. Hello, Chantal. Thank you, guys and girls. Uh, meant to be saving, but couldn't resist. Love, Chantal. I mean, to, let's let's make you feel a bit better, Chantal. You're saving significantly mm. more than you're spending, though, aren't you? Because it could be thirty five pounds per strand. Yeah. It should yeah. be, and that's yeah. what it should be. The ruby should be that price. The tanzanite should definitely be that price. The tall, I mean, all of the above, really. The only ones I could, I would possibly suggest could be a little bit less would be your quartz, maybe, your garnet sometimes. Um, yeah, that's about it. 
I don't think any of the other gemstone strands should be less than £35. No. You're getting all 12 of them. You're so right. You know, um, personalised... You go onto that website, not on the high street, which I love, by the way. I love buying gifts from there. I'm, and I'm not bad-mouthing it at all. I'm actually really advocating it because it's lots of small businesses. So, um, But I like it because they all personalise mm. things. So, like, I bought my mum a Mother's Day planter from there, which yeah. has got a little message on it. But you pay a premium for it because it is... Well, it's personal, isn't it? It's yeah. personal to, to you or the person that you're, you're buying. That's the whole, you know... Mother's Day next weekend. Yeah. Imagine giving your mum uh, their birthstone... Or their birthday, giving them a piece of jewellery yeah. that's their birthstone. Yeah. Or you, you forget all of the birthstone bit, don't you? And you just think about how popular, you know, colour and rainbows and, and you know, True. anything like that. So you, you don't even think about that. You think <clears> about <throat> all of the, the, the colour palettes that you've got there. You've got all of those hot tones. You've got all the, the cold tones as well. You know, the pieces of jewellery you could make with that are just having a few, a few of each stone, maybe accent stones in wire work, mm. um, in between the pearls. You know, there's loads of things you can do with that, that amount of gemstones and that cut, all those colours. Cambridgeshire, Susan, Chantal, Lynn, Helen, Sheila, Susan, Maureen, Barbara, Maker, Veronica, uh, Jackie, Kathy, Tracy, uh, new customer, new customer, new customer, Lynette, new customer, uh, Lorraine. You want to? Do you want me to go through the birth months? Yeah, I can do that. No problem. And there are sometimes actually different gemstones as well. So you could, there's you, for example, I'll go through it. Um, so your garnet is January, um, February for amethyst, March. For your aquamarine, this uh, uh, month of March, April. April is diamonds, but obviously we're not going to put a strand of diamonds because that would definitely would not be two pound ninety nine to a strand. So we've, re we've substituted that for clear quartz. May is uh, your emerald. June, you can actually have pearls for June and Alexandrite, but you can also have moonstone. July, you actually have ruby. Um, August, you have citrine. All natural, by the way. Uh, Sep. Sorry, Peridot. Sorry, did I say... What did I say? Okay, Peridot. Uh, September, you have your Sapphire. October, you have your Tourmaline. Is that the right way around? Um, November, you have your Citrine. And then December, you have Tanzanite. That's incredible. But there are other gemstones, but these are really the most commercial yeah. um, in terms of actually sort of targeting. Um, so if you know someone that's a March baby, perfect. If you know somebody that's any month of the year, you can make jewellery that is, per you've got them all there. Um, yeah, you can personalise it. And we don't have to put the whole strand in. Claire, just a cluster. Yeah, just a few. And, and, that, and as, like I'm saying, so th they would work. It's not like you've got some are uh, really, really tiny, some are you know, a lot bigger. Any piece of jewellery that you make, uh, and, and I would be looking at little bubble clusters of them because I nice. think rondelles and when they're that quality, I do think it's nice. You've got movement, you're getting that sparkle, you're getting that colour. Any combination is going to work beautifully, isn't it? Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Check out those baskets. That's a bonkers deal. I don't know what on earth... We were thinking bringing that to where at thirty-five pounds no. and eighty-eight pence, Tanzanite shouldn't be that price for that one strand. No, it should. Um, no, we, yeah, uh, uh, Kat's just like I've had a little look on our website and I can't find Tanzanite for that price. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not going to. We even we jewelry maker are good, but I don't think even mm. they can bring mm. the strands at two ninety-nine. But that's what we're doing right now. Well done, well done, well done. Back to back star by deals. Ah. Oh. Only yesterday, Mark was talking about these jump rings. These are really nice, aren't they? Why do we get excited about jump rings, Claire? So I would look at those. I don't know if I've seen those before. They've been on once before, and they sold out. I'm not surprised. They're, I mean, so I would look at those. And yes, in your, um, you know, just... Uh, say if you were going to do a necklace and you wanted to make a focal um, piece and a, and a larger link, say in rosary linking, something like that. Mm. But straight away, something different there, isn't it? Having that twist of it, and it's a really nice size. So if you wanted to maybe elongate earrings or we've talked about bubble clusters, they, they'd be great on that. Oh, lovely, yeah. Um, but there's nothing to stop you as well. If you wanted to, at that size, you could, there's nothing to stop you soldering those too. Um, oh, nice. And, and grouping them together like that on your uh, stretchy bracelets as well. That would look lovely. So you'd be almost looking at them like a, like a twisted tube. 
Aren't they beautiful? They're really lovely. Yeah, uh, the twist actually hides the opening too. Yes, yeah. So when, That's it's actually, what, when I was looking at them, I was thinking, are they closed? I right? thought that yeah. firstly as yeah. well. You're getting 20. They are 925 sterling silver. The, when we first brought these to air, they completely flew out and sold out. Um, the 6 mil is the outer diameter, which basically means it's far, uh, 5? 4. It's mass, isn't it? What's I can't the, figure it out. 6. 6. So yeah, you minus four. one, don't you? Oh, two, minus no, two, two, yeah. yeah. So it's four mil, <laughs> four mil internal diameter. That's only really important to those people that do chain mail. If you don't do chain mail, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful... Oh, it's telling us there. Where? In, internal six, out eight. Oh, eight, there we go. Sorry, I read that wrong. Do you want these under ten pounds? Not just by a penny, though. How many have we got then, Kat? Oh, there's 144 and they are getting lapped up and I don't blame you. You could create the most beautiful Mobius rings. You can make something like this, but to be honest, why would you when you can buy them at £7.99? Yeah, and, and I also think, I also think with something like that, yes, you can do it. It's very, very difficult to get the ends as neat as that. I do, I do think that. Oh my goodness, Nicola, Cynthia, Tracy, Lynn, 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 literally three Lynns, Lynn in Kent, Lynn in Yorkshire, Lynn in London, uh, Tracy, Carmel, Heather, Alison, Yvonne, Dorothy, Heather, loads of you there. They flew out and sold out the first occasion. Yeah. They're going to sell out again. Because a, a jump ring does so much more than they look. Does that... <laughs> It does so much more um, than literally just attach a clasp. You know, they are bales, aren't they? Yeah, I'm thinking with the um, the jadeite that you've got. I would because you've got you know the the. Um, should I should I go and get it? Because that that would look lovely with it. Yeah. Should what about that? with your deal of the day? Because you can use your jump rings in between your rounds to Perfect. create a really beautiful flash of luster. Yes. But even yeah. more than that, it's going to be it's going to be twisted luster. Which yes. Like. Yeah. It's a real. Um, it's very interesting, isn't it? Love it, love it, love it. Less than 100 are immediately down into double figures. Yes, alongside um, your jadeite uh, uh, donuts that are coming up a little bit later on in the show as well. These will sell out like they did on the first occasion. There are loads and loads and loads of you there. Um, there's so much use to a jump ring. And mm. yeah, listen, I'm not going to... Um, uh, to, you know what to do with a jump ring, don't you? It's not just about attaching a clasp. It is about... Yeah, it, I don't know. I think it's. I think it's one of the best. It's the best findings, isn't it? I mm. think because it does. I like your idea of soldering them. Well, they'd be great, wouldn't they? Could I solder them and turn them into a chain? Yes. Yeah. And just think, if you if you if you had that as your fancy link, and maybe you then had a smaller plain jump ring in between. Yeah, you know, it's a real um, focal. Or just have solder it solder it closed, and then maybe put threads or cords either side, and little wish bracelets. Look that would work yeah, well. love it, love it. They're going to sell out, everybody. Make sure you do check out. Good luck. Stay where you are, Penny, Patricia, June, Pat, new customer, Judy, Tracy. Uh, hi, ladies. When are you doing the elastic in front of you? Just after the break, it's actually part of your deal of the day. You're getting this huge stash of gauges and collars, plus your needles. You're actually getting those needles as well, which are absolutely revolutionary. Um, you know how much we love our Liam? He did ask, ask us, Claire. He made a request did very he? nicely, as Liam always does. And I do apologise, Liam. I've totally forgotten. I forgot. I totally forgot. Coming up on Hobby Maker this afternoon at 3 o'clock, the launch of the Gemporia Craft Die Cutter. There it is, as you can see behind me. Global launch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's coming up at three o'clock today. Um, at three o'clock today. So I, I, I apologise, Liam, I totally forgot in between. We've had so much going on, and also I have to say, I've, I, I've, I've been tripping over my words left, right, and centre. We've also got a global launch of a book. 500 copies today. exclusive to us and somebody messaging saying I can find it elsewhere you can pre-order it you can't get it though you can actually pre-order it for when it comes out in April you can't get it it's uh, uh it's you can only get it from us first so global launch doesn't that make you feel all fancy yeah um, and we might be able to we might put those available on pre-order from 11 o'clock but yes your elastic deal of the day is coming up alongside those mega needles which will revolutionize your stretchy bracelets join me and claire after this <laughs>
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. <laughs> Hello, good morning, jewelry makers. I thought I'd stand because I'm sat here looking like a right lazy one, and you're always stood up. So I was like, I'll stand next to you now. Except I don't think I'd get back up. We're actually so much. I feel oh, no, like I've aged about thirty years since my birthday. Oh, stop it, will you? Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what? I went to. We know when you go to the doctors and you have your height and, and your weight and everything. Oof. So I've always thought I was 5'7". Always thought I was 5'7". So Willow was like, will you measure and see how tall I am? And then, of course, it goes on to measure measure daddy and measure mummy. I'm shrinking. I, I'm yeah. now five, and, five foot five and a half. How I, is yeah. that even? How am I shrinking? <laughs> I think I think I'm with you on that one. I, but I, I thought I was 5'7", but yeah, I don't, I don't, maybe I've never been. 
I mean, when I take my shoes off, it makes a big difference. Look, look. Oh. What, what, Kat, you're 5'7", apparently. Oh. Come and stand next to me yeah. quickly. Come on, Kat. Just quickly, I thought I, don't I was fine. Anymore, I don't even then. know. Where's the relevance of this? I don't know. But we're just talking about... <laughs> yeah. You are. what? Oh, here Lucy, we go come then. Come here, Lucy. Are we shrinking, Claire, yes. in our age? Yeah. Do you reckon that's what it is? Yeah. Um, yeah. My feet are getting smaller. But my feet are getting bigger. <laughs> all in all, I'm going to um, end up with massive <laughs> feet, like a whole bit. <laughs> Very tiny. <laughs> really small. Come on. Here we go. Come on, youngies. But who's lying amongst us then? Which one of us is lying? You're five seven. Come on, Dan. <laughs> some of us is some, uh, one of us is lying. <laughs> Lucy, cat everybody. This what is Dan. Five. You're what? Oh, yeah. five, five, eight. Eight. No, five, seven. You're five seven. Come on, step in, Dan. Oh my gosh. I think I think I am shrinking. <laughs> we look like we're sitting down. <laughs> we do look like we're sat down. <laughs> oh no. How is this? You? <laughs> no, I'm five. I'm five ten. Five. I, until I extend my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Five eleven with a full <laughs> neck extension. Love it. Oh, let me try that then. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Got to dare, dare to dream. Can we just see if it, it, it management? If only the management tune in right now. <laughs> mm. anyway, on that definitely note, shrunk. I don't even know how we went into that, but there we go. I'm shrinking. It's nice to see everyone as well, isn't it? There's, I there's love seeing everyone. the team, everyone. Yeah. The team. They're a lovely bunch, aren't they? They are the but best. Definitely shrinking. Should we do your deal of day? There are 500 of these. I'm uber excited about this opportunity, so much so that I was like, right, Wayne, order me over a bundle so I can start making. Um, and literally last night, literally last night, whipped up these, sat there on, my, on our dining room table, making a load of stretchy bracelets. Now, you are getting not only the different gauges, but also the different colours. And really, this is the one that I wanted to show you the most, because that is topaz. The most, mm. I love this strand of yeah, topaz. Yeah. I've had it for months and I haven't cut it up. Um, but I was like, right, I'm using the deal of the day with this because look how it doesn't actually block the brilliance mm. of this already. Yeah. I mean, uh, they wouldn't do that if I actually had, I'm going to even say probably the clear elastic because yeah. the silver almost enhances um, the brilliance. I They're have never flying. seen these colours. And you know when you think, yeah. you can't, because you know how you and I love stretchy braces. Love them. Really, really love And love that, you know, when you do, if we do like the fine elastic, I didn't think it could actually get any better, but the, this, it's like a metallic, isn't it? And yeah, you, it's you know, gorgeous. It's wonderful. I'm just going to put them, because you're getting three colours in total in the, both the 0.8 and the 0.5, which we'll talk about why you've got the both of those gauges. So you have this in gold, You've got, and by the way, so are these being used? Um, you've got this in the gold, you've actually got this in the silver, and you've got it in this really beautiful kind of like peachy colour. Not even that, not even that, you're also getting these absolutely genius beadalon needles, mm. which makes, I wouldn't have been able to make that many if it wasn't for the needles. Um, it cuts your making time down, I'm going to say probably in half. The instructions are on the reverse. If I can figure it out, Anybody can, believe me, because um, I have a very basic mind. Let me just show you this. It's true, I do. Um, I definitely do. But look, you basically feed your needle, uh, your beads onto the needle, and then you pull the elastic through using it. It's absolutely genius. Genius, genius. You're getting both sizes, um, and the only difference in the actual size is the length, so that if you actually wanted to make larger bracelets or even necklaces, then you can definitely do that too. Um, look, uh, yeah, you get everything. You're getting all of these goodies. I'll move that board out of the way um, in this mega, mega deal of the day. They're going to fly out the door, and, and you know where we're taking this to. Yeah, it's pretty brilliant. exciting. Yeah, it is. It really is. You said earlier really on, we is. both love stretchy braces. Why do you love a stretchy so much? I think I love a stretchy because it, you, if you, you, can, you, don't, you can just work with the beads, can't you? And then the elastic. You don't need anything else. You don't need any other findings. You're just tying a knot. It's, so it's great for uh, confidence building, but also that it's wearing, isn't it? You know, it's so easy to put on and off, yep. layer them up, have them on their own. You know, great gifts. And really, really... Um, you know, a stretchy bracelets are everywhere. Yeah. It's just entirely too so what commercial. You, you um, work with. A couple of questions. Yes, yeah. yes, you can reuse these needles yeah. 
over and over and over and over and over again. And there's five meters on each of those reels. Um, on each of those reels. So I, I, I meant to do the maths of this. How, if, if, if we average eight inches, is say a stretchy bracelet with the tying and everything like that, how many inches are in a meter? <laughs> Sorry. I'm absolutely rubbish. Um, five meters on each spool. I meant to do the maths on this before the show, but I totally forgot. Um, in the excitement, you're going to make 39 inches. So 39 divided by eight. So you're going to make, let's say, five, um, because I am being quite conservative with the eight inches. Mm. You're, the yes, they yeah. tend to be six, don't yeah, they? Yeah, six I think you're, bit, yeah, you're being generous. So, though, yeah. so five, you're going to get five bracelets from each of those spools. 30 bracelets overall, yeah. potentially more, but it depends on the size that you're actually making. These are already flying. We've got 500 of this. Brand new colours. Claire's so right to point out that they have this really beautiful metallic. Yes, um, like a gorgeous satin um, yeah. look, isn't it? These are lovely. The needle, aren't you? Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can, yeah. To demonstrate that yeah. needle. $29.99. They are absolutely skyrocketing. I love doing a stretchy, and I know so many of our viewers are so talented. We see your Wall of Fame entries, you know, um, so talented in your makes, you know, your intricate sea beadwork, your fabulous silversmithing. Mm. Um, but to sometimes you just want to resort back to something that's very quick and easy to wear yep. but also ultra commercial so many people say that if you are selling your jewelry include stretchy bracelets because yes, it's time effective as well yeah definitely so it's the time there's different sorts aren't there of jewelry projects some that are really really time intensive that you're doing them because you, you're enjoying that process as well but don't forget if you are selling you know you, you're your time it's a, you know you need to price price that in so it's maybe on your your, your stall you'd have a, a balance of things so you might have that one huge piece that has taken you a long long time to do but you've had a real pleasure you know of, of making it um and then you have lots and lots of stretchy braces that aren't time time intensive absolutely you know, so, and, it, and, it, and it will balance it balance balances out. it out yeah but do you find do you think the stretchy bracelet is one the what the item that you're going to sell the most of you are, I think, right? I think it is. Well, you, yeah. I would offer you one of my bracelets, Claire, but as you're not going to share that pearl necklace, I'm not going um, to. I think I said I'd do it like a timeshare, didn't <laughs> I, with you? I did say. <laughs> <sighs> These are flying out the door, you know. I'm not surprised because everyone, you know, it's, it, 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 yeah, everyone knows, don't they, how, you know, you're going to, you really are going to use this and you don't necessarily need anything else to go with it. Put, get your gemstones. Um, but the fact as well, you've almost like got these metallic, it's the metallic colours, so in the same way with spacers. Yeah. You know, you think of all strands you've got in your stash, one of these three, oh. those colours are going to work perfectly to with Totally. It. Yeah. Um, friendship bracelets are huge at the moment. Mm. My five-year-old loves making stretchy mm. bracelets. I mean, she went to bed last night, literally, as I'm sat, I'm sat sort of at the dining room table making these. And she was like, oh, can I do that with you, mummy, when I get Aww. home? And when you get home from work? I was like, yeah, of course, because we have lots of fun doing yeah. it. And she, as she walked out, literally, she's going, you're so cool. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm cool. Because I make bracelets, stretchy bracelets in the eyes of a five-year-old. Yeah. Eh? But yeah. she could do this. And the needles, they're not sharp. You know, it's not something yeah. I would be worried about handing to her at all. She can work with those two because they're not the one, they're not like a, a standard needle, if you like. No, um, no, they're not. They actually no. have a sort of a, a curved hook at yeah. the end. Um, it's going to work with, think of all the rounds that you've got. I say rounds, cubes, all of the cut gemstones that you have within your stash. Sea beads that you could turn, whip up stretchy bracelets like this um, and do it in a nanosecond because you have the the right gauges of elastic how infuriating well, that, is that i mean that's I, that's a brilliant thing isn't it the fact that you've got those three different colors and then you've got the the two you've got the the thicker um the thicker elastic and then you've got the finer one so that's your pearls and everything isn't it that's really really good look, look at that so this one here i could i this pearl these pearls i've had in my in my stash for ages yeah and i haven't been able to do anything with yeah. it because i don't curl knots yeah, um, yeah. But can you see that's the pink, that's the pink 0.5. 
So you've got a 0 0.5, which will go through your pearls. Yeah. Uh, it'll go through your micro gemstones. And then you've got a 0 0.8 um, in the same color to go through your larger stones as well. So, Brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean, all of these, uh, you know, they're small stones, aren't they? So naturally, they're going to have smaller drill holes. Having the 0.5 means that you'll be able to make stretchy bracelets out of those as well in the coordinating colors. Um, we had 500 of these. How many have gone? Oh, my goodness, they're absolutely flying. We've got 100 of you with it still in your baskets. We are very close to 200 already being snapped up and allocated with the two needles. Claire, do you want to show, do you want yeah, to show this? Yeah, sure, sure. So we have a go. Um, because a few people are actually asking, how do I use it? Um, yeah, how do I use it? It's genius. It's absolutely genius. Not our product. It's actually a beadalon product. So I'm sure you can actually find YouTube tutorials as well. Um, but take it away. So we've got that lovely long needle, um, which, so it means we're going to get an awful lot of our gemstones on there. So the, the thing that I used to do, which was a bit of a, a bit of a pain, because because it gets very a little bit frustrating when you're, you know, the whole point with that is that the elastic, it you know, it, it bends, doesn't it? It's, it gets it's stretched. Floppy. Yes, yeah. So I used to put. Um, trying to sort of stiffen that up, put a little bit of glue or nail varnish on the um, on the end there. But this takes all of that headache away. So I've got my got my needle there and there's a tiny little hook at the end. I don't know if you can uh, It's a very small loop. Yeah, it's can you uh, let me help there you go. by yeah. trying to there. Can you see that? Yeah. It sort of like goes back on itself. So I'm gonna we've obviously got that stiff, although it's it's you know flexible. So I'm gonna go through let's thread all of these on here let's keep going get them all on you know these are a weighty gemstone so I'm going to just go through so I'm going to put all of these on so one more that could be a stretchy necklace too what a relaxing hobby cannot wait to get mine yes Tracy it is there's not many pieces of jewelry that I make other than stretchies I love stretchies they're just they're, they're great, aren't they? And you, you know, you, and it's sort of layering them up. So I've just, I've just hooked that, hooked that onto there. Sorry if I just block that off. There we are. To be fair, Julie, I think you've you've made a really valid point here. Actually, um, you could possibly use this like a sewing needle, couldn't you? As yeah, in, as I, in, I suppose as in so. Yeah. Beading thread. Yeah, yeah, you could do. Yeah, it's, uh, yes, because it's a nice long needle, isn't it? With that quite a large, although it's not a closed. Um, Look at that. Eye. So that's. There we are. So if I take that, there you go. Off. Use the needle out for the next piece after. Yes. So that yes. So that's I've just taken that that away. There's nothing, no change with that. And then that has all gone. So what has take you know it takes seconds, doesn't it? Because usually it's the threading on that. Yeah. That takes such a long time. And that is all. All on there already. So that, Just yeah, that needle on. is very, very, very clever. It's genius. Really strong, but very flexible. Um, it will go, as long as, will it go through pearls? It depends on the drill hole of the purse, uh, pearl, of course, because yeah. some, of course, pearls tend to generally have a, lot, a smaller a smaller drill hole, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, um, some of them, some of them it might do. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I would, yeah. You could always ream it to actually get your needle through if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, hello to you, Kathy. Keep the needles in the packaging when not in use. They are so easy to lose in a busy workroom. Top mm. tip, Kathy. Yeah. Yes. In actual fact, I only had it last night and I made these pieces and then obviously I left, put it all in a bag to bring back into the studio. Um, and I was like, oh, where's the needle gone? But I did find it in the end. Sheila, so much less uh, uh, elastic used as well. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can you're kind not, of measure yeah. it yeah. too with these. Yeah. Because they're hitting anything off, are you? Yeah. 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 You're not going to, uh, less waste in your elastic as well. Yeah. Um, now, these are flying out the door. Half the stock has gone already. In terms of the lengths of the needles that you're getting, you're getting one which is eight inches and one which is, oh, oh, oh hang on, hang on, hang on, because that's gone off the top there. Um, what's the length of that one? We've got the different lengths. Have you taken 10? I'm going to say that's about 10 inches. So you've got the different lengths of your needles included in this as well. And you do get both. There's two of them there, if you can see. At £29.99 only, Gail. Hello to you, Brian and Shirley. Lola, 
Julie, Malk, Tracy, Julia, Pat, Mary, Colleen. Should we go over to the course screen? Because there's loads of you there, and I'm no, no way near going to be able to say hello to you all. Um, but well done. People are multi-buying on this as well. It's a necessity. It is a necessity to our jewellery maker stash. <coughs> There's so many of you in this basket. Listen, oh my goodness, it's half past it's half past ten. Where's the time going? Gosh. Cat. I tell you what, it's so clever, isn't it? So, so clever. Cat, we've wasted all that time, haven't we, talking about height when really what I should have been doing was bringing the deed of the day. To catch up, to catch up, I tell you what, let's drop the price. Let's take it even lower, shall we? Shouldn't have, by the way. Um, here you all are. And by the way, you do go off the bottom of the screen. But I, we haven't figured out how to get your names on there as well. Um, but look, literally rows upon rows upon rows of you getting involved. Well done to those of you there. Lola, Julie, Malk, I can see Pat, Mary, Yvonne. Um, if your name is on this side of the call screen, um, it's in, you're either in the process of making your confirmations or it's sat in your basket. It's not going to stay there. Believe me, a 500 quantity, I said this to you this morning, Kat, didn't I? Five, I've done auctions of, over, of almost 2,000 and they've sold out 2,000 quantities. This will be no different because it is an absolute necessity. It, be it a, if you are a wire worker, if you are a seed beader, if you are a standard beader, a pearl knotter, if you are, um, I don't know, a crafter of cards mm. with, our, with mm. hobby maker, everybody can make a stretchy bracelet. Generally speaking, it's the first piece of jewellery that you actually go on to create. You don't want to see your name on this side. You want to see your name on that side because that means it is guaranteed to you. There we go. Makers just bought five. Barbara, Stephanie's bought two. Helen's bought two. Patricia, Rachel, hello to you. Uh, Taranjit, hello to you. Florence, Lola, Susan, Jane, Sterlingshire. All these people recognizing how amazing this uh, this Saturday morning early uh, deal of the day is. It is a bonkers deal. How many of us have been in this scenario where you've run out of elastic? It's infuriating. Isn't yes, it? yeah, and particularly this, uh, in these colours. Yeah, I've never seen, I've never seen these like these satin like metallic colours. And like you say, yeah, if I've ever taught, you know, like um, uh, say brownies or um, you know, sometimes like Did uh, you teach children. Brownies? Yeah, not not only not not every week, only to do a, a, a jewellery making workshop. Um, and uh, I love and like chil brownies teacher. children's charities. Um, it, this is this is what you know, this is what we've done with them, and, and it's been it's great. It's really really great because you're you're introducing, aren't you, a completely um, you know lots of lots of kids will have seen jewellery in shops, but then when you're actually showing them how to make it, it's it's really it's really really lovely because they do feel so proud, and yes. it's often it's often you know lots of people can do that. You know, it's it's not necessarily you know real fine motor skills to thread on, and this makes it really really easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, with those with those needles as well. Could I could we use? I, I think you're going to find lots of uses for this needle because yes, your beading threads will work in the same way that elastic does. Mm. Um, you know, it doesn't. There's nothing saying. In fact, let me just double check the packaging on this. But it doesn't. I don't think it actually says it has to be. It does. Oh, sorry, it does. Elastic cord needle. But why couldn't that be thread? Why couldn't that be, be your, your tiger tail? Why couldn't well, like that be? Your, yeah, your monofilament. Your you know, like doing monofilament. Yeah. There's no reason. Yeah, I'm thinking really. those, um, you know, like the, the, the crocheted necklaces. Um, yeah. Nice one, lovely ladies. Great price for the elastic. Yes. It's Saturday, isn't it? There were 500, way over half the stock has gone, and there is still a little bit of a queue on those phone lines, everybody. It will be, uh, uh, you know, this is one of those items that people go, brilliant, I've been waiting for it, I need to stock up my stash. I've got the two gauges, both the 0.5 mm -hmm. and the 0.8, and we're getting these really beautiful metallic colours. Um, again, sorry to keep going back to it, but I'm really proud of that bracelet. It's so simple. It's really make. lovely, and but I, but don't you think, though, that in the same way, you know, when you think about, say, pearl knotting, or something you might use your wire guardians and that just it takes it up a, a notch doesn't it of the, the attention to detail now you're color coordinating your elastics to almost like you, they're, they're metallic colors aren't they so yeah if, you know if you're just using spaces be like your silver your gold, gold rose gold but the, the colors of your gemstones that, as well it just makes i just think it's that attention to detail just you know things like that set you apart don't they that's yeah. the silver that's yeah the and silver. it really works with that and again, when you actually see it loose, you can't see the threading material yeah. at all, can you? Yeah. Uh, what's that? 
What's the best knot to use on your elastic, Claire? I just do a double knot. So it'll give you, um, it, it gives you details on the back there. It does. Sort of show you, it'll show you there. Hmm. So if you have a look at those ones there. So it does, it'll show you how to do it on there. Um, the way, if I just sort of, I'm going to take a little bit of this Can off. I be controversial? Oh, yeah. I don't do it like that. What? <laughs> do you I do it like a balloon? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, just I, have do, I just do a knot, you know, like uh, overhand, and then again, it, I, that's all I do. Like a what knot? Just a knot and a knot. I meant like, do you do it like that, like a balloon, like you do a balloon? No. Okay, I've some, seen some people do it like that, like a, a balloon knot. Do that again. Oh, should I do it? There we are. Hang on. So, if, so if, you, you know, double you, it if over. Imagine that it's a balloon. Hang yeah. On, let me undo this. Put my glasses on so I can actually see it. I have seen some people do like that. So a knot. Yeah. Like that's that. how I do it. Yeah. 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 Like a yeah. Or so there's that. I like to do it so that you you're tightening it from all so if I take this one I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off so that if you're doing if we imagine we've got our um, uh, gemstones of our beads on here so we've got our two ends here and we're thinking about because the whole point is that you want to tighten tighten the knot so we've, I've done a straightforward overhand knot yeah this next one so I'm going to go through, oh you go the other way so I'm going to go through like that and then through again so do your surgeon's knot and pull but then it's when it's like that what you're doing is I'm I'm tightening here so I'm pulling in this direction but I'm also pulling here so I'm pulling and tightening that knot from all four so it's, it's really um really tight I literally do the overhand knot yeah and then another overhand knot I've never had a stretchy break well there we though. go then it's what but whatever works for and you. Do you do you put um a little bit of Clear nail varnish. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Little dab yeah. of clear nail yeah. varnish as well. Yeah. Um, or if you got your hypo cement glue yesterday, yeah. that would be perfect yeah. too. Hiya Sue. Bought two. Get to uh, get me going with jewelry making after a two-year gap. Stretchy bracelets. So go go. Yeah. Oh, great Brilliant. way to get that that creativity um, jewelry mojo going again. What do you call it? A sojo, so ah, that it's mojo here at jewelry making. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, enjoy, Sue. So yeah, kind of welcome brilliant. back as well. Yeah. You can't beat a stretchy. Yeah. You know, there's always th there's always occasions like I told you. I've told you before. In fact, there. Uh, this is the one. These are actually old ones. These. Um, these are the ones that I actually made. Mummy and daughter. So I made myself some and I made Willow some because she was getting bullied in school and I caught there was like left a little note. These are your brave and strong bracelets. So she wears them all the time. Um, just something quick that you can whip up also something that I can actually make um, yeah and she loves that the idea of wearing them you can get the whole family involved um, my uh, um, yeah the needles are ultra really easy mm. to use so yeah I was doing this and my sister-in-law popped over with her lovely husband last night and even he was making stretchy bracelets <laughs> um, he was like, oh okay come over and start making jewelry it's fabulous fun isn't it at uh, 24 pounds and 99 pence just to recap you again getting in total 30 metres um, of your elastics across the 8 mil, or sorry, the 0.8 and the 0.5, which means you can use these silks through your pearls. Oh, yeah, which is, that's very good, isn't it? That yeah. allows you to do your stretchy pearl bracelets. That's really, really yeah, good. Yeah, things like these. I wouldn't have been able yeah. to do those mm -hmm. um, if it wasn't for uh, the 0.5 elastic. The needles are revolutionary. It caused an absolute frenzy on the phone lines when we mm. first launched those needles, and you're getting them in the two different lengths, all in this mega deal of the day bundle. Very clever. Well done. Still loads of you with, your, uh, with it in your basket. Still people on the phone lines. We can see you there. Don't worry, there's quantity. But they are flying. Um, but I can see you there, June. I can see you there, Christine. I can see you there, Linda, Barbara, Beverly, Callie, Eileen. Um, we're going to bring you Anne and Kent. Good luck. Sylvia, you're all there. Well done. New colours, I think, in the elastics. I've not seen those colours before. I think they're very clever. Nice, aren't really, they? Really, yeah. Really nice colours. Really lovely. Yeah. Well done to every single mm. one of you. With a stretchy, just lastly, just before, because I will go on about stretchies for hours, given the chance. Um, with a stretchy as well, clasps can be an issue for some people. Yeah. Metal can yeah. be an issue for some people. Yeah, yeah I'm going to worry about that. 
um, because uh, you know it's all gemstones, isn't mm. it? So if you get if you are maybe allergic to some of your precious metals or, or not, um, then a stretchy brace bracelet is the way forward. Mm. Well done, everyone! Congratulations, every single one of you. Still got people with it in your baskets. We're going to bring you some bondles that you can use alongside Ooh, the gemstones gosh, these as look well. Lovely. They are lovely. They guess guess who made them? Did you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've reached 300 in quantity, 300, that means you've only got 200 left and it hasn't slowed on the phone lines or the web. So that I do predict these to be an actual sellout today. Was it Wayne? Yes. He was very proud and excited about they these are bundles, gorgeous. wasn't he, Kat? He was like, three mil bundles. Oh, he's done a good job here. These are very nice. They are beautiful. So if you mm. love this idea, you know, this kind of look, very Astley Clark. Mm. That's why I really like the three and four mil um, sizes. This is the ideal bundle for you. I'm going to start with. Ah, okay. Wow. Oh, they're beautiful, mm. aren't they? Let me just drape this over the tea bar for a second. Mm. So. Oh, look. See if you can guess the gemstones. I'll tell you. Granded, you're right. Yellow tourmaline and multicolored beryl. What a gorgeous bundle this is. That is, isn't it? Because you've got, haven't you? You've got the, it's, it's such a delicate size. We've still got color, the sparkle. It's lovely. So, yeah, layering them up. So, for example, I'm just going to take this off the tea bar for a minute. So, let's look at the multicolored beryl first. Soft Gosh, pastel pretty, isn't palettes, it? isn't it lovely? Um, I'd use the silver. So it's the cord, the thread is not going to show through. Um, and that would go through, the point, eight, uh, the point five would go through this strand. Then when it comes to the Grand Digirite, one of the world's rarest gemstones that exists, I'd probably stick to that, would you? Yeah, I might. I, I, think, I, I think as well, I, with the, the barrel strand, I might be tempted to go with the pinky, the pinky one. Ooh, oh, I, to encourage yes, the colour. Yeah, yeah, because that's what I like to see Genius. in a barrel strand. So, yeah, I'd probably go with that. And then, yes, I'd go with that, the silvery one. Yeah, totally with that, that gold. Yeah. Yeah. Stretchy rings are very popular because, you know, if you have mm. swollen joints or arthritis, yeah. then, of course, then... Um, let me just scooch those over. Um, then, yeah, stretchy ring is, is mm. a great way of being able to actually carry on wearing your gemstones and jewellery. Um, this is a collector's exclusive bundle put together by yours truly, Wayne Pascoe. Um, our amazing sales manager and also gemstone buyer. I'm, he's doing what? The Grand Digirite should be that price. We're talking about one of the world's top 10 rarest gemstones. That is completely and utterly natural. In fact, there's only a limited quantity. In fact, are they all natural? Grand Digirite is. Tourmaline is. Uh, a little bit of treatment on your multicolored beryl. Uh, very, very limited, everybody, at £49. Pounds. And 99 pence only. Perfect colours to go with the mm. deal of the day. Oh, they are amazing, aren't they? I pay 49 for that yellow tourmaline. It's beautiful. That's a lovely combination, isn't it? And each strand, Claire, if I start using a few spacers like these. Which I think I think work really well, don't they? Because it just you, you really then focus on the on the gemstone in between. Yeah. That means I'm gonna probably be able to make about three bracelets from this yeah. one strand yeah. from each strand. Yeah. Um, each strand. So that basically means that this could potentially be, what, nine pieces of jewellery. Mm. Nine pieces of jewellery. You do the maths. 49.99 divided by nine. Obviously, you've got a factory in your elastic there. I mean, they're grand digirites. Yes. They're, they're natural yeah. tourmalines um, and multicoloured pastel palettes of your beautiful, beautiful barrel. Loving this bundle. Um, if you love the facet, then this is the one for you. If you're looking for your, uh, your smooth rounds, we've also got those. Um, not a problem. That will work be beautifully with your deal of the day. £49.99 pence only. That's the price of your grand digirite and you're getting everything else for free. I would also, with, the, with those strands, have you seen where, you know, you just do lots and lots of um, wrap loops. So rather than thread, uh, thread the gemstone directly onto the elastic, mm. you do the, the gemstone onto the head pin, do your wrap loop, create a load of those, and then you feed that onto oh. the elastic. So you're introducing the, um, the metal. So it's almost like that, a bubble style. Um, it's a bit that like looks a really, bracelet. Yes, yeah. 
that looks really, really lovely. And I think those strands would, would work really oh, well. Oh, that'd that. be gorgeous. And especially you have got this bundle, you'll be heavily loaded with the gemstones yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, oh. that barrel's lovely, isn't it? <gasps> Amazing. Stay mm. where you are on those phone lines. We are about to step into a double trouble opportunity mm -hmm. that I think will fly. Cat, how much is it? Oh, it's not a double trouble, it's triple. Wait a minute, am I meant to have... Oh! You could see the look of confusion, couldn't you? Oh, that's lovely. It's a double strand. We call it a double trouble when technically it's a triple. Because this... See, that would be just a lovely necklace, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like that. One of, yeah. Maybe a charm or something on the, or maybe a pearl on the on the bottom of that. That's gorgeous. <gasps> Rose quartz and lapis lazuli. Lovely. Look at those. Again, we know that we can make a lot mm. out of this. Yeah, yeah. They look. They almost look. It looks like a small quantity, doesn't it? But it's definitely I think that when you cut strands like that, you can't believe actually how much you've, um, you know, how much you've got really. And especially if you are going to do your, um, you know, your, your stretchy stacking bracelets, you're going to get an awful lot out of uh, whichever oh. technique you use. Well, you'll get five. I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah. look, you can say if I actually, if I wanted to, I could twist that over. You'll get five out of the rose quartz at least, um, without the addition of any other spaces, because mm. look, I've still got that there. So you're going to get about five out of that strand, and at least two out of the lapis lazuli as well. £29.99 for this beautiful bundle. Yeah, do it, Kat. Yeah, let's take it under £20. Yes. Let's do it. Perfect with your deal of the day. Again, you could use the pinkish colours with your rose quartz. You mm. could then use, what do you think, the gold? The gold might be nice. As with well, the lapis? Yes, yeah. I'd go yeah. gold. I think that Make would, a feature yeah. of it. Make Especially it if you were going to use maybe gold spacers with, oh, um, yeah. with the lapis. Love it because the you know the elastic itself when you actually put it on it does get it exposed so yeah, yeah. Um, have it to complement your gemstones under twenty pounds for you today this amazing bundle like I said that's not just one strand that you're getting here it's actually a three sixty over the head if you wanted it to be OMG my life would be so dull without jewelry maker bless you Joseph uh, Josephine mine too mm. mine too actually. Yeah, Mine too. I do love coming here. Yeah, um, I get to I get to work with crazies like this lot, like this lot. Right now, I'm looking at Lucy, and she's just got this expression, literally this expression on her face right there. <laughs> Why do that? Is that your concentrating face? Why the tongue in the side of the mouth? It's all right. Mine's not much better. Mike, do you want to see my concentrating face? Adam, you know what my concentrating face is, isn't it? Don't you? This is mine. <laughs> look like Brutus. I do look like Brutus. I know, I look like my dog. <laughs> my underbite, it's unfortunate, isn't it? And I tend to do it when I'm watching telly as well. And my husband, I can just see my husband looking across at me laughing. I bet he's so <laughs> glad he married me. So glad. 1999 only to get hold of this. Um, oh, I love it, love it, love it. We're going to step into another bundle right now. Love this one. I'm all about this bundle. I want to get involved. Unakite. Oh, lovely. <gasps> Ruby Zoocyte. Oh, and Blue Chalcedony. Imagine them, just like, like, mm. like I was wearing them, mm. literally just stacked up. Because that is approximately six bracelets with spacers. Would you agree? Gosh, that's really When nice, I say spacers, it? it could be Mayuki. That Ruby Zoocyte strand's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. Look at that. Wow. Natural Unakite, what I always refer to as the Monet stone. Um, amazing, amazing Ruby Zoocyte, mm. natural. And also your blue chalcedony. The quality, the quality, the quality, the quality of each of these strands. Six stretchy bracelets. That's what I'm thinking immediately. I want to put that blue um, chalcedony with the 
the previous. Um, I'd dot that in with the other ones as well, the rose quartz, I think. Yeah, as well. lovely. So That's many it. lovely, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're buying a couple of these bundles, there's so many different combinations, aren't they? They work beautifully. That's, Im that's mm. unbelievable. For this, yep. did you say first cat? Yes, yeah, she did. She said that. She totally said that. Look, with some spacers, yeah. imagine them now on the elastic, very boho chic, summer months. It's the mm. kind of jewellery, I don't often change jewellery. I'll put a pair of earrings in, uh, obviously. Um, stretchy bracelets sometimes never come off. On my mm. days off, I'm always seeing more in yeah. wearing stretchy bracelets. Um, and the amount of times I actually get requests from my friends and family to make more stretchy bracelets, yeah. you know. It's so easy. Um, they are they? easy. Yeah. yeah, they are that easy. Looks, that looks really nice, doesn't it? I do like doesn't that it? combination, yeah. Very boho chic. Yeah. One of my, uh, one of my um, school run friends, um, she was actually, yeah, she was admiring stretchy bracelets. And she was like, oh, I love those. I thought, yeah, I have them. I can make some more. Mm. It's not a bother, is it? Yeah. It's no. really not a bother. It's a good Tw feeling, isn't it? It's it nice is. Feeling, yeah. 24 pounds and 99 pence. Let's go even lower, though. How many do we have of these then, Kat? 75. That's it. This is the price of the Ruby Zoocyte. Wow. Or the Chalcedony. Who in a cat you can get a little bit less? But that is the price of either of those mm. strands. 14.99, and like you said, that ruby zoocyte is in. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's really standing. Quality. It's really standing. I, I, I do like that. Well really done. Colours in there, aren't there? Look at that. Layer them up. Layer them up. You're multi buying on this. Hello, Helen. Hello to you, Tessa. Hello to you, Lincoln. Hello to you, Lorna. And we only had 75 London West Midlands. Hello to you, Maggie. Hello to you, new buyers. Uh, Deborah, you're there as well. Check out those baskets to guarantee your success. 75 is not enough. You've got to remember we've just done a deal a day for 500 quantity. Um, they're still currently available, but there's still lots of you with it still in your baskets. Don't forget, coming up this afternoon on Hobby Maker, we have the launch of the die cutter, your Gemporia Craft die cutter. And I know that just, that's not just, uh, uh, you know, really your, your cards and your crafts and things like that. A die cutter is, you know, pretty, pretty exciting that's, that's across lots of different mediums. It? Liam must be very excited. Hat making. Mm. Oh. There you go. I'm sure, I'm sure. Tune in at three o'clock, yeah. we will be. Um, there's lots of different ways of using Can't your wait. die cutters. Yeah. So that's coming happening at 3 p.m. on Hobby Maker this afternoon. 14 pounds and 99 pence only. I mean, literally, just layer them up, couldn't you? That's yeah, the you beauty could, of. Think about, you know, if you've got, maybe that you're gonna put things with your stash in here, you know that that, especially the, um, uh, you know, this is like the, the greener tones, the unicite, that, that, that is going to go with everything you've got, isn't it? It's like yep. know, the rules of nature that that will go with whatever you put it with. Just okay. layer them up and create something like that. Yeah, that's and nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Something like that. Literally Gorgeous. just throw them on. Throw them on. You got, we're, we're into the months now where we start wearing sort of your sort of floaty dresses and things like that. Yeah. Um, maxi dresses, sandals, with your Marla necklaces, loads of loads of your lovely little stretchy bracelets. Oh, can't wait. Totally rocking the boho <sighs> chic look. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody, to guarantee your success on those. They are beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. I love a stretchy. Love a stretchy. That looks lovely. Do you think I'm like the biggest advocator in the world of stretchy bracelets? Yeah, you've got passion and enthusiasm for them, which is. And it's not just because that's the only thing I can make. No. It's a great <laughs> thing to make, isn't it? But I, I, I can do other things. Yeah. Just I'm not as talented as you lot at home. And I like a stretchy. That's the most important no, thing. That, I think stretchy. I like brilliant. a stretchy. Yeah. They, I, I will be doing that knotting, though, that kit. If there's any of those kits left, I'll be joining yes, on that. It's great, isn't it? It's another Ooh, good look. technique. That looks lovely. So you like beaded uh, Kumahimo, isn't it? It does. Like Oh, wow. Um, tell me what you're taking this to. Right, okay. Okay. All joking aside. Oh, lovely. Then. There's 89 of this kit available. This strand alone should be the price that we are taking. Have I, I might have even bought this strand before. Something very cool. similar. Yeah. Very, very similar. Yours is better quality than mine. But look, something like that with some spacer beads. These are four mil in their size. This is turquoise. 
genuine turquoise in your four mil round. This strand alone is the price of the bundle. Mm. But you don't just get this. You are also getting a beautiful strand of stunning citrine. It's amazing, isn't it? Look at that. It's your sunshine and your sky, isn't it? It's just, uh, and? Lovely. Tourmaline. Yeah. I want this bundle. I want this bundle. Those two I would definitely use together. Mm. Definitely, definitely. Uh, for me, you're paying for the you're paying for the turquoise and you're getting everything else for free. Don't forget, this is um, a sales manager bundle for you all. So you're getting sales manager deals. Um, he's got no phone signal at the moment, Wayne. So we can do what we want. <laughs> So is this the price that Wayne wanted us to bring this bundle to then? <gasps> yeah, we're going to go even lower. Yay! What are you going to do about it, Wayne? <laughs> Literally, uh, turned into a five-year-old now, aren't I? What are you going to do, Wayne? <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. Twenty-nine ninety-nine only. Do you see where I'm coming from? That's the turquoise. Yeah. yeah. And you're getting everything else for free. Or the citrine, or the tourmaline for that matter. There were just under 100 of these available and an immediate response. This is beautiful. And, and strands like that with the multicolored tourmaline, you know, it, it, they're, they're quite scattered, aren't they? They're, they're not really uniform in that in mm. that strand. You know, have a have a play about with them, rearrange them. You know, I tend to like take photos of, of how it looks in a different. So if you're arranging them with, you know, from maybe your light to dark, or you're grouping all that, so maybe the pinky tones together. So you'd colour match them. Yeah, th there's a lot that you can do with them, and I do, I, yeah, I, I do like them when you do that, and you've got the. I, I do like to have that so that you've got the real pinks going into maybe some of the lilacs, um, you know, the, the, the greens, the browns, and then to, sort of like the really sort of like the darker uh, black tones. They're beautiful. Again, look at the citrine. Mm. Now imagine it with that silk going yeah, through. Yeah, It's going to intensify the it's colour, really isn't clever, it? It's really clever. Very, very got clever. Clever color. choice of, of, of elastic colours. It know. is, isn't yeah. it? You've got your silver, you've got yeah. your gold, yeah. and then like a blush colour. Yeah. Um, so it's going to complement pretty much all of your gemstones. Yeah, imagine that elastic from your deal of the day running through the citrine. Check out your baskets on that one. Loads and loads and loads of you getting involved. It's absolutely beautiful. Now... Four mil round. Um, plain rounds. These are six. Oh, I don't have that one. I, I wish I did. I don't have that bundle here. So hang on, what have we got? Jasper. Obsidian and prenite? Sorry, specitite, sodalite, rutal quartz, and obsidian. All four strands. It might just be me, but I don't see it. Uh, four strands in total in this bundle. I don't physically have it here in the studio. At that, at that size, you could do your um, beady beads with it as well, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, you great could idea. beady bead and then maybe um, have that in, on your um, stretchy bracelets too. And these are four millimetre again. It's yeah, the so perfect it works, size. Yeah, it works well with that, doesn't it? Perfect size for your, uh, for your stretchy bracelets. Again, complementing all of your elastics um, uh, from your deal of the day. Immediately, immediately people, uh, people get, I don't know how, but you are actually getting involved in this one as well. Um, so beautiful obsidian, I love that. Captivating gemstone that almost has a galaxy within. Um, you've got your black rutile. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, specitite, which is totally natural. Look at this zesty lime green. Nom, 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 nom. Gosh, that's lovely, isn't it? I love green as a colour. I bought a pair of shoes that were this colour the other day. Did you? Yes! Ooh. Don't know when I'm going to wear them, but they're nice. Um, you've got some lovely obsidian. There it is, golden obsidian, no less. Here is your... I've gone blank. What's it? So what's so it? light. Yes, yeah, thank it's you. Such a such a lovely look, isn't it? It's such good quality. Look at those. Real depth of colour. Really inky. 
Then you have your jasper, and then you have your beautiful monochrome oh, um, nice. black yeah. rutile quartz. Loving this mm. bundle. Again, you're going to make eight bracelets as a very minimum. Yeah. It just depends on the size, obviously. Um, but if you start incorporating maybe your Mayuki or your precious metal as spaces, it's going to go that even further, uh, that much further. Four mil, plain rounds, $29.99, and that is our first price crash. We're not stopping there. We're going to go even lower, of course. However, quantity is the thing. You know, we hear it all the time, Claire, that people, oh, I've lost the mojo. Hmm. And it happens, don't we have almost yeah. like a creative block? Of course, yes. So yeah. would you say it's like stretchies and beady beads and peyotes and looming? Yeah, I would say always, I would go back into, if you feel like you've lost a bit of your confidence, maybe go back to something like that, that not that you can do with your eyes closed, but do you know what I mean? You don't, it's not a lot of creative thought into it you yeah. can do you can make it as you know uh, you can really think about like the colors that you want to work with or sizes or shapes but if you just want to sort of maybe just get back onto it of, of of making something and you know and then feeling really good about it and that then starts the well, process again and, you, and your, your creative journey and then you know you might decide that you want to gift that to somebody and then you've got that lovely experience as well it's just i think stretchy bracelets are a really lovely way back into absolutely either starting to make jewelry or getting back into it. absolutely All right this is your closing price on this beautiful bundle i totally agree you know if you've lost your mojo or maybe it's uh, you know or you just don't have the time at the moment to actually yeah. do jewelry making yeah. as you used once used to or something like that you can still do stretchy bracelets because they are mm. really quick, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and I touched on this, actually, because I know Alison's done, uh, guest designer Alison Terry's done some amazing shows recently with looming. You can have, mm. there's, uh, there's a loom up there. Um, so you can actually have it set up, say, um, on, your, uh, on your table or your work area, wherever you create your jewellery, and you can go back to it. You don't have to use sea beads. Mm. You can actually use your rounds. If they're uniform, like this bundle is... That would be nice. I'm smiling because so yes, yeah, yes smiling? I'm smiling because you've You're mentioned Alison. Me. <laughs> Just like you've mentioned Alison, and it reminded me yesterday. I had such I had such a long conversation, like a FaceTime conversation with Alison, that my phone just gave up. <laughs> it just sort of you know it like overheats. <laughs> Literally, how long were you on like, the phone to one another? Over an hour. And it's just like your phone, it, you know, when it comes up with that emergency either message. That or she it's like, or either that up, or she hung up on you. My phone. <laughs> maybe she was just like that. Oh, I Thank don't, goodness I, for that. <laughs> maybe she just, maybe it was a case she just hung up on you. No, Alison it wasn't. It wasn't. She wouldn't do that. No, Alison wouldn't. She, she was like one of, the, one of the most polite people ever. <laughs> she, she would. Are you saying that she'd want to then and she was too, too polite? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Only joking, Claire. <laughs> so yes, that's why I was smirking. Um, I did wonder because she's literally. You literally I couldn't like help it. I know. <laughs> I realised that my face was betraying. Um, <laughs> I almost said something then, and it would have come across so badly. What did you say, Kat? I almost. Yes, loving this one. Shell pearl, um, jasper. Oh my gosh. Fluorite. That fluorite strand is incredible. Ooh, this is lovely. Wow. Uh, hang on, so let's. I'm trying to drape them all over the back of the hand. Yeah, that's my sloth's face, by the way. Yes, your sloth. <laughs> well, that's what you were doing to me. <laughs> turquoise, dyed turquoise, which basically means you could get it at a slightly more affordable uh, price point. Uh, you've got multicolored fluorite, black agate, fancy jasper, and your shell pearls. You're getting all of those in this bundle. <laughs> all of them at this amazing price um perfect on your deal of the day again turquoise yes it's treated turquoise we don't we don't turn our nose up at treated ruby or sapphire or tanzanite i don't think we should do a turquoise either 29.99 only to get hold of these i mean the shell pearl kiss cross necklaces mm. weaving looming stretchy bracelets knotting all of the above i think that might be my most favorite Fluorite ever. I love that. It is beautiful, it's isn't it? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Which of your elastics would you use with that? I think I would go with the silver. Yeah. Because it's going to literally well, mm. disappear, mm. isn't it? It's going to disappear within the strand itself. Um, Twenty nine ninety nine. So what? Four strands. What's that? What's that working out at each? 
Uh, for, I'm, I'm terrible at maths. I really need to... Like, this is when, where Tom would look at me, like, completely <laughs> exasperated and just say, for goodness sake, can you not work that out? <laughs> it's what? About seven pounds. Seven pounds per strand. You wouldn't pay seven pounds for that fluorite. You wouldn't pay right. seven pounds for turquoise. And look at it um, next to the shell pearl as well. That's lovely. Oh. Yeah. Keep on dialing through. Don't go anywhere because we still have so much to bring you this Saturday morning. Did anybody mention a global exclusive oh. launch? And we are going to put it on pre-order. Listen, you can pre-order it elsewhere only because we had a message coming through to the studio saying, I can get it from somewhere else. No, you can pre-order it. You can't get it. You can pre-order it. There's a big difference. You'd have to wait. Whereas we are globally the only place that you can get your hands on this book literally within a matter of days um so 500 copies being launched to you on pre-order as of the next hour and we've got the most beautiful master class as well yes yes um, we have Chris. stunning yeah. makes yeah. so much more to see we'll be back after this <laughs> It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. <laughs>
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. World exclusive. We are launching this amazing book and you can pre-order your copy right here, right now. FYI, um, I was chatting to our colleagues on our sister channel um, during the week uh, about this book launch. There's a lot of our, our, our colleagues who are going to be getting involved in this as well because they cannot get hold of it um, other than watching Jewelry Maker this morning. There is no other location that you can actually get your hands on this book currently. It is globally exclusive until April. You can pre-order a copy. You can pre-order a copy, but you can't physically get it home before April other than with us, other than with us. Um, it's a lovely book, as you can see, the Natural History Museum, Book of Gemstones, a concise reference guide. It's not one of those that's intimidating to read. Um, it's literally a case of, oh, okay, I want to learn more about topaz. Okay, I want to learn more about ruby zoocyte. Okay, I want to learn more about, uh, about watermelon tourmaline. It's got it all in there. So this is, you, can we pre-order this now, Kat? You can pre-order your copy now. Now, I want to get this book. I've got so many different gem books at home. Um, and actually, I only actually reach for a couple because if they're too wordy, let's put it that way, I don't bother looking at them. It was my, my, my very simple brain. It's true, though. I like a picture. Um, my uh, very simple brain. <laughs> um, it's different ways like, of learning, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. And also just how it's laid out. Lay, you know, how the book is laid out can make a big difference. Talks about different cutting, polishing of your gemstones, history. Um, what's that, sorry? However, it's ch how it trends, absolutely, how it's changed over the years, how the gemstone naturally forms within Mother Nature. You can pre-order your copy right now, right now. There are 500 available. Sorry, Kat. What was that? Also, oh, that's handy. Also explains how to distinguish between fake imitation gemstones and genuine so, you know, there's lots of synthetics out there, which, which we quite often reference. You know, Be mindful of synthetics. This will actually give you that, that information in your hands. You can pre-order it right now, and it is going lower than what you're seeing on the website, by the way. Um, so that's very, very, very exciting. But before we step into that, we've got an amazing masterclass um, with Claire. Claire, let's show you, because I scooched them over, and... We need to see these because these are absolutely beautiful. You wear the most amazing ring. Is that was that the inspiration to these pieces? I'm not sure. I think um, yes. I think it had a little bit to do with it. Yes, yes. I think They're it did. beautiful, Claire. Absolutely gorgeous. And these are basically made out of a tube setting. 
sterling silver by the length and then the loose gemstones yes yeah so we've got um you've got a couple of different sorts of, of settings in there so you've got your um the kits have been really cleverly put together in that they've got little bezel cups yeah um so you can do a mixture of gluing if you want to or, or, or um bezel setting and then you've got tube setting in there as well wow across three different kits i mean these are the kind of things that do you know what they remind me of boodles do you think yeah totally yeah. totally remind me of boodles you know in that kind of bubbly beautiful yeah, design yeah, yeah which if they were in boodles then obviously they'd be astronomical in terms of their price um now you're going to be doing a little bit of soldering as well yes we're going to do a few things yes we are in the um yeah we'll do a few things in the in the demo we'll, we'll do a little bit of granulation as well um and how we can put it all together so yeah so if i've never done any kind of silver work at all before yeah this might be a nice demo then to sort of as an, an introduction to it because we'll do a few different bits um, and then you can take elements of it um and then if you know uh you can put it all together to create pieces like this or you can uh, you might just decide that you want to have um i don't know one of the the gemstones on um stacker rings for example yeah um so I've, I've tried to do a couple of different bits where, you, you know, same sort of different colourways, but um, you're getting the same, I think, amount of gemstones, same shape. So you can either make something very, very um, uniform, which is like the, um, the pendant, um, you know, it's, it's sort of very evenly spaced out, or um, you, can, you can do it a little bit more, more random. You're so clever, Claire. Oh, thanks. You really are. I, you know, we have a laugh and a joke, but you are so, so, so clever. We do. <laughs> that sounded wrong. I didn't, I didn't mean it to sound as a joke. As a, but we do have a laugh, you know. And I, and, and I, and I want to. I just, you know, want to take this opportunity to say you are so clever, though. Oh, thanks. You really are. To be thanks able to make. Much jewelry of this grade thank you um is is just but that's that's you know i feel i feel like i've gone on a real journey um being here and it's and it's lovely i think being in a, a, a creative community and you know I and people like that, that you know boost you up and you know that's what i meant to do <laughs> i that's know not totally what i, I meant know. to do and I, until i saw adam laughing as if i, like, oh, I totally <laughs> didn't come across that way um adam i was, I was being nice um we have three kits three different colorways all of which you can mix together right um so i'm just going to scooch these in that direction just for a second um these are called earth water and fire so you get an idea um of um of the colors now i'm starting with ah oh, beautiful um i'll do my very best to show you each and every single one of these components in fact where did, did you dan did we get those tweeds oh there there there, 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 they are. there we are so these what do we call these little settings yeah little bezel cups ah yeah, yeah. so very it's kind of like a rubbed they? over setting yeah so it's um you, what you what you can do with that is um, so if you see it's almost like the tube settings that, that you've got in there as well. Um, it's all it's all really done for you. What you might have to do is you might um, and we can again we can go through this in the demo. You might need to work with some of the, your burrs or, or your files um, uh, for, to get a really really tight fit on the with the gemstones. Or if you wanted to say for example if you definitely didn't want to glue and that's entirely up to you 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 might want to thin down the walls of the uh, the bezel cups okay to make them a little bit thinner okay so to cradle them over yeah again uh, like i've said this about other kits you know it's very um they're very cleverly thought out in that you can if if gluing is something that you're happy to do then you can absolutely do that or you can do a mix so you can do you know some bezel setting some tube setting some gluing it's, it's entirely up to you it, uh, which i think are very very clever with kits that it, it's you know either your skill level or or how you feel on the day really or you know yeah yeah and you'll be covering all of these yeah, um, yeah, here are will. your tubes so would you just kindly describe what a tube setting is all about yes yeah, so if you um if you have a look in those so from the from the outside they just look like they're a, a tube but they're actually very very clever so the bit that you can see there the bit you're holding up that's the that's the i think that's the back of it so if you turn it round, can you see on that side you can see the the, oh, yeah, the side there's... of it there's like a little a finer lip so um inside there's a seat where your stone will Ooh. sit yeah uh, and the sides at the, so there is a definite back in the front when we solder it onto a back sheet we'll make sure that we get it so that it's in the right direction yeah and, it, and that where it thins at the side that means we can push it over 
the edge of the gemstone really well and, and it's a really great uh you Protecting know you have the a, gem then as yeah well. and it's really secure and it's nice and easy to um to use as different tools we can use to push the sides over and it's a really i just think it's a very you look at a lot of stacker rings it's that type of yeah of, of tube set and so i think tube setting if you're thinking of maybe uh, you might have done a little bit of, of soldering or, or other silver work and you might think i'm going to have a go at gem setting tube setting is is a nice um nice way to set gems great way to start now you're yeah. getting five of those across the different sizes as well um still not done because this also includes is this called bezel strip yes there we yeah. go what do we do with this now it's approximately in terms of its length um you're looking at 25 centimeters it is not it doesn't look like much right now but it is actually 925 sterling silver isn't so it so it's a really great piece of um if you think about when if you're working with all your cabochons yeah because what you might want to choose to do is um work with you might have cabochons in your stash that you want to add into um and so that is where you're creating your own uh a bezel cup so like the like the ones that you get in the kit like the two the two sizes of the round and then the pear shape you can basically use that strip to go around so if i should i pass you that one so mm -hmm. that's that's obviously the miring so the 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 cabochon that i've worked with in that one is a completely different it's a random shape it's not it's not round um so it's the it's the bezel strip that has followed that wonderful shape um, and then you, you, we solder it and, and that creates and that's what we push over to hold the stone. That's so be I always admire this ring, Claire. It's Thank absolutely you. gorgeous. I'm going to keep that there just to show everybody. Um, we're still not done though because alongside your bezel strip you've got the gemstones. Um, now, beautiful collection of gemstones that you've got here. I'm looking at and I'm just going to flip some of those over They're if They're wonderful, I can. aren't they? Oh, look at those. Um, so you have Amazonite. Do I have a do I spot a turquoise in here? It's incredible. An amazing must be sleeping beauty turquoise. I mean terrible trees are trouble today. Um then you have some beautiful quartz. I haven't got the list of the gemstones here. Yeah. Amazing clear quartz uh, cabochons which look li literally look like little dew drops, don't they? And then last but by no means least grandidurite in there as well. Oh my goodness me. I mean, I'm inspired by your gorgeous ring that we can see behind. Imagine putting all of those together in this amazing sort of, I don't know, it, it is, it's quite bubbly and beautiful. So that, that's, that's where it came, it was the idea was, uh, that design was from, um, uh, I went to Devon and it was seeing the sea and, and sea foam and, and the waves and movement like that. So that was my inspiration for that, that ring. And I think it's, so that's what I've tried to do with, with, with these. Um, you, you can make it as, as uniform or, or as random um, as, as oh. you want, can't you? Know, you can, you, know, you could have like a, a have them all in a straight line would be would be lovely. That the, the number of, of gemstones that you've got because you've got that larger focal circle, you've got the smaller one, then you've got the pair, and then you could have the pair shape with so it's pointing down, uh, pointing up. So many, so many different variations, and then when you start to work with your granulation effects as well. Uh, Again, with those, so if you, if you chose to do something like um, the pendant, you keep it really, really uniform, or you go with the, the um, you know, or you, the, the, the ring and you, and you have it. Seriously, seriously Claire, though, um, I was over <coughs> in Tucson with Anne, who launched some pieces over on, on Gems, mm. our sister channel. Um, she launched a beautiful, a beautiful ring that was, again, I said, oh, it's very Boodles inspired, and mm. she was in agreement. Um, it's so reminiscent of that. Yeah. so reminiscent we're talking that is absolutely gorgeous absolutely stunning and you can make this too with the kit claire is going to give you the demonstration all that precious 925 sterling silver mm -hmm. the caliber of the gemstones it's hard for certainly someone like me to look at the components and go okay that could potentially turn out to this yeah. But with a little bit of a know-how and inspiration and guidance, that's yeah. exactly what's going to happen. Let's go straight down. How many do we have of this kit? 99, which is quite exciting. You have Grandidurite, you have Turquoise, Amazonite, and all those beautiful little bubbles of clear quartz, alongside a huge amount of sterling silver, which, of course, the tube set, <coughs> the bezel strip. Yeah, the setting um, for them, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, and the actual, what do you call those again? The bezel cups. Bezel yes. cups. Yeah. Yeah. Huge mm. amount of sterling silver at £49.99. 
there's no way on earth you'd pay that for this ring yeah but also then i would look at that as well and think if if that's if it's a bit if this if this ring is not your cup of tea which i completely you know some people might want to have it that is really really simple or you might want the choice in the same way with the like your stretchy bracelets you might decide that uh you want to stack the rings so you have you know your clear quartz on 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 one you know you, you separate them out like that so uh and then you've got the choice then so you could either sometimes you might be in the mood to wear the, you know real gem heavy pieces yeah sometimes you might want to just keep it simple and have and have one of the one of the gemstones it's absolutely stunning if you've got it in your basket you're in the right place um we have different colorways to bring you we've got uh this is earth uh, we also have fire and water to bring you. Well done, Judith. Well done, Melanie. Well done, Chicola Morgan, Joe, Helen, Jackie, Angela, Janet, Emma, Gail, hey, uh, Sarah, Gloucestershire. You're all there. It's a, a lot of precious metal and some beautiful examples of gemstones, which don't they work in glorious harmony with one another? Yes, they do. They, they, they really do. And I think, again, it's that combination. So any of those would, you know, they all, because the colours and the shapes and the sizes so many different combinations you know you could just have the two um you know the the, the two circular ones couldn't you yeah or, or you know or, or one of the um one of the circles and one of the um and then the pair well you lots of different variations. break this down for a second how <coughs> much would a turquoise cabochon cost of uh, in a pair cut let's say 9.99 and i'm being very generous yeah. there how much would a grand digerite cabochon cost it's not gonna be 10 pounds not for that size, probably, let's, oh, let's be ridiculous and say, what, yeah, 30? I think 30 for a grand digerite of that translucency in that colour. The Amazonite, okay, let's say £10 for the Amazonite, and I, I don't even know if we've brought you clear quartz cabochons before. Plus, then think about all the sterling silver, the gram weight of sterling silver. Yeah, I, That's I would, amazing. Yeah, and go and have a look at, um, you know, like the like like tube... Um, uh, you know the tube settings and the, and those uh, you know pre-made bezel um, uh -huh. bezel, bezel cups, and then you've got all the, all of that bezel strip, which is pure silver, by the way. Yes, yeah, so, so that the it's idea, nine nine yeah. nine. <clears throat> the idea with that is you want it to be as malleable as possible. So because the whole idea is that it's going to follow the shape of whatever you know whatever you're putting around or a yeah. cabochon or. Yeah, amazing absolutely amazing <coughs> at 49.99 um i'm going to leave that one with you because we've got a few kits and obviously it's going to be very demo heavy today let's bring you water so this is the pendant um that uh, you've you've created this is a just what a work of art that's that's museum that's that is literally what i would expect to see in a museum claire oh thank it's you it's but how di how very different you know it's the same I know it's different gemstones, but don't forget, you know, it's the same, um, <clears throat> the same shapes, uh, mm -hmm. the same amounts, but how very different it can look depending on how you decide your, your design, how you decide to, to lay it out. Yeah. So again, you've got the same sterling <coughs> silver components. So your yeah. tubes, yeah. your bezel uh, cups, and your bezel strip. The difference here is in the gemstone. So you have an amazing tanzanite. Um, you've got a beautiful iolite. And you've got a lovely sapphire. Um, this, the whole inspiration of these kits was very much around sort of your chakras as well. So this will cover um, both your uh, crown, third eye, and your throat, really, um, because, of course, it's the blues. Um, so if you are into your chakra inspiration, then that would be absolutely fabulous. Don't forget, when you're talking about quartz as well, considered in that, in that genre, if you want, um, as the most powerful of all your gemstones, I believe to amplify everything. If you, if you, like I said, if you are into uh, chakras and, and the energy of gemstones, um, a very posh shop jewellery, beautiful. Totally agree. Oh, and it wow. would be expensive because these are, well, but they are one of a kind pieces, and that's the joy of making jewellery. You are making one of a kind. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's totally unique, isn't it? Each one is different love it the fact that you've got those three different blues as well mm. i like is so different to sapphire sapphire mm. is so different mm. to to tanzanite you've got those different tonal colors um all in this one amazing piece and again all the precious metal that you're getting here prime example prime opportunity for those of you that maybe haven't started doing things like your metal smith work if you're thinking i'm not at that ability as of yet you'd be really surprised actually how 
how easily you can step into this. You don't, it, yeah, just it's taking your time, isn't it? Yeah. And just you know, and maybe just I don't know, go for it. Have a have a little bit of confidence in yourself. Well, I've said this before. When I first thought of soldering, I was like, oh, flash dance. It's that, isn't it? That's how I visualise. Yeah. Well, I visualise yeah. Claire with like the yeah. the mask and the. Whoosh. <clears throat> well, it's, it's almost, isn't it? Where is it? Here we go. It's close. It's close. That same effect. I mean, yeah, I just need you to be throwing some fl yeah. flames now. Um, but it's not that at all, is it, Claire? No, it's not at all. It's a lot. It's, it's finer, uh, finer work. And just, I would say, just go slow and take, take your time. Really just take your time with it and break it down. Yep. In the same way, you would think, um, <clears throat> if you think about maybe wire work pieces or seed bead pieces, you just break it, you're breaking it down into stages and then you, making your components and you're putting them all together. Love it. Now fire. Am I allowed to have a favourite? Mm. This is my favourite. The warm colours. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So, especially with the summer months mm. and the horizon. Yeah. yeah. So you have here fire opal. Hang on. Can't get it out. Hang on. Sorry. Citrine and... Carnelian, red onyx, sorry, citrine, carnelian, red onyx, and your clear quartz. There we go. Those are the colours that you're getting within fire. And the end result, obviously, with all the sterling silver that we've discussed already, exactly the same, um, exactly the same component. Sorry, I feel like I must wear this one. Um, oh. Claire, these pieces are outstandingly stunning. Uh, no, no, to say, abs ab not to say, absolutely beautiful, clever girl, um, as Aww. we know already. Oh, isn't thanks, she, Margot? Margot? Thank you. Aren't Margot's they beautiful? Margot's so lovely, isn't she? She's, She's yeah, really a darling. And we thank love you. the fact that you do always message in, Margot, as well. So, thank you. just, st I agree. Look at, look at the stunning. gemstones there. Look at the gemstones, how they're, I mean, it's, that's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, Mandy, hello to you, saying the best lesson I learned when silversmithing is don't be afraid to make mistakes as they yeah, can turn yeah. out to be the most beautiful. Yeah. Definitely, Mandy, yeah. I'd go, yeah. I think that's a lot, isn't it? That's, that's yeah, totally. really, really true. Like really even true. If you heat your sterling silver too much that it balls up, yeah. and it does, it forms literally a lovely little ball of sterling yeah. silver, which I've got one in my purse I carry around all the time. And I just think it's cute, it's a little sterling silver ball. But that's um, what we're going to do, and that's what makes it... Are you? Uh, yeah, we're going to And we're that can do... be added to your designs. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that, that's your granulation. So that's that's what... Um, and we can, we can do varying sizes, so... Um, don't you know, forget, yeah, you can learn about the gemstones in your gemstone book in the next hour as well. Perfect. So you can read up about your carnelian, yeah. read up about uh, your onyx, read up about your citrine, and likewise with your uh, with your fire and, uh, sorry, your earth and kit. This is the most limited of all of the kits, 49.99. I mean, that's a huge gram weight that you're getting across the sterling silver components. Just to recap, you're getting five of your four millimeter tube bezel settings. Um, you're getting your bezel strip, which measures 25 centimeters. And then um, in your bezel cups, I can't see them on there. How many? We're getting three of those in the different sizes too. Um, that will house the gemstones that you have in your kit. This is the thing. I know that you can buy your components individually. You can, but you've got to wait for them, as you said earlier on in the show. And are they going to be perfectly calibrated to go alongside the? Yeah, I think I think that's the thing, isn't it? You know, with these, that they're um, that's what fits. So that that does does really 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 help. Avon saying, Claire, your makes are outstanding. That ring is out of this world. Thank it, you very much. I agree. It is quite, it is quite solar system like. Um, Avon, you Ooh. can make it too. You yes, can it make it too. Because Claire's going to demonstrate throughout your masterclass. Any questions that you have, um, we are live here in the studio. You can message us um, via text or you can message us online as well. Make sure you start your text with JM Studio to 78070. Um, Claire, take it away. Okay. Amazing. So we've, uh, what we've got here is we've got um, a few different techniques. And I'm going to use a few different uh, tools as well. So it's um, we've got, if we think about the different... Um, the different techniques that we're going to do in this so if we think about let, let's think about the um the gems that are there first so we've got we've already got in the in the kits you've got your tube setting 
so we've got the, 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 the tube there. So we'd, we'd be tube setting with those. We've then got our pre-made bezel cups. So we can either glue, and I've done a little bit of both, so we can either mm -hmm. um, glue the stones in uh, or we Ooh. can... Um, I just pop them in there or we can uh, uh, bezel set them as well so what you um, what you might find is if you certainly if you want to um, uh, bezel set them so which would be using uh, you can use your pusher or if you've got like um, uh, uh, a rocker as well I prefer to take down a little bit of the um, uh, the, take some of the silver away just so that it means that the the stone sits in there sits a little bit lower and it makes the sides a little bit finer which means that I can then push over yeah so if you've got a variety of depending on if you've got you know a couple of your um your setting burrs so I would probably use I'm going to use a little bit of uh, my ball burrs I'm going to use some of the the different um shape burrs I'm also going to use some of my setting burrs um, for when I do the, the tube setting. Mm -hmm. So I tend to have all of these around. You can also, we're gonna, um, we, can, we can polish them up as well. Uh, and we can also, if you, if you do want to um, sort of replicate some of the designs that I've got, if I sort of show you this. So and if you've got some um, sheet in your stash as well, you're mm -hmm. gonna be looking to, um, to file around the edges there. So those people that got involved with, um, uh, with uh, the Gold Guru, Yes, yes, you could use all your polishing mops. So yes, that day with the, the Dremel 40 Flex, we can, we can have a go with that as well. Bad. This is also a really good, um, uh, a good way of working with, you know, if you've, got, if you've uh, worked with your sterling silver wire and you've got scraps, and we always say to keep the scraps, this is a really, really good way of, of now you can, you can use those. So we're going to use that, that, that wire. And I, I'm actually, for, for speed, I'm going to show you um, with the bezel wire as well of how you can, you can do that. But So all of, your, all of your spare bits, your scrap bits of your sterling silver, this is how we can use them. So if we have a look at this little bit here that I've, that I've started to prep, we've got... Um, everything is, is soldered onto this and you can see so we've got a tube setting here and then we've got the, um, uh, the granulation, um, the little balls there. So if I sort of hold the, the, the ring up here, you can see so if I sort of show you where it is on the, um, we've got the plain, the empty tube setting here which would be something like this because that's got the gemstone in it and then you can see these, these granulation, this, the, these balls here of the different sizes are these bits here. So we're gonna uh, go through all of these and we'll, we'll set them and I'll show you how to, um, to set them out. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna prep, prep all of the pieces. So um, I started off with, um, I, I wanted to make sure that all of the, um, uh, the, the bezel cups and the gemstones were fitting into the, um, into the, oh my gosh, I didn't know you got that. <gasps> you can't Have you got that? You? <laughs> How have you got that? It's because Kat's here, I reckon. So what, what, what I distract you I can't. I can't say quickly enough. If you've... I didn't know you got this. Um, I thought that was from, from Christmas. Absolutely. Absolutely with this. It, this is one of the best tools. We, I, I asked them upstairs to get this in. It took a while to come in. It, 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 is that what it you're was using? sold out straight away. This is such a clever tool, and for this sort of design. Oh, that's what you're holding. That yes. Is. So you know when I was talking about your your tube setting. Can you hold that up? Can I? Yeah, fact, yeah. Can I borrow that? I'll hold yes, it against this. Can. It was launched on this Christmas is, Day. This is the best. I, I can't believe I didn't know we got this tool. This is the best tool because what it allows you to do. So it's just the singular. If you're doing singular tube setting brilliant but what this allows you to do is to do if you wanted to do multiples like all these designs are where things are quite close to each other this tool allows you to set your your, your gemstone in that tube very very easily you know you're not having you to you're not having to work your way around um oh, it's, sorry, just, it's just a twist around sorry. rather than actually working your way around the setting this this does i've never seen you. you get distracted this is like so this. what's it doing there uh it's on the show we're gonna match the christmas day price as well it's such such a good such a good Ooh. tool do you remember on christmas day yes sold out didn't it yes 
doubled the quantity this time. There's, this is there's incredible. 200 of these available. I told you it was going to be a cracking Saturday morning. This is, ah, oh, that's, it's so good that we've got this. It's such a good, such a good tool. So if I'm new to metal smithing. Yeah, yeah. Copper, silver, um, sheet metal, all of the above. Would you say this is invaluable? It, absolutely Gemstone invaluable. Setting. So if you think about, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's so, so if I sort of wow, show, cause sometimes it might be easier for you to see. If, if for example, we were going to set, um, set a, um, a gemstone in, in the tube here, which I haven't, I haven't prepared properly, so it might not fit terribly well, but you'll get the idea. So we're going to put our, um, we'd put our, our stone in. So it's going to, let me just get one of the... Are you using a bit of blue tack? I am using a bit of blue tack, and oh. that's, that's going to go in here. So if you think about it, what, you'd, what we're going to need to do is, it's, we're looking at, remember the size when we looked at the lip on the, on yeah. the inside? It's the, it's the lip, so if I turn it over, it's that that we're going to be pushing in. So as you would in, in all, you know, whatever sort of gem setting, you're going to be thinking about working maybe your north, south, um, east west and you're going opposites like that and this is that this is you know you look at the edge of that tool so i'm going to be holding it here and pushing mm. around and i need to try and get that even if you have a look at um can i just pinch that back a minute yes if you have Sorry, a look at yours, this yeah. see you're getting in that tool all those different sizes so i'd be looking at you know if this were a five mil i'd probably go up a little bit because i think if you've got a five five point what's that go. one on there um if i have a look at the different sizes of the, that you've got you it, pass it, over it to tells you? you on your pass it over because you can look on Thank the overhead you. then can't you so i might go i might go on this one if it's a five mil i think i've probably got um a a 5.9 yeah yeah so i you just take that out yeah so it's got it all in there so this is, oh. this is the exact one and it's all in that wooden case and everything. Yeah, it's oh, beautiful. Look, it's just fabulous. Take them out and screw it up. Yeah. Um, and that's going to go in there. So then if I move this in here, all you're going to do then, if you think about that's going to go over ah, the top. And we're then going to... Got mine. Happy, happy, super Yes, chuffed. Gloria. Yeah. Brilliant. But can you see how close? So if... Because I've, I've got... Oh, we you look at the positioning. The... That's gone on there. And I can either do it by hand and twist round... Yeah. Or I can take a hammer um, and just give it a light tap. But can you see how close I can get, even those that you've got, the, the granulation is here. Whereas if I didn't have this tool, what I'm trying to then do is, it means I can't put these balls as close to the, um, to the setting uh, and, and I need to um, push over the sides. Whereas with this one, I could group all these settings very, very close together so again, something like that. You can see how closely I've managed to pack all of the uh, the balls around the setting. But then I can go in because that you can see the space that it takes up, and the the pressure that I'm putting on is from the top, and it and it also it gives that a really really it's, it's uniform pressure from the top rather than coming in from this this side, which is putting pressure here. And yes, I'm pushing the metal over but then I'd be going across to the other side, across to the other side. So this is pushing um, pressure from the top. That's, that's amazing. So it really helps with your gemstone setting. Yes, yes, it, really it does. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you weren't able to watch on Christmas Day or you were one of the people that missed out, here is your chance. We've actually ordered double the quantity, but a quarter of the stock has already gone and there is so many of you there. Um, I, I totally get why. You yeah, it's, to... uh, and it's just a, I mean, it's a brilliant, brilliant tool. And it's a lovely, it's such a lovely, you know, the presentation is a lovely yeah. bit of kit. Hello, Candice saying, great tool. I got mine last time and it makes the setting much more professional. Yeah. I bet. And, you know, that's what tools are for, aren't they? They're to make it look, make it easier, but also yeah. more professional. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so would you say, again, if I'm starting in uh, bezel stripping, mm -hmm. silver smithing, mm -hmm. that this is maybe one of the uh, essentials? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I all, but I also know how long it takes to, that we waited for it to, to, to come back in. So Got mine. I struggle with a pusher, says yeah. Joe in Cornwall. Oh, Joe, yeah, you're going to love it. it, does, it I, they slip, don't they, sometimes? Yes, they do. And, you, and like I say, so you're, if you think about how you're putting the pressure on, you're putting the pressure on in four maybe eight different 
directions and times and points. Yeah, because you're pushing it in one direction. Yeah, whereas this one, and, and sometimes even with the best will in the world and however careful you are, you can maybe push it a little bit too far and it's going to come off centre. Whereas this one, mm. you're putting everything, you're putting, uh, you know, uh, a constant pressure from the top. And it also just, it gives that lovely, um, nice sort of uh, ring and framing around. Love around it. And you're never going to need to replace this, are you? Because, no, you know, it's, it's, it's really, one of it's those... It's a really nice piece of kit. And look at the sizes you're going up to as well, you know. You yeah. Can, and, and just really, I mean, Eve, I use mine sometimes if that tool is there of just if I'm making a bale because it's a lovely, it's a round mandrel of different sizes. So, yeah, you know, yeah, just, yeah. just putting your wire around, um, you know, around the. Oh, hello to you, Janet, saying thank you for bringing this back. Got mine. No more fiddling about. Yay, says yeah. Janet. Yay. We're happy for Definitely. you as well. Check out your baskets. I'll keep you updated on the quantity of these. But So I, good. I didn't quite mean to distract you that much. Oh, yes, I was doing something, yeah, wasn't I? Yeah, you were in the middle of demoing. I yeah. was, wasn't I? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'll get back, back to it. So You, you work on getting yours because there's 200, but half the stock... I can't recommend gone. that tool enough. Like, like I say, you know, I, I'd asked everyone to get it in, and it, I know it took a, a long time last time. So, yes, it's brilliant. So, let's have a look. So, the different components that we're going to have are... So, I've, I've, I've got some uh, sheet from my, my stash... If you, feel, if you feel like you're, um, you know, maybe feeling really uh, confident with this, what you can do as well is if you, if you just want to closely pack everything, and especially if you've got that, that tool, um, what you can do is you can not have the sheet. Uh, and I would say this maybe takes it up um, uh, for smaller pieces, but when you've maybe had a go with the sheet... Uh, and you can create almost like the mass of silver with the balls and the settings like that. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to show you so on on the sheet from from my stash. So I, I've uh, used my the smaller some of the like ball burrs um, and files, and I've just taken out elements, little bits of the side, and so that I know all of the stones fit into the the, the pre-made cups. So the first thing I'm going to uh, start to do is when we're going to introduce some, uh, some of the heat now, and that is we're going to make ourselves lots and lots of different uh, sizes of, of balls. So if I just, I'm going to push that over, and I'm going to start. So when we're doing something like this, again, it's a little bit like, you know, we're, we're thinking about a, a conveyor belt as well. We're going to make all of these pieces... Rather than make one, one, you know, one ball, uh, we're going to make lots and lots and lots of them. So we're going to need our torch. And it's I'm very satisfying. This. It's really satisfying. It's really, really satisfying. It's a, it's a good... I, I do enjoy this. Um, so I'm going to work on this one here. So let's have a look. Um, we, have, we have this available as well, which you can use. Yes, yeah, so that's going to be perfect because... Um, so for our next our next bit, definitely with the tripod. So if you've got if got if you can get the tripod, that's that's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good because what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at uh, different ways to uh, and directions of heat as well. So Six pound ninety nine. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Is that really what it is? <laughs> Sorry, I made cat. I made cat nervous then by that. Is that genuine? She's like, oh no. So good. No, it's going to be sixty. No, I'm joking, cat. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know, but that seems amazing. So uh, sorry, cat. So good. So I am just gonna. I'm gonna use some of this strip. Just you can just use. Just chopping it up. Yeah, just for so that you can see the effect on here. I mean, you could. You think about all. You know, if you're doing rosary linking or things like that, and you're working with your your sterling silver. Um, you're going to have loads of, of little bits of, um, of bits of scrap. So can I use like the scrap silver? That yeah, I've definitely. Accumulated? If you've got a little bit of um, uh, yeah, any sort of any sort of scrap that you've got, so little bits of sheet or um, odd bits of wire, yeah, I'd, you know, have a have a go with that. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna lay them out, and we're gonna watch how these. Then, so this is how we're gonna make this uh, the the bit here, the the granulation here. So what are we are looking bits. for here? What we're going to look oh, for? Oh, Kat, is... you're going to love this. This uh, it's Kat's like, oh, I'm intrigued. Bobbly bits. Yeah, all the bobbly bits. So we're going to make the, the little bits here. So if we have a look in that, so I've just got a little pot here, and you can see they're all different different sizes. Okay, so they're obviously starting off, uh, and they're going to be flat. So these are pretty uniform in their size. So if we keep keep an eye on the um, 
the different bits here and we can see how these are going to work. So I've just all I've got is the, the strip on here at the moment uh, and let's see how these are starting to go. So we're going to get some heat in and we'll start to see them shrink up. Okay, so I'm going to move and I'll come back to that one and let's just get some... Question, Claire, can we yeah. use copper for this technique? So, you, uh, I think if you had a hotter torch and you could get more heat into it, you can, because you can sort of ball the ends of copper. I'm not sure that this torch would be hot enough to do that. Um, so, yeah, that is a silver. It's a lot easier to do it, to do it with silver. So you can see it's starting to go. Some of them aren't particularly uniform. There's a couple that are nice already. I'm going to go, go back in and we'll get a bit more heat into it. And what should hopefully should happen is they'll start to go into this lovely uniform. Question from Margot for you. Claire, is it possible to flatten a ball after it's been granulated? Uh, hanging on your every word, she says. <laughs> Yeah, you, you could. So what you could do, um, it, I would say, all you need to do is, don't forget, so it's nice soft silver. So I'd be looking at just ways it to, um, really to secure it. So you've got your hammer. So maybe if you put it on some masking tape or a bit of sellotape, you're just looking so that you don't get your fingers into the, um, into it. So if we, I don't know if I've got any tape. Um... Obviously, we don't touch that now. That, that's going to be very hot, so we'd just leave that. To, so that would go into then, um, go into the, um, go into water. our water, and then into the, uh, I'd put that in the pickle as well. So let's get a few of these. So I've got now, so this is just cold water, and then you've got, there's a, there's a pickle solution that basically just takes off if you've got any um, sort of discoloration from the, from the heat. So, so what that's done, so you'd be laying out a lot of those. So if we just have a look and get, get some of these out. So there we are. So you can see we've created lots and lots of those. That's a little bowls. They're so cute. They are. So, yeah, so Margot, what I do at that point is obviously when they're... Uh, you, you dry them off um, and you'll tend to have, if you think about what, we, what we've done, we've taken that solid, we've made it into, we, it, um, we've made it into that, um, it's gone into like a, a soft, like a liquid, so it will have, it's going to take the, whatever that, the base is um, here. So if you think about it, um, the, the block it's on, you can see it's, I've got a slight indent where, where it's sat in. So nine times out of ten, I'm going to have like a, a a flat bottom. A flat is, bottom. It's not ideal usually, but in this, it works quite well. I definitely do not fit in that category. Um, <laughs> hi, it's you, Julie. Hi, Elle and Claire. Lo uh, you're a really good teacher. Love your designs. Oh, thanks, Julie. Loving the show. It's No Kids Day. One channel TV for me. Yay! Yay! Oh, what a luxury. I know. I'm what jealous. a luxury. I'm jealous. So yeah, so Margot, what, what I do then, I'd, I'd lay out lay out all the balls onto the um, onto some tape, and mm. I'd I'd uh, you can go at them with a with a hammer. That okay. might that might work well to flatten them. Yes, if okay. that's what you want to do. So so um, we will have done that, and so we've created now. If we look at the components that's that we've got, that's called granulation. Yes, right? yeah, and so that gives you this. Where so again, so if we look at um, we look at uh, the ring here, you can see got a really large one here, so that would have been a much bigger much bigger piece and you'll see you'll get different effects whether you work so I work with flat bezel strip there it's fascinating to watch when um, you know if, if you've got different lengths of wire different gauges of wire it's a really good way of working uh, and using it that that spare um, spare you know little scraps yeah because and you can then you're then getting them so you're giving you that that, that <clears> texture <throat> so if we have a look at um, what we'd be doing then and this is where your tripod would come in because what so what we did there is we got the direction of the heat coming down and the heat then caused that that bezel strip wire to sort of um all pull in and create that ball but what we want to do now with that with that tripod is we want to direct the heat slightly differently so i'm just going to swap this over you've got your tripod so if we think about now we're going to put we're going to put the elements that we've got we know we've got the bezel cups yeah tick 
we've got the tube setting tick, we've got the granulation balls tick. So now what we want to do is we want to put all that together and this is where, so you'd be thinking about the, um, the design. So we're thinking about the direction of heat now. So it was like that on the, on the top, but what we really want to do is we're looking to get, so if I sort of show you this one and we look at the components that we've got, what we've got here is we've got very, very, we've got the little balls that are here, so they're quite small. And we've got, we know it's a really lovely fine piece of, of silver, as in not fine silver, but fine as in thin silver. And we've got a much thicker sheet. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and get the heat coming up. I don't know if you can see this on the other, um, if you're sort of like looking in front. So your heat, we want the heat coming up in this direction. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that then means it's going to go through the uh, go through the gauze, and it's going to the heat is going to go into the biggest part of the silver, which is the sheet, mm -hmm. rather than melt the delicate bits on top. So to set that out, this is where we'd be thinking about you'd be thinking about your design, and this is where you can you can lay it out, you know, in, in however uh, whatever way you would like. So if we look at it, so if I take some of the... That, um, that shape looks like a little doggy from, from the... Do from you think, the, does from, it? Yeah, his ears on the side look. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that his nose and then yeah. his yeah. 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 So what we, what, we, what we want to do now is we're going to set it up. So let's get some of our... We're going to get all the bits here. And we're going to have... We're going to solder... And you can do different layers of solder if you want, or if you feel really confident, you could do it all in one go. Um, I would say maybe if you're thinking about, if you maybe it's a, a new thing, maybe start with just a couple of um, components and then and then you can work up. So I'm going to take some of the um, some of the flux, and if you're doing the like you know the, the uniform piece, uh, which I think actually this. This might have been the, the cutout of it, actually, looking at, um, looking at that. I think yeah, that's the bottom, the bottom part yeah. of the pendant, isn't it? You know, if you're, if you're doing something that's really uniform like that, and even if you're doing it so that it's random, I tend to lay them out. Again, with my phone, I might take a photo different ways and then have a look at the, the variations, but then go draw with your, um, you know, your, marker, your marker pen as well. Um, and see what, what works best. So again, if you've got that tool, what you don't have to worry too much about is you don't have to worry too much uh, about the spacing uh, that you've got. So if we take a couple of the different components, so I'm going to have, I've got a bezel cup there. I'm going to take one of the, the, the tubes there and let's start to have a look about how we're going to lay it out. So again, like I say, if you've got that tool, you don't have to worry too much about the space. The, the bezel between. setting tool? Yes, right. yeah. Because if you, if you haven't, remember, it's that you can, you can set it, absolutely you can with your square pusher, but you're going to need a lot more space around each, um, around each piece. So I'm going to take a couple of, we'll take a couple of these. Oh, get the big one. I don't know whether that, do you not think that might be a bit overpowering? I was okay. going to take a, a little, some of the little Wait. ones, no? I'll take one of the larger ones as well. Let's see. It might look a bit... I don't know, it looks a bit over the top. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to put now... So now I've got my flux. So I'm just going to... And sometimes I just keep a few of those, um, those little balls in, that, in the flux. So you're going to set it all up. Let's get this on here. And if I'm doing it all in one go, if I'm going to do it all in one go, I can just use all my hard solder. Okay, so when you're happy with the layout, what you're going to go in and do is I'm going to have my hard solder. I'm going to start to position. I'm going to start to position some of these little pieces of solder. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we can see I'm going to lay all of these out and that's going to go in here. So you can see I'm just going around and setting that up. So you would take longer than I'm going to do now, but I can just you get the idea and then I can just show you a bit of the, the heat. Okay, so we're going to have all of this. 
you'd set it out. Okay, and then I can show you what this is gonna look like. So all of that has gone in there. And you'd lay it out a lot neater than that. Then, this is where we're gonna introduce the heat from underneath. So if we start to, oh yeah, oh. And the good thing with the gauze is that is going to show Obviously you. Don't can you be see? To look over. It. Yeah. So can you see here? Ah, oh, yeah. And don't when it the flux is going to bubble up. Just have have a bit of confidence in it that it will bubble up. But then it's going to it will just sort of like go back, like, almost like sinks back down. Oh yeah, it does. Ah. Obviously, please don't don't be tempted to look over. No, I'm not looking over. I'm just going to the side. But this is gonna what this is gonna do is gonna get a good a lot of heat into um, into that sheet, which is the biggest part. There we are. And you can see with the with the gauze, uh, you can actually see where <coughs> directing the heat. So if you can, can you see from the top? Now, can you start to see? Is that Mm. I don't know if you can see that. It's really starting. That that solder is starting to to flow now, but it means that it, we're getting we're not getting direct heat uh, or direct flame onto the delicate pieces. We're getting it. It's coming up through. There we are. So. And you do this obviously before you set gemstones. Setting gemstones is the thing. The last thing. The last thing that you would do. Okay. So there's no no stones in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we take that, and this is where, so at this point, this is going to go into Ooh, satisfying, isn't it? Okay, so we can see that didn't, I don't think I'd put any solder in that bit. So that, all we'd need to do is we can just redo that. So we put that in the pickle, but you can see that's all connected now on here. You clean that up, and that then gives you this one here so if we if you have a look there okay so it's something like that so you can see so you've got your that's with the tube setting that's gone onto here you then saw out around and whatever shape you want and then you're gonna set your gemstone in here so you go in with your um your setting burrs so if i just have a look here let's have a look using my dremel that's going to go i'm going to use that and go in and take that so it's almost like so that we can't you can see the top here so you're gonna and you're little bits at a time taking that out taking that out and what you'll find is this will then sit if I just get my gemstone there that's gonna go in and that's gonna sit in so if you have a look at that maybe from the side can you see so you can see it's starting to go in. The, if, the more we take out with the setting burr, that's going to drop down, drop down until it's sitting really nicely in that tube. And then you're going to take your, your, the tool like that and that's going to go in over and we're going to twist and turn. And that then pushes the sides around and that's going to secure that gemstone there. Okay, but set it, setting the stones is going to be the last thing we do. We, file it you know clean it up um, those are the and we've put we've put, put, up, put wire by the way onto the website so if you wanted to get uh, the actual thicker gauges of wire to create the shank you know the, the shank of the ring that i'm actually uh, wearing right now and all of claire's amazing creations um a same process you're literally soldering it direct onto the shank aren't you yes yes you are and i've done that on lots of um you know there's lots of demonstrations if you look at i think towards the end of um january um i showed you how to um solder um a bezel cup onto a ring you know there the, are lots of different demos if you have a look on on youtube you really are so clever claire that's oh, absolutely very much. Beautiful. thank you i've loved all of Thank your jewellery. You. Um, yeah, I think most of us would say for your... Uh, so for exciting to have that in. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, they've flown out the door. We have the global book launch coming up in the next hour. You can pre-order your copy right now. But before we do anything, before we go anywhere, we've got a steal of the day. <laughs> That 
music? Who chose that it's music? I'm like, yeah, that's funny. the one. Yeah, that's it. Let's do a proper 80s. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Just yeah. a little bit, yeah. Like, <laughs> in the back. But I've got to be honest, it did deserve that intro because this is an absolute steal. I've just checked, uh, reminded myself on my sheets. Is that what we're doing, Kat? 155 opportunities. Wow. Oh. Right, right, right. Oh. Look at that, Claire. Oh. That's all gosh. of them. Gosh. <gasps> Sorry. I just realised that was in my front of my face. Okay, okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions here. You have, firstly, Ethiopian opal. Natural. Full of play of colour. You know our studio doesn't benefit this gemstone. It doesn't like the multiple light Look sources, and yet that. you still oh. are seeing... Yeah. You're still seeing that A, B, beautiful spectrum of colour. Not, not, not A, B coating. That's from the silica within the gemstone itself. Nothing has been done. Totally natural. Ethiopian opal used to be in the shadows of Australian opal. Not anymore. So there's one. Natural. Grandidurite. Wow. Natural. You have wow. a pair of earrings, an amazing pendant. A gemstone, you can, listen, you can get it with eye clean clarity. You will need millions to, to actually purchase that Grand Didierite, by the way. There was one over in Tucson. One, by the way, singular. I'm going to put these on the, ball, uh, on the desk. You have Peridot. Electrify. Look at those. Is anybody else thinking pendant earrings? I'm thinking about the bezel. If you've got the kits with the bezel um, <gasps> strip be... as well, they'd be perfect. Can you imagine doing solitaire rings with all of those? I could use that yeah. same bezel strip yeah, that you've yeah, just you demoed. Yeah, yeah. What a genius idea, Claire. That's stunning. And they work really well with that shape, wouldn't they? That yeah. Pairs. Still not done. You have tourmaline. Oh, Pink beautiful. tourmaline. Again, completely and utterly natural. These would be perfect in that demo, Claire. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree with you. So the carrot weight that you're getting here, uh, four and a half carats of pink tourmaline. Totally natural. Still not done. There was one more strand. Tanzanite. Corn flower blue wow. tanzanite. Beautiful. So not one high-end gemstone, not two. I'm going to struggle to actually hold all of these, aren't I? Not three, because you actually have your peridot. Uh, not even four, but five incredibly collectible gemstone. When we put something as a deal of the day or a star buy or a steal of the day, it has to live up to that status. This is the most ridiculous ridiculous price point for any of those gemstones. I'm actually genuinely struggling to hold them all. There we are. Can you imagine me bringing you Grand Didgerite of that size, of that translucency, with that teal colour which is so sought mm -hmm. after at £25? No. What about this Ethiopian opal strand? Would that be £25? Nope. That's £50 so far if we're saying £25. It, it's, do you know what, Kat? They wouldn't be that price. They would be more. They would be more than that. Look at those. Look at those. Would that tanzanite be, be £25? Mm -hmm. Would the pink tourmaline be £25? Peridot, maybe. Maybe £25. But if we worked on the assumption that they were, that's £125 for this bundle. How about we do the entire... You haven't got to choose between your gem. You're getting them all. The entire bundle for the price of one. Five pounds per strand. Five pounds. Five pounds for Grand Didier. Five pounds. And those sizes and the shape as well. The opals. And, the, and that you could, you know, there's lots you could do with them. As well. But if you didn't want to, you know, just want to do a, like a simple re-strand with them, you know, the, the fact they're drilled as well. 
I got these previously and TV does not do them justice. Thanks for the demo, Claire. That's from Margaret. The, I agree with you, Margaret. And it's also, I'm not helping the matter because it's really hard to hold them um, because they're that, because they're drops, basically. If they were rounds, I could twist them all together. But because they are effectively almost pendants, they would also be perfect alongside Claire's demonstration. That's five pounds. Five pounds. I bet that book would 100% mm. tell you that five pound is not the average price that we should be paying for each of each and every single one of these gemstones. Trisha, Yvette, Paula, Judith, Vanya, Margaret, Pat, Jane, Elspeth, Ella, Eugene, Annette, Beatrice, Diane, Mary, uh, Maker, Maker, Lynn, Essex, Lancashire, Agnes, you're there as well. Nice to be with you on the phone lines. Make sure you check out Steel of the Day. I'm going to say that's the greatest understatement mm. of the century. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but don't worry, don't worry. We can see you there in our call centre. If you press your option one, you will go directly through. Um, and our call centre will add this to your order. My goodness me, what a deal. The Grand Digirite should not be £25. Seriously. Seriously, that's ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense, that, at all. The rarity. If I had time, I would really delve into each and every single one of the gems, but we literally don't. But we do have a very, very, very big opportunity available for you all today stay where you are don't abandon those calls still currently available there is uh, we had 155 there's lots of you there um, but we're about to introduce the graphics now you can pre-order your book elsewhere did you say it the 31st of March pre yeah, that's when you can actually pre-order um, if you want to physically get it now, as in, in your, in your order, on its way to you, we're the only place in the world that can give you that opportunity. That's exciting. There are 500 of this beautiful book, or rather there were, available. It's not stopping there. It's not stopping there. I want this. Colleagues want this, designers want this, office team want this, viewers most importantly want this. Secure your copy because it's coming up after the break. The graphics are live. Go, go, go. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, it's exciting. I hope, <coughs> excuse me, you have secured yours. Now, as a self confessed gemstone nerd, I like nothing more than sort of expanding my brain about gems. And, we, and you know, I lose information as well. We naturally do, don't we? The brain will only actually retain so much info, um, information if you're using it. Otherwise, it filters out. So sometimes we need to refresh, uh, refresh the memory. This is, as literally labelled, the concise reference guide of your gemstones. Um, I love it. It's handbag size. It's... It, it's visually beautiful to read, and it is a global exclusive, not available anywhere else in the world. And I do mean sort of actually, actually physically purchasing it and getting it. It's on its way. Yeah, you can pre-order. It's expected to publish on the 5th of April. Some places are saying 31st of March. We're saying today. 500 of you less if you multi-buy, will get this copy home. Already got it, couldn't risk missing it. I, I, exactly, I, exactly the same. Um, it covers pretty much every single gemstone that you can possibly think of. Um, we do have a little video and a recording that comes directly from uh, the author herself um, about this book for you all. Please don't wait on this. I will flick through the pages in a few moments. It is not stopping at £31.99. You know what jewellery makers like, uh, like. Here it is. Take a little listen. You don't have to take my word for it. Take a little listen from the author herself. Hi, my name is Robin Hanson and I'm the curator of minerals and gemstones at the Natural History Museum in London. And I'm very proud to be presenting today my new book, Gemstones, a concise reference, and to be launching it on Jewellery Maker. 
I've had a long interest in minerals and gemstones and I was really excited to be given the opportunity to write this book um, to gather all the information that I already knew but also to research into lots of different gems to, in order to find out many interesting facts that I can put into this book. The book has an easy to follow layout. It begins with the introductory section where I discuss the history of gems, how they're used, how gem minerals form, where you can find them. There's a large section on the properties, talking about both the physical and the optical properties, because these are so important in distinguishing how a gem looks, how we can use it, and also how we can identify it. I also discuss the common treatments that gemstones undergo, and also imitations and synthetics. The rest of the book is devoted to the description of the gemstones and it's split into three sections. The well-known gems, the lesser known gems and the organic such as pearl and amber. Within each section this is arranged alphabetically to make it easier to find the gems. Gemology is a wonderful field and there's so much for everyone, whether it's the mineralogy or the geology through to the arts and history of the gemstones. Ultimately, I hope that everyone who reads this book will have a greater appreciation of gemstones and be inspired to learn more about them. I'm really excited to be on the show and I hope that everyone's able to tune in and watch. Thank you. Oh, it's exciting. Um, amazing. I mean, just think how many years of knowledge and experience is contained within these pages you know, literally working at the Natural History Museum. And she said, sharing the knowledge that she knows and knowledge that she's even learnt whilst writing the book. A few things that were mentioned then was, you know, how to, one thing that highlighted, you know, really jumped out at me, how to, how to use it, how mm -hmm. to use a gemstone, which is really quite, a, quite an important factor for you guys at home, being jewellery makers and, and silversmiths, metalsmiths, um, uh, gemstone setters, whichever your media might be, how you work with it is not something that you would normally actually, or how you how you treat that gemstone is not something that you would normally find in many different publications it's out so there. So important, isn't it? So important, yeah. so so important. So here it is, the global exclusive opportunity, five hundred copies available right now approaching 100 already been snapped up and i can tell you we are not stopping there at 31.99 you know here we go let's have a read together gemstone a concise reference by robin hansen gemstones have uh, been been a source of delight and fascination for thousands of years from the icy brilliance of diamonds and the soft iridescence of pearl to tough jade gemstones once used in weapons and pink topaz that was popular in Victorian jewellery. This book covers every known type of gemstone, ex every known type of gemstone, wow, exploring each one's unique beauty, rarity and durability. It reveals how gems form, where they are found and mined, how to identify them and more. With sumptuous colour photos throughout, gemstones offer dazzling insights into the world of the rare and the valuable. I love it. Mm. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's a world that we all really live in, isn't it? We live in a gemstone world. But I'm never too arrogant to say there's more I need to know about gemstones. I mean, there's over 4,000 different minerals on the planet. I'm not going to be able to learn, know every yeah, single when you're, one of when those you're passionate about information. Something, you want it, you're hungry for more and more information, yep. aren't you? More facts. So, yeah, it's, it's never enough. And to be able to literally, you know, flick through a beautiful publication. I mean, here we go. What if I just come to here? Uh, I'm going to hang on. Well, I'm in the well-known gem section. If I turn this round, Spinel. So can you actually see at the top, you can actually see in the yellow box, it says the gemstone itself, tells you the composition, the cleavage, um, the luster, the dispersion, that's all in there. Um, then you've actually got, sorry, what was that? Like that? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Then obviously gem is primary found in opaque massive materials in veins uh, and nephilim uh, serenites. Here we go. All that information and beautifully, beautifully illustrated within these pages. Rhodochrosite, there we go. Um, well known. Quartz. 
Amatrine. Hello to you, Susie. Got mine. My type of Jemmy book. See you tomorrow, Elle, with lots of love to you all. That's from Susie. Aww. Yeah, lovely Susie. It's my type of book as well because as soon as... It's like instructions. Instructions to anything. If it's too... If it's not easy to visually, you know, to follow. It's a lot as well about layout, isn't it? It's a really nice clean layout and, and clean pages there. So it's not, it's not over, overwhelming. And I, I really like that because there's a lot of information in there. And I love, I love that that's, that's sort of handbag size, isn't it? It is. So you know. It's handbag size while somewhere. still being substantial. Yes, yeah. Still being a substantial yeah. book. Yeah. I mean, you are literally looking at... Um, let me see how many pages. Go to the index at the back. You've got a really handy index at the back here. Um, no, it's not in order. Hang on. Uh, you've got literally hundreds of pages, about That's 250 photos, different pages uh, within. Here we go. Let me flick through. Coral, beautiful photos. You've got some quite ancient pieces actually pictured. Oh Amalite. There we go. Can you see that? Um, we've got a beautiful Amalite. Ah. Oh, Organic gems, there we go. So what is an organic gemstone? Um, because they don't all form exactly the same way. Lesser known gems. Amalite isn't uh, you know, a widely known gemstone. Um, what have you got here? Turquoise. Uh, turquoise, here we go. Topazes. Uh, tectite. All of these are within this beautiful publication. Now, just to reiterate for the benefit of those people that have just tuned in. Ask, ask, ask me, Claire. Yeah. Have our colleagues been able to buy whose book? Have our colleagues been able to buy this book? No. Has anybody else around the world been able to buy this book? Oh, has anyone else around the world no. been able to buy this book? It's a global exclusive today. 500 copies available today, right here, right now. Not pre-order, you know, not waiting for them to actually be to, to, to dispatched. Mm. This will be dispatched alongside any other beautiful items that you've ordered throughout the course of the show. But there are only 500 copies. Mm. I can, do you know, Gemporia, we employ about 750 people. Don't worry, you get first dibs. Um, and they're either on air or in the call centre or whichever. No, you get first dibs anyway. But... And I'm pretty sure the majority of my, my colleagues will want to get a book as mm. well. You are, um, you are not going to pay a premium because you're having it early. You will be paying, um, well, basically the RRP, which is pretty, pretty exciting. It's not £31.99. Which, the other thing that I actually quickly... Sorry, sorry, Kat. Um, I want I to buy... There's a book... A, a blue book Mark's got it I'm quite jealous um, a, a Tanzanite book I can't remember exactly what it's called but it's expensive you're talking mm. hundreds of pounds for this book I keep looking it's a Tanzanite blue hardback book you sometimes find it on eBay um, but it's really really expensive it's just about Tanzanite no other gemstone just about Tanzanite it's a big book but it's really expensive I want it because it's also one of those that looks really nice on your coffee table mm. um, but you pay way more than what's on your screens right now. And that covers one gemstone. This covers all the gemstones, and we are not stopping at £31.99. Are you ready? Well done to those of you that have secured yours already. Hello, Somerset. Ordered my copy. Can't wait to get it. Me too. Me too. You know, think about the showcases that we had yesterday with Chrysocola. Right, let's, yeah. I need to brush up my knowledge on Chrysocola. Flick, uh, flick through the pages and you're going to find out um, exactly about that. Look, spodumene family. So it covers not just the gemstones, but the gemstone families, um, their crystal oh. structures. Uh, these are flying, absolutely flying. What a lovely gift this is. Rhodonite. This is lovely, isn't it? Onyx. Can you see that there? Anybody, uh, anybody that you know is maybe fascinated or, or, or sparked an interest in gemstones. Mm. Um, you know, my, my little and genuinely likes to look through books like this. She, not, she can't read them, obviously, but she likes to look through them and ask me what the gemstones actually are. Ametrine, praiselite. So it's actually all sectioned off into your gemstone families. We're right now in the quartz family here. Um, let me hold this towards you that way so you can actually see the photo. Look, photographs of amazing carvings and cuttings. Don't forget, this comes from the National History Museum. Mm. Um, a lady who's worked 
directly with the gemstones in the National History Museum. I'm going to say she's possibly one of the greatest fountains of knowledge um, across all your gemstones. This is the kind of thing that our gemstone buyers would want to carry. Um, I spoke to Dave Troth yesterday uh, uh, about it, and he was like, oh, what's the book? Showed in the pictures. Like, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to tune in for that one. Because, listen, every single one, a gemologist themselves, or they should do, actually say, yeah, I reference books. Got one. Woohoo! Well done, Tracy. Well done, lovely. Gemologists will still reference their books. They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of they, course. Of, yeah. You know, Marie, my next door neighbour, who, who some of you know, she's a gemologist. She's got loads of gem books. Loads and loads of gem books that I'm, I've got no doubt she will actually reference from time to time. Mm. £14.99 pence only. But, listen, it's not going to be dramatic because it's a book and we don't have that much power over this opportunity, but we will give you a little... Oh, really? They might not be happy with us. Yeah, well, we are, yeah, undercutting. It actually says that on the back. And actually, Kat, we had an email saying that it's got to be that. <laughs> oh, dear. Kat, sorry, I should have told you that, yeah. <laughs> I actually did. <gasps> Hi, lovely ladies. Got mine. Thank you so much. Cannot wait for it to arrive. Well done, Linda. Oh, yeah, enjoy Can't, it. I'm so there. sorry. I should have told you that. There was an email, genuinely. I am being serious, yeah. Oh, well, you want to know. It's like, blame me, because I didn't tell you that information. I did get... I was part of that email, so... Um, it's a little JM special. <laughs> no, we want you back, Kat. It's been lovely today. It's been lovely uh, having you here today, but yeah, that's my fault because I didn't I didn't share that information with you, Debbie. Look at the look at look at the wealth of knowledge. Mm. Look at all these people that are just going to have so much a concise knowledge on gemstones. Absolutely, 150 are gone, and we've still got people dialing through. Once these have been physically brought to air, listen, that's when the jewelry maker, staff, and crew can get involved. Yeah, and I say that, and the Gemporia. Um, all of you know, all of our uh, all of our colleagues across the Gemporia partnership can absolutely get involved in this because we have to research gemstones. Obviously, that's what you'd expect us to do, right? You'd expect us to understand how gemstones form. You'd expect us to know the history, to know historic pieces, to know crystal structures and things like that. But again, just to reiterate what Robin said, to be able to know how to use it. So, should we watch that quickly over again? Because that's um, because it, this is literally from the author. A message for you at home. Is that all right, Adam? Um, a message for you at home about your amazing book that is winging its way to you in just a matter of days. So here is Robin Hansen herself talking about this global exclusive. Hi, my name's Robin Hansen, and I'm the curator of minerals and gemstones at the Natural History Museum in London. And I'm very proud to be presenting today my new book, Gemstones, a concise reference, and to be launching it on Jewelry Maker. I've had a long interest in minerals and gemstones, and I was really excited to be given the opportunity to write this book, um, to gather all the information that I already knew, but also to research into lots of different gems in order to find out many interesting facts that I can put into this book. The book has an easy to follow layout. It begins with the introductory section, where I discuss the history of gems, how they're used, how gem minerals form, where you can find them. There's a large section on the properties, talking about both the physical and the optical properties, because these are so important in distinguishing how a gem looks, how we can use it, and also how we can identify it. I also discuss the common treatments that gemstones undergo and also imitations and synthetics. The rest of the book is devoted to the description of the gemstones and it's split into three sections, the well-known gems, the lesser known gems and the organic such as pearl and amber. Within each section this is arranged alphabetically to make it easier to find the gems. Gemology is a wonderful field and there's so much for everyone whether it's the mineralogy or the geology, through to the arts and history of the gemstones. 
Ultimately, I hope that everyone who reads this book will have a greater appreciation of gemstones and be inspired to learn more about them. I'm really excited to be on the show and I hope that everyone's able to tune in and watch. Thank you. I love that. Absolutely love that. And here is a lady that is extremely qualified, extremely qualified um, to write your book. Um, well done. Uh, thank you to those of you that are messaging in. I took geology when at school. Uh, feels like a lifetime ago now. Always been interested in rocks, fossils, shells, gemstones. Got my book. Oh, you're going to love mm. this then. You're going to absolutely love it. Sure. It, it, it. It is fascinating. And I think even without being maybe somebody that watches Jewelry Maker or ultimately Gemporia, they are fascinating. There's always gemstones really that... Um, so spark interest. Mm. Amber is one of them, of course. Um, pearls, you know, I, I've learned so much about pearls over the past few years. But I've just literally flicked inside to the introduction, which um, uh, which you actually heard her talk about just then. Um, let's read this together because it's absolutely beautifully poetic as well. Gems have been an object of desire for millennia, with historical, religious, spiritual, and scientific significance. Uh, they are symbols representing power, superstitions, loyalty, and romance. Gems have been used as amulets and talismans to give protection or to bring power, believed to have magical and healing powers. They are used to adorn and decorate, enjoyed for their splendor, or given purpose as carved vessels and seals. This book takes you on a journey to discover the history of gems, how they each form, their distinguishing features and properties, and how they are cut and used. I hope to inspire a greater appreciation of their beauty and diversity and ignite an appetite for further learning. Gemology is something of, uh, sorry, for, in, for every interest, cross-cutting many disciplines from chemistry and physics to history and the arts. I love it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love it. That last sentence is yeah. so true, yeah. isn't it? You know, it, I hope to inspire greater appreciation um, of their beauty and diversity and ignite an, an appetite for their learning. Gemology has something for every interest, cross-cutting many disciplines from chemistry and physics to history and the mm -hmm. arts. This is a lady who knows her stuff, who is, as I said, highly qualified. Have a little look at some of her uh, some of her qualifications. She has a whole well, yeah, diploma of gemology. There we go. Uh, 2010 to 2011 foundations in gemology. 2009 to 2010 honors in geology. Um, Bachelor of science. I mean, she's clearly a clever, clever mm. lady. She obviously is, isn't she? Yeah. Clearly, she and with a lot yeah, of and a passion. passion. For, yeah, yeah, and beautiful writing as well. Like you say, it's a it's a really nice read, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Hello to you, Rosie. I want it. I need it. Yay, I got it. Great value for so much information. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, Rosie, and well done you. Nice. I, I, do you know what? I totally agree. It is. Gem books can be astonishingly expensive. Mm hundreds of pounds they can be yeah. not all granted but they can be ludicrously expensive and usually actually ones that are like hundreds of pounds i can't read that i can't i can't well if you think there's so much visual isn't there you can't with something like that with about um gemstones a lot of it is a visual impact as well as well yeah. as all the the you know the theory behind it if it's a bit of a rubbish photo as well, it's not gonna it's not gonna do it any justice. Everything has to be spot on, doesn't it? I mean, I keep looking at that that um, front cover. It's just, I know. It's so Classy. clever and pleasing, isn't it? To, yeah. To look at. Classy. It's, it's, yeah. You know, if you if you sell your jewellery or you know this is maybe I don't know a business or not a business and a hobby, whichever you know, and somebody as they do in your day to day life, they actually ask you about a gemstone. Mm -hmm. You can you can tell them what you know off the top of your head, of course, and then you know sometimes I'm asked questions live on the show. L, what's the hardness of this gemstone? And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, off the top of my head, I can't think of it. I can't. You can't. Your brain physically can't retain as much information really as as was within this. Or certainly mine can't. Can't retain yeah. the information <laughs> that is within uh, these pages. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. That is a jewelry maker exclusive opportunity. It is not available anywhere else. You can pre-order it, um, but yeah, 
not being dispatched until April. And until April, uh, the expensive books um, are photos and long words. I agree, Kathy. I can't get it. I don't. I, and I, I've studied with the GIA. You, I zone out. I literally zone out if it's. Oh God. If it becomes like oh, I have to literally break it down into syllables, all of the words, that's it. I can't, I'm, I'm not going to retain that it's information. Too much effort, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to ask for it for Mother's Day. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That's a really yeah. good idea. Um, she's been in the museum environment around these very gemstones for how many years? Seven years just at the National History Museum. I mean, what an asset she is mm. to the National History. She's probably watching right now, probably. We are launching her book, book to the world. Um, hello, if you are, no pressure. All of a sudden, I've just had that very daunting <laughs> feeling that you're watching right now. Um, and she's also probably thinking, why is it at £13.99? Yeah, apologies. That is genuinely, genuine. It wasn't. It genuinely was a mistake. For, this is fourteen ninety nine RRP, RRP, which is absolutely incredible mm. for the wealth of knowledge that you have. You know, I know. You know, I remember um, our founder Steve Bennett writing a book. Many, you know, when I first started uh, started presenting, I know the hours that go into uh, sort of writing. The, you know, the information, the knowledge within these pages. And then, of course, it's not just that, knowing the information. It's about structuring the book so it is easy to, to, you know, to, share to, to it, navigate. To impart it to, yeah, to someone else and that they can get the most out of it, mm. isn't it? Then it's unbelievable. That's a challenge in itself. Uh, absolutely unbelievable. I'm loving this. Let's have another little flick through the pages, shall we? Oh, I just saw one, which is quite interesting. And I actually saw this over in... Ah... No, I can't find it. Um, I actually found this over it, over in Tucson, um, but yeah, I saw I saw Fordite within here. Here we go, turquoise howlite. There's a gemstone we always talk about here at Joy Maker. Let's be honest, how much do we know about howlite as a gemstone? Um, here we go. Very popular in China, of course. There it is. It, it, it tells you how to distinguish between simulant gemstones as well. Um, polished howlite. There you go. You can actually see. I can't read it from that angle. Uh, synthetic, yeah, I think that's, uh, this example, that's fairly obvious, but not to everybody. Not everybody mm. would know that is a, a synthetic gemstone. I think most of our lovely viewers would do. Well done. We had 500, uh, half the stock, way over half the stock has gone. Again, so many of our, our, our colleagues will be getting involved. Topaz, let's go to that one. That's a really good one. Um, so Topaz is a beautiful, bright gem in a wide range of often delicate colours, including blue, pink, orange, yellow, brown, and colourless. It is one of the most popular faceted gemstones in jewellery for its clarity, high hardness, and glassy luster. As a crystal, uh, it forms uh, aesthetic specimens desirable uh, to mineral collectors, transparent Transparent gem quality crystals may occur in enormous sizes, allowing for huge cut stones with topaz, currently holding the title for the world's largest gem quality faceted gemstone, the El Dorado Topaz. See? I didn't know about the El Dorado to Topaz. Unbelievable. Uh, let me have a look. We, so actually, yes, she mentioned about jade, I didn't she? Let's have a look in the encyclopedia. Cat's uh, asking about jade, let's have a little look. Mm -hmm. See if I can find that amber A, B, C, D, E, F. Available and being dispatched with your order today. Here we go. Oh, there's a couple of pages. Let's have a little look. Uh, 34 to 35. Bear with, sorry. I was talking about the treatments. I'm going to go straight to 132 to 134 because I suspect that's where the gemstone knowledge actually is. 132 to 134. Yes. Yes. Let's read it together. Let's read it together. Jadeite jade. Jadeite jade is a type of jade and one of the most treasured gemstones in the world, particularly in Asia. It is rarer... <coughs> sorry, uh, more translucent and slightly harder, nearly as tough and more valuable than any other type of jade 
nephrite. Jadeite jade is a metamorphic rock composed almost entirely, sorry, I'm reading this sideways, um, entirely um, of a proxy mineral um, with the same name, confusingly, I agree, uh, jadeite. Uh, here we go, and it talks then about the locations that you can actually source this gemstone. Uh, the mineral jadeite requires specific conditions to form, occurring in high pressures and relatively low temperatures metamorphic environments. Um, here we go, you can actually see uh, a piece of jadeite in the actual formation itself. Let me scroll down. Jadeite is one is most widely known in green, but can occur in all colours um, or attractive mottled. Loving that. You've got pictures here, carved jadeite, you can see the different colours. Jadeite in this book actually is quite extensive because it goes across quite a few different, uh, different pages. Talks about the treatments of your jade. So you, uh, we've discussed this. Here we go. This is important. Uh, so if you look, a jade or type A, can you see that? Is natural, untreated jade with a, um, a super, superficial colourless wax treatment to improve the luster. B, jade that has been bleached with strong acids to remove brownish colours caused by iron staining and dark inclusions. There we go. If we go down to C, it's up here, sorry. Jade dyed green, lavender or other colours. We only ever bring you type A. We only ever bring you natural type A jade. We do need one in the studio. We do need one in the office. We do need one in Elle's house. We do need one in mm. Claire's house. We need, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, yeah, congratulations, everybody. And also, can I just say congratulations to Robin, if you are watching, yeah, on an definitely. absolutely beautiful book, mm. one that I'll definitely be referencing in preparation to all of our shows. A world-exclusive well done everybody the buyers are going to want this for sure mm. the producers are going to want this the call center team our social media team how often do our social media team get asked questions about yeah. gemstones yeah definitely. you know they can actually literally reference it um in this beautiful book keep dialing through i can see people with quantities multiple quantities in their basket we had 500 which sounds like a lot but you've got to remember and it sounds like we're bragging a little bit here which we are but this, we are the only place that you can actually physically get hold of it in the next few days. Um, because you can pre-order it elsewhere, world exclusive with you this morning, um, and it can be on your doorstep within a matter of days. Lovely idea with the Mother's Day. Mm. Um, hello to you, Julie. I have a friend in my village who works at the Natural, Natural History Museum too. Um, I'm checking if she knows Robin. Must be a fantastic job uh, yes. that she does. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I want to work in the national. Oh no, but then mm. I won't be able to see you guys. You guys. Yeah. Although it does yeah, sound yeah. amazing. Yeah. It does sound It'd amazing. Be an incredible job. Wouldn't it just? Well done, everybody. I think it's going to become one of the most invaluable tools to your craft and your hobby and your passion that you actually have. You know, you could literally just have this on the on the coffee table, something mm. you can, you know, refresh and invigorate and expand our brains on a regular basis. Well done, well done, well done, well done. I'm going to leave that with you. Again, keep dialing through. Just because I've moved on doesn't mean you have to. Um, heads up, though. Because as soon as we close the auction, Gemporia staff can get involved. It's open. It's open to uh, to the crew as well. So, um, and I, I give me fifteen minutes, and I'm off. I'm off air, me and too. I'll be getting it. And yeah. I'll definitely be getting it because I need it. It's a necessity yeah. for me. Yeah, a necessity. for Yeah, me. definitely. So you know, it's always it's just really exciting when there's a new book comes out, something that you're interested in, isn't it? And it's not breaking the bank. Yeah. It's not breaking the mm. bank at all. I've spent hundreds on gem books. And I've got to be honest, they hardly ever, come, they ever, hardly ever see the light of day. Whereas a book like this, I know would. I know would. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, there was a reason that I uh, kind of went to the jade section. Mm. We've got some very last in stock items, very limited, on that Class A, Type A, natural jadeite. Not nephrite, jadeite.
But just before I get to that, and I will be really quick with this because I know we're running out of time, but I think it's really important to know, to understand for those people that made this is my book, kind of fair. It's a bit of a difference. <laughs> bit of a difference. Can you imagine? World exclusive. Um, no, to be honest, I would never it part like with this. looks like it's fallen in the bath. No, do you know what it was? One of my, my water bottle emptied and leaked and lo oh, look at the pages. Gosh. It's well loved. <gasps> look, it's very, very, very well loved. Look at all that info in there. Honestly, I would cry if I lost this. <laughs> I, I've, oh, I've just Elf lost book. the page. I, it literally, as in, don't steal it, anybody. So if ever I leave it in the studio, Elle's book. <laughs> I would actually cry if I left this. Um, and since then, I've just lost the page. Never mind. Um, this is, of all the gemstones, there's 4,000 different minerals that exist in the world. In the world, jadeite, natural jadeite, is in the top 10 rarest just to get some perspective. We are talking about one of the most valuable commodities that exists on this planet, particularly as that were, as, yeah. as, as we just read, in Asia. Now, sorry, is that the donuts? <coughs> we are starting with the donuts that we showed earlier on. Oh, I love these. Also, one of the most symbolic shapes over in China. We spoke about mottling, the lovely texture and patterning with jade dye. It's color, of course, it's transparency, and it is the texture. So uh, we should physically feel compelled to touch this gemstone. In your donut shape, which also translate, by the way, in, uh, in China to the Pi symbol, uh, this was a symbol that uh, um, family members used to place on the chests of lost loved ones because they believed it had the ability to keep them connected. Um, jade eye in Chinese literally translates to heaven. Literally translates to heaven. There is no other commodity that exists uh, uh, on this planet that within Chinese culture is more valuable than type A jadeite. Natural, limited opportunities. We spoke about this earlier on um, briefly in the show, Claire, and the fact that you've got that pie symbol and we had those amazing tanzanites and you were saying literally just glue one and it's drilled so you don't even have mm. to do your bezel strip There's setting. There's so much going, isn't there? Like it's a lo that wonderful shape, but then the fact, I think... I'm not sure I've seen them in a strand. I've, I've only seen individuals that... Yeah, um, more, more as the donor. Yes, yeah. So this is great, isn't it? Just on, on a head pin or, or your beading thread. It's, um, They're beautiful. You know, like, yeah, like flex right. When we had yeah, that, yeah, just yeah. a really contemporary look. Yeah, that's a lovely idea. Do you want to oh, know how many is available? 18, because people are uh, checking out straight away. Last in stock. I, 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 do you know what? I want to say the word, but I don't want to say the word because it is natural type A Burmese jadeite. But these are clearance. Mm. These are clear, I, as if we're trying to clear what, jadeite. What a lovely, lovely strand. The quality of the colours. The deep, beautiful greens again, you heard. There's 16 of these available. We're going to go straight down to it. If I had a whole hour, I would love to sit, uh, sit here and talk to you about type A jadeite. I simply don't have the time. Um, wow. Get mm. it home on your split pay, £199. Beautiful. We're oversubscribed on this. Get it home for £49.99. That's a huge, huge carrot weight to be getting. Can you see the Imperial Jade translucencies within as well? Mm. Imperial, as the name suggests, is the most valuable. Um, a, a, a very a valuable color that you actually get uh, team that alongside i like it when you actually have the sort of the mixture of your apple greens as mm. well so versatile this strand it care. really is it's lovely really lovely and and it's that i just think it's so clever with that with the drill hole isn't it of, yeah you know that you can use if you want to or or not i mean one of those and a um i mean you could have like a slider bracelet couldn't you if you wanted to bezel set it what about that yeah, that's that's with yeah, that tanzanite. Stunning. Yeah, in the middle. Set the tanzanite in the centre. Yeah. Ah, oh, that would be amazing. Keep on dialing through. So many of you have it in your baskets. Beautiful. Moving on to. Oh yeah, you're gonna love these. How many do we have? Oh, 61. You're gonna absolutely oh. love these. I want them. This That's is just a lovely size, isn't it? And I, I don't recall seeing this size. Are they beautiful? They are, there? yeah. They really are. Cat says, "No, you're right, Cat. You're right for Type A Burmese jade. You know they're not mining. You can't get hold. It's not well. You, you can get hold of it with us." 
and you can probably get it a hold of it from a few other locations but you pay a premium of course um they're not mining it at the moment you've heard from dave himself actually say i've been there i've been to burma i've been to the mine location um, and it, A, it wasn't being extracted. What was available was astronomically expensive. That's from the location of source. These are completely natural, natural, class A, type A, Burmese jadeite. The only reason that you are getting anywhere near the price that you're about to see is because they are, and I hate saying it, but it's clearance. It's, it's a clearance deal, even though they're 61. I love this size. Me I too. I absolutely love it. Me too. Oh, and we had those lovely coloured elastics earlier on. Mm. Make a feature of it. Yeah, yeah. Put a spacer in between. Oh, I've got an idea. You can get it for £20. What? What's that? Two mil spacer bead. We offer you those, don't we? Can you imagine if you if you literally put the Pops two mil in. spacer in the centre? Yeah, and it would spin really nicely as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. As you, as you wore it. Because you'd feed the elastic like then frame. through both. Yeah. Oh, I might do that if there's any of these left yeah. at the end of the hour. Um, get your certificate of authenticity. The rarity of this beautiful gemstone, um, the history. Really, there's no other gem that carries the history and the sentiment, certainly, that Jadeite actually has. Stay where you are on those phone lines. What's number six? The big? Yeah. Twelve mil, arguably some of the biggest. It probably are the biggest jadeite rounds that we've physically brought to air. Look at those. Ah, oh. again, certificate of authenticity. Please wow. do your research if you if you're watching for the first time. I know lots of our regular viewers are very accomplished and knowledgeable about this gemstone, but um, have a look at Sotheby's, have a look at Christie's, have a look at those big auction houses that will sell this. Granted, at finished pieces of jewellery, you know, your, um, your strands in with uh, sort of an 18 carat or platinum gold class. Is it that one? It's this strand. What are we doing? I've just seen the recording, remembered, had flashbacks. This was one of the strands that Dave actually presented to you. And he was like, look at the imperial, look at that translucency, look at the imperial green. That's all natural. That's incredible, isn't it? And so you could do, you could, you know, the, on the first demo with the, like, the pearl knotting, you could use those knotting <gasps> techniques, couldn't you, to, in between each of those. What about with those pills? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Those peachy, peachy colours. Natural with peach the, pearls, yeah. natural yeah. jade eye. That'd be exquisite jewellery. With that clasp. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We're going to match that price for you all. Um, I would pay it for just one of those really dark greens. To be honest, you've got mm. your moss and snow. You've got your imperial colours. You've got your apple blossom colours. Is that what we did? 12... 19.99. I'm trying to recall back. It was only this week, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it was only Tuesday, four days ago. Uh, I don't know if it was a case of Dave was running out of time. He's like, drop the price. Come on. The point of these of these deals was basically to clear those locations in the vault. We wouldn't want to do that normally. Most companies wouldn't want to do that with Jada. In actual fact, they would do the opposite. They would retain that carrot way. Hello to Avon. I've got this strand. Um, you won't be disappointed. It's beautiful. It mm. is, isn't it? it? It really, really is absolutely incredible. And that is ridiculous. It should have been £279. And that would still be an amazing I JM not, deal. I feel like how... You know, always like, want to touch it, yeah, don't it's you? Like a, yeah, it's wonderful. It's the weight, everything about it, isn't it? It's yeah, cool amazing. Gorgeous. We have one more strand to bring you. And they always go nuts. They went nuts. If this is that same day, yeah, this went nuts. Mm. Jadeite Marlas with the peach pearls. With deal of the day, just do a plain, maybe with nothing else, just stretchy bracelet. Yeah, which which jade I is turned into stretchy yeah. bracelets yes, quite a yes. lot because yeah. it's that circle of heaven or the pie symbol ultimately. Um, 
if if we've brought you jade so far in this showcase that maybe is just a little bit outside your price point that's fine listen i i get it i totally totally get it but understand each of those prices with no reflection of the true value and worth we're about to make natural class a type a burmese jadeite as affordable as we as we physically can look at the quality I want to buy three of these and I want to make that jade oak marla necklace. Long line, yeah. I would never imagine to be able to do that for under under a hundred pounds. It's on split pay as well. How many do we have then, Kat? A hundred we've got we've got quantity of these, hundred available, so make sure you dial through. Um, we're running out of time. Claire, you are just awesome. I've had a lovely morning, thanks. Have a great weekend, everyone. Well, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you so much. I don't know when you're back. Are we run out of time. Yeah. When you're back, quick Claire. Uh, yeah, quick, next quick. week sometime. Next week, and I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Don't go anywhere, it's Harvey Maker. <laughs>